as we await December non-farm payrolls will come on a little bit early here to bring you this number in real time. Coming up here in a matter of seconds, we'll get U.S. non-farm payrolls for December. Ten seconds to go here. 202, the expectation uh, from Refinitiv here. Uh, again, we're watching this number right here. We'll also watch the unemployment rate, 3.7 expected. Uh, we get a, the Canadian number out first, 223. 223,000 versus 202 expected. Unemployment rate, 3.5% versus 3.7. Big move down here for the market, guys. Uh, no, uh, big move up, move huge move up. up for the market here. 223 Ooh. versus 263. So but it's coming back. Yeah, it, here it comes. I mean, it just ran. I mean, that was a, higher, higher meant. That's yeah, bad, no, man. the market's ripping. Tesla, I mean, this, this has been nuts here. We're short Tesla 03s there. We got our first take well before. As soon as we got the trade, we got it out at 02. But right there, it just popped up to 04 right now as the NASDAQ just blasted to the upside there and continues to go higher and higher and higher right now. So, yeah, what was, I guess, um, you know, less jobs out there? Hey, maybe that does tip the, the tip the scales now on the rate cut. No, not rate cut, but on uh, less of a hike. So that's a nice move to the upside. We can see what's happening with Apple. Anything you're looking at, 125, 126 right there. What did Apple just do? Yeah, look, Apple was at 125, blasted to 127 there, now back to 126. So it kind of seems like we're sort of in the middle right now, but it's a nice move up. We'll see if we can hold that 10,900 in the NASDAQ. That's been key for a while. Yeah, to me, when you see that 223 expected, the fact that it's higher, you usually think that that's going to be good news being bad. But uh, you did have a huge spike up. Thankfully, resistance was in play. So Tesla in front of that 104 resistance. I just grabbed some to the short side. I was in Bed Bath & Beyond anyways. Didn't seem to move the market. But wow, Apple put a pretty strong move in. You know how badly Apple's been beaten up? That was a dollar fifty push on Apple. Actually, check that. That was two dollars on Apple to the upside. Now already starting to come back in. It looks like the bulls are out in, in territory. But I, you know what? I was going to punch long, and you watch the afternoon show. I was going to go long on that stupid wick thing. There we go. Uh. Yeah. So Roblox broke thirty. I think I need to see that hold above her. Higher to me meant that sort of uh, sort of less chance of pivot and all that good stuff. And where did my Roblox go again? What is going on there? Yeah, so less chance of a pivot. I kind of read that as negative, so I'm not going to buy into this until we sustain the rally going into the open. 223,000, the actual number. Uh, the prior last month for November was 263. So maybe that's the positive here. If you go back to the November number of 263,000, uh, 223,000 in December, a move in the right direction, but definitely higher than 202 expected the unemployment rate also to the downside three and a half percent uh versus 3.7 percent remember a lot of fed officials were pointing to four plus on the unemployment rate that's what they were projecting or looking to see or wanting to see even for uh indication as the economy and the overall employment market was moving in the right direction so three and a half a uh, bit of a surprising move for the overall market here back to uh, the upside but we are pairing some of those uh, initial moves here back uh, 0.4 not bad though i just took um yeah i mean it's kind of just December unemployment rate now 3.5 percent a little bit lower in canada as well uh, th this time around consensus was 3.7 for the unemployment rate. So yeah, man, uh, I just shorted NVIDIA. This was a name that I liked, uh, 40 right here. So it's on the sticky note as a short at 140. If we can get it now, we'll take advantage of that. Neil and I both have Tesla to the downside. Um, yeah, you know what? I mean, I, I don't know. This I don't know if this puts the market in the clear or not here. I mean, it's not, it's just kind of uh, one of those other data points, right? I mean, the market's been getting beat up the last couple days. Some of these names, especially the Tesla that we're in, and then you got into the chip names, you know, they haven't been really great. And you can see the sort of the momentum here over the last couple days in Nvidia. So I want to try to take it against this 140. You know, if we're wrong, we, we can get out of here 144, 145, something like that uh, up to the upside. But you know what? I just feel like this market could probably fade out now. Uh, it's a nice pop on that number. We were hearing some expectations of 300,000 jobs, so on and so forth. So TV. like Brandon just said, man, it's <laughs> It's kind of like a push and pull here, back and forth. Um, you know, these numbers are going to get revised. Obviously not today, but uh, there. The Fed, wops, the Fed swaps show 36 basis points of hikes price for February. So um, peak cycle 5.05 right now percent. So we're going to wait to see what happens here. Um, we will check the Fed rate fund tool based on, you know, where we might go from here. But uh, NVIDIA is not doing much. Tesla... 
Yeah, it's at 102. I mean, we've already taken a little bit off there, but it looks like it's trying to bounce off 102 race. So, hey. It's, it's a wild one. I, it's, I'm kind of, I'm kicking myself. I should have been on, on uh, Amazon. Uh, well, Amazon, Microsoft. Microsoft will talk about 224 in a second, but Amazon popped to 84. There was a special birthday shout out. I think it's Todd in the chat. Happy birthday, Todd. We see you. We appreciate you. Enjoy the day. Maybe we get a green day for you. I, I, that number, it kind of confounds me. I, I thought it would be a little more negative based on that, but for ERs, they have been relatively strong. I am looking at some data and some, and some bu bu Alibaba. Dada, Baba, all that nonsense. Um, and these names, I thought there would be a huge flush and you could break. For now, you're actually inside of the range. I think we've got to be a little bit patient with this move. It seems like we're coming back in here. Tesla 100 just seems inevitable today. I mean, it's, here's the way I look at it. Into 100 on a Friday. Uh, it's just if on any week level and that's why you want to take multiple shots Fortunately, we have a little bit of disappointing news I mean we're, we're going to try to um, get that delivery going but uh, I mean we're waiting for the delivery on Amazon so supposed short to, Amazon supposed no. to be now supposed to be here today we're hoping for that bunch myself Neil Fahad um, and special guest Katrine will also be in the four box Katrine's making a mistake but uh, <laughs> I actually don't know if we're supposed to. I just say if, yeah, the, the stream is a disaster. Oh, uh, if you guys have any um, refresh op. We're getting too low of the day on Tesla. This market continues to kind of reverse here, but it's like Tesla is the weakest of the bunch, man. Like I'm seeing NVIDIA's, actually NVIDIA's coming back in. Uh, Apple's starting to come back in pretty heavily. Oh man, I was looking at an Intel. Did Intel get to 28? Intel got to 28. That was probably worthy of some kind of a short. Yeah, we're starting to die down here. Do not sleep on. I know I'm in Bed Bath & Beyond, and maybe that'll get a little more interesting, but it's doing nothing on that bankruptcy news. It's just hanging 147, 148. I'll let you guys know. If that takes out 50 or 55, I'll probably have to get out of Dodge on that. And then uh, I'm still tracking some SI. But Tesla and 100, could we break 100 before the open? At this point, it feels like a yes. I was about to ask... The Magic 8-Ball, but I have no idea where it is. I guess it's gone. What? Oh, it's over there. They took it. It's over oh, okay. There. We'll, we'll get it's it like, in who took the Magic 8-Ball? All right, let's go back over to Brendo. In minutes, back on what day was it? In favor of a quarter point, 43.9 now on the half point. So uh, that is definitely a change in the wrong direction for the overall market. But uh, again, a bit of a surprising move as far as the market is concerned. Back to the upside, as we were saying, we're still holding. Uh, nicely near the top end of the range right now. Uh, you guys were talking about Amazon already saying they're going to lay off another thousand in India. Uh, there was also a Wall Street, or no, it was the uh, New York Post I saw with a story this morning suggesting that uh, former Amazon CEO could pull a Bob Iger here and make a, a reappearance uh, if things don't get righted and start moving in the right direction for this stock. Well, okay, I'll believe that when it happens realistically but look amazon we all, everybody knows how they get priced in terms of like ridiculous pe's and have getting that benefit of the doubt a lot of that is starting to unwind here you know clearly they overshot when it came to how many they hired post pandemic and when web services starts to slow down and that's been a good bread and butter for them they are under pressure you know i was looking at a couple of things for pop and fades to have orders out at 8 30 and i feel like you heard me say regrettably that amazon wasn't one of them not aggressive enough anyways. I, I think we have to take, I have to be short in front of 84 and a half. All afternoon it was resistance. You're not going to find many stocks that were weaker um, yesterday and I can't really, the daily charts got some wicks on it for us. You've got, the other thing is you've got room to the bottom. We talked about 82. If this market goes red after that pump that we just saw on the, 80, on the ADP, then that 82 should be coming into play here for Amazon. So there's just so much room. And then you've got a floodgate breaking down if 82 were to go uh, on Amazon. So I want to be on the short side of it. If It has to either be at 82 and bouncing, or it's got to be above 84 and a half if I'm considering a long in Amazon. That's how I felt about it yesterday. I'm not really going to be changing my opinion on Amazon today just yet. Uh, the market's almost back to flat here. So I think it'll be telling. When we get to, you know, I'm just going to pull the features up so you guys can see. I think it'll be pretty telling, and maybe I don't want to make it that big because then you can't see everything. When we get, if we can get back into where there was support 
or consolidation on the NASDAQ in the pre-market pre before that number came out, that's what's going to be important. Like, what happens when we get back into that zone? Do the buyers step right back in? It's one thing for the algos to pick it up on light volume. It's another thing for you to get back in that zone and then the buying to come in there again. As we stand at 840, it looks like the buyers are starting to win some of that battle in front of that support, which... Thankfully, like the shorts in the money right now on Tesla, but I don't want to add to shorts at some of these prices. I probably have to wait till things go higher. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same thing here. I'm short NVIDIA. That's going to be in the money right now. We've been trading Amazon for a, quite a while. Um, I think that name continues to be weak. I mean, it's down over 50% this year. So are a lot of names, right? I mean, uh, but the thing is, is like, I just, when I'm looking for more weakness, I just look at some of these chip names that battled back, like almost, not all the way back, but, you know, NVIDIA was just at 190, which goes back to sort of the summer highs that we had, and now you're starting to take tick lower, right? Apple, Microsoft, some of those other names are already at their bottoms and lower than that, so... Man, I think it's eyelash. Uh, so this, uh, I was going to say the stream. Thank God our stream seems to be fixed a little bit now. Uh, but some nice downward push continues here um, in the market. But it's kind of flat here. Uh, so that's why I'm looking to get something out. I'm actually sitting here at 51 to get out of a third of this position. Hopefully we can get filled and get that. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking short right now. We tweeted out that the non-farms payroll obviously would be something that uh, would, would affect the sticky note and affect the market. We did short Tesla right away there. We are short at 103. I know you can't see it shout out to surge trader uh as well uh for the sponsorship but there it is now the market's starting to take a little bit higher uh here as we're trying to break out a uh, little northbound so yeah maybe these shorts aren't the greatest but i still like to short a tesla man bouncing off 101 i don't even have a bit out of 100 my bid to be honest with you is at 97.50 right now so add when it breaks let's see if it goes yeah maybe add to it when it breaks i already got a great price so uh we'll we'll look at that but right now i'm favoring the short obviously but look at this market it's starting to get going here all right, first segment of the show, guys, as mentioned, brought to you by Surge Trader, where traders can get a funded trading account up to $1 million and keep up to 90% of the profits. Program has simple rules, no time limits. Go to searchtrader.com forward slash TTV. Use the promo code TTV. Get yourself 10% off. Uh, shout out to Surge Trader. Uh, check them out, bottom of the screen. NIO, I want to touch on uh, some of these Chinese, specifically Chinese EV makers. We'll talk uh, Tesla, obviously. Uh, back to 100 almost. Uh, but these, under significant pressure here so far this morning, 7% right now, guys, for NIO. Xpeng, Li Auto moving as well. Uh, initial move in the market up, NIO downside uh, on that number this morning. Again, demand the issue here, or it looks like anyways, as far as Tesla is concerned. Second price cut in three months for Tesla over in China. Yeah, look, if Tesla, who obviously sells more vehicles in china than, than than these other names i mean byd sells more and this but at the same time they're a very different different product their concerns are neo x paying and lee auto's concerns as well and i think everyone understands that that's why you're down seven percent it's worth mentioning that when we had like when the market's bouncing here and showing strength like tesla is actually barely underneath the level it was when the number came out You've got NEO, which is still hanging out at those lows. I'm assuming XPeng probably when I flip to it as well. So you're getting relative weakness in these particular EV names. That feels like it's more confident for the short. But if we start breaking out some of these highs, I had 1030 marked off. It's a level I've liked before. You almost need to see that at the open. If I want to be sure, I'm already sure. When you're short Tesla, you don't have to just jump all over the place to have a million things um, that are going to be related because if they start going, you know how explosive the upside can be. But I did like that 1030 level on NIO, just yesterday's bottoms. If at the open you're holding beneath that, it does set up for a short. You're in no man's land a little bit. And when I went over to Lee Auto, I know X pangs down the most. When I went to Lee Auto, what was intriguing about it is you just look at this breakout that this had at 22. We talked about that two days ago, that breakout of that level. Well, that gives you, I think, a much better line in the sand if the market were to pop here. Now, I know it's weak and it's a dollar away from that price as we stand, but I, this just sets up a little better. Like, I think I know a little bit more clearly you had one day, you had two days of buying really above that price and a heck of a lot of rejection before that. And I think I just got my NVIDIA. Why can't I get Amazon short? Uh, all right, I just, I just got NVIDIA, but I want to be in front of 22 on Liado. Yeah, I averaged into, I mean, I... 
Where's you know, we, we got out a little bit there of NVIDIA when it popped back above 143 there because remember I was talking about this market starting to rip to the high side right now. Yeah, so there I gotta, it is. You know, I'm canceling yeah, my Amazon. Huge move it's upside right now um, as the market just continues. to <laughs> It's March, right? I was going to give this to 145. It looks like 145 is going to hit pretty soon. So, um, yeah, okay, nice upside move. Didn't expect this in the market. That top that just was hit was 10,950. Remember we said we were going to try to hold that 10,900 here on the NASDAQ? No, it uh, doesn't look like it wants to do that at all. So. Nice little move to the upside here on a better than expected jobs report. So I didn't think that that would be great news for the market, but apparently it's it is. So, yeah, uh, we're averaged in now. We're ready to rock and roll. It's going to be, again, another fireworks kind of day here. Thanks to everybody for, um, you know, sticking with us while the, while the stream uh, <laughs> was down a little bit there. Apparently, it was a YouTube issue. Um, I'm looking at NEO, to, just to short it here, into 1040, 1050. Um, just like Neil said, I mean, the EV space is pretty weak today. Everything is down. We had Rivian, Lucid. Tesla, I mean, everything is at 52-week lows except some of these names. Um, and in the Chinese space, we've had huge moves in these Chinese ADRs, like PDD is insane, Dada, we talked about that yesterday. Dada was $3, right? Now Dada is 13, or well, it was yesterday. I think it's 12 today. Uh, yeah, 12.50, well, big spread here today. Look at this move in DADA uh, here. Let me just call up the chart in case. I mean, you were probably watching yesterday, one of my favorite graphics, of course. Here it is right here, 350 bottom back in November. You know, we just ripped to thirteen dollars yesterday. So some, you know, some air has to come out of some of these names for sure. But when you look at what I was just talking about there, look at Rivian, right? So Rivian's daily chart. Once it loads, you'll see it's complete. Uh, still data chart loaded up, Rivian. All right, so this Rivian's chart is straight to the downside, right? 30 down to $15 straight. So then you look at it, I mean, Lucid looks the same. Then you look at a stock like NIO and uh, look at this stock, right? Although it is straight to the downside, we've been bumping a little bit on China. So I just feel like there's more downside in this name. If EV names are going to get hit, uh, these Chinese names are not, um, you know, uh, I guess they're not invincible from this move. So I'm looking for more downside pressure here. As you can see, Tesla just did make a move back up uh, to 102-ish, uh, 102.60 it looks like was the high, maybe 102.40. Now you're trying to break back down through 102. So, oh man, the market, man, just still, it's so <laughs> still upside here. This is, uh, this is interesting. We'll, we'll see. Hey, maybe it is going to be a long day, man. I'm maybe. down with that. Amazon plans to fire 1,000 employees in India as well. But um, AM's 1,000 employees doesn't seem That's like that. That's not a lot for doesn't them. Doesn't seem like that many right now. Yeah, what's up? Uh, look, big, big crash signs in our chat right now. Uh, yeah, Amazon Daily is not really working. But look at this move. Wow. Yeah, from 82.50 there before the number up to 84 now. Looking at 84.50 as a top here for AMZN. Absolutely nuts. Hit the, uh, hit the like button. Quick, quick, quick little check on HKD, though. Every, people are talking about it. Yesterday, yeah, you're not going to believe Yesterday was a monster. Oh, here we go. HKD <laughs> tanking right now to the downside. Who has the shorts? Who has the shorts? This was just $53 at the open. Uh, well, not at the open, but, the you know, just side. before there. Nice little move to the downside. Now thirty-five twenty here for HKD. It's pushing downside here. I don't know what just happened to all my charts, but HKD I'm is uh, moving around. Yeah, there's a late 4 o'clock yeah. print there. Uh, all right, back over to you, Brenda. Yeah, interesting look here, guys. It seems like uh, everyone focusing on that prior number once again. So 263 was the prior versus 223. Market's super strong here, but again, expectations around 200 comes in 223. That's not good. But if you go back to November, the 263 number, that obviously moving in the right direction, which seems to be uh, the positive note here. That is a note from Michael Noss. We're going to bring him in. Uh, CMT over at Trade Ideas and have a look at a uh, few interesting ideas for a Friday. As always, uh, great to see you, uh, Michael. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Uh, let's get going? into uh, an interesting idea here heading into the weekend and something that you might have heard or viewers might have heard Luca talking about sometimes on the midday show, and that is institutional ownership. Tell us about that. Yeah, so, right, as all of your viewers, I'm a viewer as well. So I was hanging out and watching the show one day while I trade. Uh, and yeah, I believe it was Luca. He was talking about uh, how he really likes stocks with high institutional ownership. And and at Trade Ideas, like we do, we built a scan for you guys. So if you're interested in, in what I'm going to talk about, then you can just hit me up on Twitter. You can email info at trade-ideas.com and we can get this scan over to you. But 
the idea behind looking at stocks and trading stocks with really high institutional ownership is that institutions move slow. So um, we know that low float stocks, stocks with lower shares that are available in the float can move incredibly, incredibly quick when retail gets involved. Uh, Sean was just talking about HKD, and there's probably no better example than that thing that went from a dollar to 2000 or something um, last year. So if you have a stock that's really, really owned by institutions, some people look at it as saying this is the smart money that is buying the stock, so maybe it's something I should I should take a look at as well. But also, if they're going to sell their stock or if they're going to dump their shares, it's generally not going to happen kind of all at one time. These people try to sneak in and out of trades, and when it's time to take a position or get out of a position, they have to have an investment council, they have to you know talk to their compliance department and all of these rules and regulations. So. If you're looking at stuff with high institutional ownership and that's a nice looking chart, then a lot of people will look at that and say, okay, well, it's just easy to be on the side of the institutions than trying to be a guest of them. So the first slide I have is the scan that I did, and I want to talk for just a quick second. Um, the column that is second to the uh, right, second to the left, no, second to the right, is the institutional ownership. And you'll notice, thank you, and you'll notice uh in a lot of cases, this is over 100%. So I don't want to rant for a long period of time about why this occurs. Um, so it's going to have to just kind of be like a trust me moment. But um, when you see institutional ownership over 100%, it is usually due to uh, late reporting issues or heavy short floats, which is something that can also be interesting. So for example, ASND, which we'll talk about the chart in a second, has 141% institutional ownership. So this essentially can happen if institution A owns a bunch of it, institution B is short a little bit of it, and then institution C owns a bunch of it too. But again, just trust me that you know when it's over 100, it means that there's a lot of institutions involved and then a lot of um, shorts that are actually floating out there as well. So as always, I have some examples for you guys to watch kind of from the swing side of things. This is AM, ARMK. Uh, it's a caterer um, holding up amazingly in this market with all of the selling that's been going on. It's right near pretty much all-time highs with over 100% institutional ownership and a nice little bull flag that's going on there. Um, you know, 43 bucks or so is kind of the area to watch. If it gets under 40, then you know you're wrong. It's time to go. Um, CHX is the next one here, and they make the machinery for mining companies. So, you know, I've talked about gold and how longer term I'm bullish on gold, and there's a lot of kind of mining um, related stocks and, and things that are, are going on that are really positive. This one had a nice gap up on earnings. You can see the gap there on the chart, and it's holding. So, if it's about 29 or 30 bucks. That one's kind of interesting. Um, ASND, we were talking about with 141% institutional ownership. Uh, this is a pharma company that's actually holding really strong. So over uh, 122, that's interesting. TJX is the next one, which is um, just a store, I guess, in the States. 98% institutional ownership, a massive high tight flag here. This is probably my second favorite look on this list. And last but not least, and my absolute favorite, I think I've mentioned this one a few times, had some good trades on it, is ASO with 106% institutional ownership and 30% short float. So nearly a third of this float is short. Now, 50 bucks is the key level on this one, as I'm going to be purchasing this one today if it holds over 50 bucks with the strong uh, news that we got here. And I'm just using $50 as my stop, and I'm going to hope that these shorts get nervous. Uh, from a higher view, at least, very minimum, from a higher view, a lot of these charts that we were just looking at are similar in the sense that they're very strong versus a very weak market at this point. Uh, we talk all the time about where is big money going? Where is institutional money going? Uh, this is a great way just from a higher you know, viewpoint to see that. Yeah, well, and that's a lot of the point is, is we're hoping that the institutions that are hiring uh, Harvard grads and MIT people and, you know, they have the, the best and the, and the brightest research and, and the best technicians and all of this tools that, you know, with something like trade ideas, you can say, well, I don't need those people. Let me just look at where the institutions are and then use my eye as a trader and be able to get in. And the best part of this I talked before is that if the institutions want to get out of these, they have to go through all 
all the compliance and the investment meetings and all that kind of stuff. Whereas us as retail, we can just hit a button and get out. So we're able to follow the institutions and use their research to our advantage. And when they're wrong, we're able to get out way quicker than they are. Great stuff, Michael Noss, CMT over at Trade Ideas. Anyone interested, uh, again, hit up Michael on uh, Twitter or message him directly. Uh, and he'll be happy to uh, help you out with that. Have a wonderful weekend, sir. We'll see you again next week. Thank you very much. Have a good one. You can't get rid of me. You can just scroll up. No, you have to Thank you very much, uh, Michael, as always. We're just discussing <laughs> the, uh, well, A, charts, B, the market rally, and C, is the potentiality of that chip to get delivered today, which I'd rather just get it over with, man. I don't want any delay on that. Uh, we definitely thank Michael. That is one topic that I know it came up yesterday with HKD, and it's an important one to be able to understand uh, why it does matter, when it does matter, and why it does matter for institutional ownership. I, I paid for shorts. At least I thought I paid for shorts on HKD and wish I was in them, but uh, we're in other shorts right now. You guys can't see the position board, but I did get Amazon. Yeah, throw, the, throw that off. I don't know if we, yeah, so I got stopped on Microsoft and NVIDIA, Amazon got to my resistance. Come to my chart and I'll just show you. Uh, 84.50 here on Amazon. That was the afternoon high. That stopped on the other two. You got a wick top that actually held resistance. So once that happened, okay, that set up to jump into a short. I reloaded on Tesla. So go to back, go back to, okay, what's still holding up and what's at the ranges that we still liked after what we just saw uh, have happened. So Tesla kind of fell into that bucket. It was still trading a little bit lower. Amazon hadn't broken through resistance. I wanted to pick up that Roblox for the long, but there's just, there really isn't a lot of liquidity on Roblox right now. So I'm just looking back at that 30 area. And if, we, if it starts to pick up, I might just jump back in. I love this 30 break on Roblox, but taking a break out this early when it's done less than 100,000 shares, it's not that great. I still think there's a chance for this long to be had at the open. I'm just hoping it doesn't jailbreak and get away from me. I did reload some Bed Bath & Beyond, so I have a few more shares of that short. I was able to get some out on the bid at 45. In this, it's kind of barcoding, man. Like you're just barcoding here. So if it's gonna do this where it just holds that bid at 45, I'm actually just scalping like, 49, 48, 49, just improving my price, and then gets them out in the bid when it gets down there. So I am in Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm watching some Silvergate, but that's not really doing much of anything right now. I do think Silvergate was under pressure of that $10 level coming into play, uh, but showing some signs of strength because the market's going up. Right, yeah, we're going we're gonna to figure out, uh, Justin and Fahad and all that, are going to figure out a better place to put that banner because, I mean, we love our sponsors, but uh, in times like that, when we're talking about our positions and what's happening, um, you know, we, we'd like to flash them. We can put it, we can, now that everyone can see what we're in, uh, we can sort of take that down. Or I've talked about this over and over again, that I'd like to do something on the side of the stream. That's you know, an option. something like that to just do something a little bit different. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get that all figured out. And I want to appreciate everybody for sticking with Can us here place today. the ticker, the scrolling ticker on the bottom? I know, who needs that scrolling ticker at the bottom, right? It could just scroll our, our positions. Yeah, you could, there's, there's options. We'll talk about that. I think, uh, options. I think that's I think that's a good one. Yeah. I've talked about it uh, before as well, but I just think we'll, we'll leave it with the guys uh, who do that and uh, we'll just continue uh, to do our own thing here. I did short Microsoft at that 226. I saw uh, that was going to be a key level for me today anyways, right into there. Microsoft's been getting destroyed. It's uh, five or six straight. I mean, there's one red, there's one green candle there. I don't know. I think I feel like I'm missing some data there. I thought it was four, five, six straight days of the downside right now, and you are getting a nice little green candle. It was downgraded, I believe, by UBS uh, on Azure problems or demand possible issues there. So, you know, that's that's something just to watch out for here. I still like Microsoft. I think this is a big name, and uh, no surprise that when this shoe dropped, so did the market over the last little while. So we took a piece out at 30 there. So we got, uh, we're short 85. We got out 30. That's only 50 cents. We did take a little bit of a bath um, once this broke 145.30 uh, there. We got out at 145.40. 144, uh, so you're back down another dollar on this one. So we're up good on Tesla. We're up decent on Microsoft. And NVIDIA was bad as we're short still 144. So we're about a buck out of the money on this one. So let's just wait to see what happens here. I love that Microsoft level 226. Would really love to get this market open uh, just to see what happens. Uh, based off that market imbalances right now nothing there's nothing on here that's as of any interest to me well i mean there's names but not not decent size the only name really is actually nio 
here. I don't really see any any other names on here that That's we'd even yeah. consider trading today. I mean, Ford is there, but 70,000 shares is nothing. And then I don't see anything else. So we'll wait to see what happens here. But uh, NIO, the only name that's on the board right now. Microsoft working, now a dollar in the money on this one, and NVIDIA pulling back. I don't, I'm not gonna say that we just saw a top up here, but hey, uh, the market blasted through this 10,900. Now let's see if it can hold it. Doesn't hold it, then I do expect a downside move, which puts NVIDIA back here to 143.50. So we'll be able to cash out on the last little bit. Too bad we got out of half of our position right there. That sucked, but uh, we'll see what happens here for NVIDIA, hopefully going back down. The market has to hold this 10,900 though, which uh, maybe it does. All right, let's have a look at some upgrades and downgrades for you this morning. Then we'll bring in Arun, have a look at the uh, futures to kick things off. Following this jobs number, going to be a busy day. Here's uh, Lululemon, top of the list, guys, on the upgrade side from Wells Fargo. Some strength in casinos, possibly. MGM back to the upside. There's FSLR, Molson Coors with an upgrade as well. SI, we'll get into this on the watch list. Not only JP Morgan, but four or five others with downgrades on Silvergate after what happened yesterday. Penn National, uh, Bath & Body Works, that is not BBBY. We'll also talk about that, but Bath & Body Works downside and something called uh, Fate Therapeutics. As mentioned, let's bring in Arun here, going to be an important day to understand what to uh, look for on the futures. Arun, what are you looking at? Well, I mean, this market's gonna give you a ride. Um, we were, you know, the ADP number came out a couple of days ago and uh, we went down and the jobs number comes out pretty good and we go up, because it's a good thing, I guess, this time around. You know, sometimes good news is bad and sometimes good news is good. I guess today the market is deciding that good news is good. So here we are taking a move to the upside. We're still in a range, so that doesn't help the situation in terms of the range breakout. I think if we got a negative movement or a downside movement, at least we would take a shot at the 3,800. That was easier. Now we're back in the 70s. Uh, we got a couple things to keep in mind. One, 10 a.m., we've got the ISM services PMI. That's going to be another number to pay attention to. And then once we get into the 11 o'clock period, from 11 to 1, there are four Fed speakers on deck. So uh, tread carefully, at least until the afternoon, it seems like, with all these Fed speakers and this number coming out. But for the time being, the market's at the top end of its range, or at least trying to get to the top end of its range. What I would look for is to see the open. Now we've taken this and ran with it to the upside, right? A good number is good right now. So if we are to sell off a little bit into the open, I want to see how much selling there is. If there isn't a whole lot, I think you jump on some longs and see if we can actually get a move back towards the 80s and the 90s. Well, 80s is not too far away, but preferably in the mid 80s into the 90s. That would be the easier trade, a dip and a buy, as long as the selling off the open isn't that big. If we take off straight off the open, it's going to be a lot tougher to structure a trade. So I would be a little bit more careful, especially if you're going into that 10 a.m. when the setups are starting to come in because you want to see that number and then make a move. But we are still working with 39.10 up top on the top end of the range. We are still working with 37, well, 3,800 roughly, 37.85 to be exact. Uh, that is a bottom end of the level and we're sitting mid range here. So I want to see what kind of a dip we get into the 40s. If the 40s hold out, then we can probably use 30 as a stop uh, on a bounce back to the upsides. For now, I'm going to stick with these two numbers and see if we can actually um, kind of get something off the open, just a sell, but not too much of a sell. Great stuff. Thanks, Arun. Uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. That is uh, not me. We'll figure it out. Anyways, uh, let's talk about the uh, watch list here as we get into uh, the final 27 minutes here before we get the market open for a Friday. Uh, Tesla, top of the list uh, today on the watch list, guys. Well, can I hit that link again, guys? Or Okay. There we go. There we go. That looks a little more uh, familiar. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, that's the link to the watch list, guys. Make sure you grab that every single day. Super easy. Step one, hit that link, enter your at, uh, email address, and then it just appears for you every single day. It's uh, very, very easy. We do all your homework for you and then send it to you for free. Uh, here comes Tesla. Second time since October, they've cut their prices in China right across the board. Uh, that's why we're seeing some of the uh, Chinese ADRs on the EB side, downside as well today. But uh, more negativity here for, that's, uh, I was looking at 5.9 there, but more negativity, guys, uh, for Tesla as we approach $100 now. Yeah, that's still very much in play. That's the spot. That's, look, everyone, if you've, if you've been watching Tesla the last few weeks, right, 
110, 115, 105, now 100 have come into play. We can talk about their pricing uh, all we want, but at the end of the day, you have multiple things going on. I think we're past the whole it's an Elon distraction from Twitter. I don't. I never thought that was as big a deal as everyone made it out to be, but they're getting punished for that. They're getting punished for valuation and then demand concerns. So when I see it down 7% and the market, the market made that rally and Tesla got right back to the top and then put in a lower high. So on that 830 number, it spiked into resistance at 104, came down and put in a lower high. So as it gets into 102, I just feel like we're on a collision course with 100 today. And, uh, you know, I'm actually going to draw back a little bit more on this bid here in front of 102. I just think we can see that 100. I want to be short into it. I think it's going to be a crowded break, but it's one that I almost just have to have here. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the Chinese ADRs, but it is worth mentioning that across the board, on basically this headline from Tesla, you had Neo, Xpeng, and Li Auto get absolutely demolished overnight, uh, the worst of which was Xpeng down 12%. This stock is within range of $10 again. This was a $6 low. It's already bounced. It doubled up off that $6 range, and it looks like it could take out 10 if there's any more downward pressure. Lee Auto was the one I wanted to short in front of 22, but uh, obviously some other things started to come into play at that time. I didn't even look over to it because all those big cap names just started coming in on the short side. Uh, but we'll see what happens with these names. I do think a $10 break could be interesting, but we have enough time to that to, to not have to worry about it here. It was Lee Auto that I was more interested in if it could have popped up to 22. Not even enough strength to go more than 20 cents on that bounce. Market goes 50 handles on the ES. The NASDAQ goes to 1%, and uh, these names all stay beneath their pre-market lows. So there's relative weakness in the EV space, specifically with the Chinese names, and it's Tesla's fault. It's all Tesla's fault. It's always Tesla's fault. Uh, I cannot believe that, um, man, uh, the market's pulling, not, not even pulling back a little bit more, but I'm just watching my net like go through a little roller coaster here. As Microsoft is now $1.40 in the money, trying to bounce with short 226, trying to bounce off of VWAP rate or off the 50 period. I'm actually sitting here to get, get, get a fill. So hopefully we can catch a fill to the downside. And here comes Tesla. Oops, that's still NVIDIA. We're still short NVIDIA. We did take some out there at 145.40 there. That was crazy because right now it's back down to 144 flat. So that's going to be a good one. This is a stock that we don't want to talk about. I was actually, yes, sir. There it is right there. Ring the Reggie right there as Microsoft. I was waiting at 11s. Microsoft or 10s or whatever it was. Microsoft comes all the way down there, Phil this bid right there um, yeah so nice 10 nice fill all the way to the downside here for Microsoft still coming in yes wow we went from being down to up real quick there uh, on this and Tesla what I was getting at was I was actually waiting at 103.49 Believe it or not, I mean, the high there was 103.47. So we just missed it. I was just, I, I was going to wait at 50. I was like, oh, I'll wait at 49. What, what, what's the matter there? But um, nice little move up. Then the, the, the take back down right now. So I would say I'm not even bidding anywhere on Tesla. So maybe I'll bid 100 bucks uh, on this. I mean, I feel like it'd be silly not to take $3. Uh, we've already taken a piece out at 102, which looks like we're going to get the opportunity again. Yes, softy. Wow. This name is really coming in, man. Two, $2 per share now on Microsoft looking for the same on Tesla so nice move to the downside here we'll see what's happening as the market's pulling back and guess what we're trying to break right now 10 900 that's right where we're at right now so I think I'll probably take a piece out of Nvidia here as it pulls all the way back in and we can get it out on this level and just say, sort of say wow this was a mistake but uh, you know put our net back in positive get out on Nvidia here as we're bouncing around that 10 900 but I think Tesla's a short until it's not. I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but it's going to really have to start to get going here in order for me to change my mind on a long. I still think it needs to test 100 before we make any real decisions here. All right, more negativity coming through for uh, Silvergate, as I was mentioning. They're hinting at 9% right now uh, downside. It was a lot more than that, kind of grinding back to the upside this morning. Uh, there was, count them, three or four uh, downgrades today coming off what happened yesterday. If you missed it, huge move downside uh, in the pre-market, most of this happened. Then we kind of just chopped around for uh, SI throughout the session. JP Morgan, a uh, notable name. There was one from Wells Fargo. All uh, not liking SI, guys, after uh, they updated their financials. If you missed it yesterday, current quarter financials. Deposits were way lower than expected. And that comes after they had to uh, sell a whole bunch of assets at a discount uh, to cover $8 billion in withdrawal requests.
So if, if you're reading stories on SI and kind of wondering why you don't just short it at whatever price it happens to be at blindly and not caring whatso whatsoever, it's probably because of the short interest. I mean, I can show you guys Flow Checker. I happen to have Macy's up because I was looking at that. But Silvergate is not, um, it's not to be trifled with. And I was, can't just put in the, that's put it all of, yeah, yeah, can't just type in SI at Flow Checker. Flow Checker, let me type in the symbol and pull it up. 58% uh, depending on your source, 48, 40, 54. That's the reason this is holding up like it is because there's a lot of shorts to cover. And that's why I think it caught that bid at the open. There was one little push and then you started to see it flush the rest of the day. Even in the afternoon, there was some good longs off the 1250 area. I just look at that support from the afternoon and say, okay, support to resistance. And I want to wait patiently for that 1250 to come into play to be able to short it on Silvergate. And if you have a pop-up, have an out because this can definitely squeeze on you with that big of a short interest. It's obviously SSR short sell restricted. The $10 break is in play today. I think that's, when, that, when a level breaks and it's SSR, you get shares if you try to hit the bid as it goes. Um, you're, you're fortunate if you do sometimes, this is that kind of a stock. But I'll be very careful shorting this. Make sure I have an out, make sure I have a stop order at all times, because this at any point can do one of those little relief rallies or squeeze rallies, I suppose. And that's the only reason we're not already through $10. It's that short interest. Yeah, I um, crazy, crazy, crazy. Coinbase is just another one of those names here. You can always look at Robinhood. We talked a little bit about Robinhood the other day. <coughs> and the fact that, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Man, if I'm coughing now, what the hell is going to happen? We got on? problems. If you're uh, yeah, no, it's not mine. I mean, it's just a little frog there. Um, Coinbase has been getting hit as well. I mean, I, you know, a lot of these names here, if we get to thirty-four fifty on any kind of a rip, $35 for Coinbase, I'd still like that short. I still think until we get, and we, I mean, it keeps saying the same thing over and over again. So it doesn't, it's kind of just irrelevant until regulation and some of these, I start hearing some upgrades from, you know, reasonable banks and things like that on a Coinbase. Then I, you know, I don't really need to be uh, in this thing. You know, I'm going to cancel my, Nvidia. Let's let's roll with it and see if we get lower. Um, I, I'm going to wait. I mean, even though Coinbase is up today, you know, it's way way less than the market. I still think that you fade all these kind of pops on Coinbase. I just want to hear, you know, a, a reason why we need to be owning this name. So it just continues to go to the downside. I mean, I know why I might want to buy it, it, Nvidia on lows or AMD on lows, Apple on lows, Microsoft on lows. I kind of understand that business a little bit better. But for me. I mean, if people thought they were safe in SI, Gemini, Genesis, a BlockFi, uh, FTX. I mean, we just go on and on and on for a lot of these names, and it just continues to be a disaster. So I'm going to say, you know, stay away from Coinbase unless you're looking short. There are going to be days where it pops up. Like, we had some big moves, right? Like, even yesterday, 33 up to 34, basically. Big moves. There are, there are opportunities to take this. For me, I'm just not confident um, in my take on Coinbase. So I'm going to remain out of it and then watch that SI at 10 bucks. I mean... We have Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, looking like it wants to declare bankruptcy any, any minute now. SI, Coinbase, all these names. I just, I don't have much faith in them. So we're going to wait to see what happens here. Binance, um, you know, maybe the only man standing at the end of all this, but that still has to be sorted out as well. So I'm, I'm just going to hold off on all this and hopefully this market comes back in. We've, we've given our opinions on Tesla a little bit already. People asking in the chat, both Neil and I are already short this name, looking for lows uh, down to 100 bucks. Yeah. All the way back now, uh, crazy move. Uh, 52 when I sat down this morning, it's now $32 uh, for HKD. It's Chinese. We'll talk about Chinese ADRs here as well. Uh, it was looking at BABA here, I'm trying to get green. In fact, 0.36 after it did, it looks like, get green initially on the uh, jobs report there, but uh, coming back to the downside. So some, we're going to have to maybe split this into two groups. The EV names getting crushed right now as far as Chinese ADRs are concerned, but... Some of the e-commerce names doing a little bit better here, guys. What do we do with these today? So I think you're 100% right that you got to put them into two buckets today. I'm not, like, Neo, Xpeng, and Liato are one thing, and I'd rather look at them versus a Tesla, and then Baba, JD, Pinduo, Duo, and um, Dada. Bill, just they're all in another bucket because they're just relatively strong. You're actually holding up, unlike those other names, on the way back in, like you're holding up some higher lows. And I'm giving you the 15-minute chart so you have an understanding of what Alibaba has done the last two days. Gap up, hold the open at the bottom, and then, then jam. Now, yesterday was trickier because you did not hold, the, you didn't really hold the pre-market levels on the bottom, but you did have a clean breakout at 102 when it reestablished the support level that it had earlier. So I am looking for a couple of things. One, obviously that pre-market low at 103, 
But then I'm remembering that open and all that explosion that happened at 102 on Alibaba and respecting that. If it comes down and tries to tap that right at 930, I'd look for that as a bit of a dip buy. Uh, so, I, yeah, I'm just going to look at Alibaba. JD.com is a pretty similar sort of story for me. I, I like the, the 62 price, but I don't see the same type of strength in the chart right now. So maybe that 62 where it broke out two days ago is still good, but... I'm just not seeing as much strength in JD uh, as I'm kind of seeing in Alibaba relatively. So I'm kind of leaning on Alibaba as the one I'd rather dip, dip by at the open. I was asked, where would I consider a long on Xpeng? And my answer is, I'm actually, I didn't even think about a long on Xpeng, to be honest with you. And it, it, it's probably somewhere around $9, if anything. And if it were, like, there's, you had the 50 period at $9, so I guess that's a bit of a lazy answer. Previous support and then the 50 period that's about where I'd even be thinking about it. But I'm actually more looking about focusing on shorts on the EV names. If I pick longs, it's in the, um, it's in the Babas. I'd rather dip by something like that. Yeah, Neil's getting up to a level here that I'm uh, getting interested in, again, about that 25 level here. So, um, Neil, I mean, Neil just talked about everything that I think about as well. Uh, the strong names, as Brendan mentioned, have been those e-commerce names, JD, PDD, obviously Alibaba on some Ant news as well uh, over the last couple of weeks. So, um, but Neo, uh, hey man, maybe in a strong market, maybe this name does want to rally. But, uh, you know, it's down 6%. I want to pick on names that have been weak. And uh, right now, you look at the daily chart. You see Neil's, we've already talked about it, uh, to the downside. This is the one-minute chart right here. This is why I'm choosing 1025. It's already been here. And I just start my charts at 7. So where it was before then, I'm not, I, I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, I can check, but I don't really care that much. I was just using 1025 as, I always use quarters, right? So look where it bounces off 10, between 10 and 1025. That'll be the first short. And I actually want to short this name all the way up. And here's, just like Neil was put showing you the 15 minute, here's the 20 minute. I kind of like it into this 1040, 1050 area. Um, it just, it looks half decent here for a possible uh, resistance level. So we're gonna see if that hits. Obviously 11 would be the ultimate top there. And if we get stopped out, we'll get out at 1050 and then relook at this up here and around this area, 1080 to 1090. I just, we could be, could be horribly wrong. This name could rip up, right? And so I don't wanna get stuck short, short, and then wait until up here to put on a big position. So I'd rather just get out, load it up when we're up here, and then reassess at that point. So I'm gonna go short until 10.50. Once 10.50 breaks, then I'm out of that position with two, two ads, right? So I'm gonna go 10.25, then 10.40 with an out at 10.50. So that's my play here for NIO. We've, we've hit it really well, man. We really, it's, uh, it's too bad. I don't know if it's gonna show the levels here and, uh, it's a couple days ago, uh, my trades aren't showing up, but we had a 10 long uh, that was good in the morning, uh, but it went down to like 980 or something and then it ripped. So it may take, and that's why I put on the sticky note, may take a couple minutes here for NEO to finally pick its, its true direction. So we'll get short at 10.25, then again at 10.40 in case it rips, but let's regroup if it breaks through 10.50. Uh, just having a look at uh, Southwest here, just pop back up on uh, Scanner. Uh, $33 was a little bit of a level on the daily chart, uh, the last kind of low on the way down here, but uh, down anyways, 2% uh, might be worth uh, keeping some airlines in your back pocket today just to have a look at for the downside. Uh, they're forecasting a loss in their uh, latest quarter, which is uh, obviously we're getting into earnings season as well. We haven't talked about that very much. Coming up next week, so uh, some of the airlines looking a little bit weak here. To start things off, I want to mention this, though. Bed Bath & Beyond, if you were with us yesterday, uh, this came out late in the day, uh, reportedly preparing to file for bankruptcy a week ahead, in fact, of uh, their earnings report coming up uh, actually Monday, so less than a week. Monday pre-market, we'll get uh, BBBY, guys, who is apparently preparing to file Chapter 11. Yeah, so a lot to unpack there. So first of all, they, they, they might default on a payment that's uh, a bond payment for the, the beginning of next month. At that point, if they decide not to pay it, you've got 30 days before you're delinquent. So this could, this could take a while. Like they could, they could decide to declare. This might not have. This might not be a, a story with an update until well after their earnings report. When the news dropped, you were just chasing and trying to get shorts because it was SSR, and uh, you really couldn't get anything until 75s. I see 75s. I see a dollar 50. It's barcoding this morning. So I came in, decided I liked the short in front of 150, realized there wasn't any momentum on that break. So suddenly the only price you want is like 47, 48, or even 49. I happen to have 47s and I'm going to get on the bid. I am on the bid. I mean, just looking for it to make that kind of a flush. If it breaks that channel up, I wouldn't 
I'd probably wait till it got back in the 175 before I shorted it again. So I'm going to go from that to just very quickly to update. Amazon did roll over a couple of legs, was able to ring the register a couple of times here. It's starting to trend back into the downside. And I did pick up Intel in front of 28. I don't know that I got a great price. I don't think I got a great price. It got to 27.98. Um, I ended up getting 87s in the consolidation of taking some out in front of 70, some out in front of 60. I'll take some out in front of 50 and then see if we can't get further to the downside. But yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond, I'd say the fact it's in a four cent range is very disappointing if you're sitting in a short right now. Because the market spiked, it went nowhere. I would have thought it would be falling as the market comes back in. I think it's going to be dancing uh, to its own beat today. Yeah, I mean, Bed Bath & Beyond has been... I don't know. I don't really I, like like yesterday. I mean, we we were short that name yesterday, and uh, I'm just paying for shorts right now. Again, we had that video out. Yeah, it's it's not following any kind of market, yeah, so that, that's not really going to uh, be be in effect. So that that's very very true. Yesterday, oh here we go. Yesterday, congratulations, Team Canada. Uh, here's my guy wearing his Trader TV hoodie as well as we sit there. We played Monopoly yesterday. Uh, there it is, right here. That was really fun. Uh, I dominated. Uh, but uh, here we go. Here we we talked about this yesterday. Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know if I can make this any bigger. I don't I don't know. But we talked about it when it was stacking up when they announced that delivery or that. Uh, delivery number, still thinking EVs here, uh, possible bankruptcy there, report from that, I think it was the Wall Street Journal, um, and then we, we were watching it all day, and we were short yesterday at two bucks, so I tweeted it out, I mean, yeah, these charts today are going to be uh, pretty bad, but uh, okay, good, my, they're actually showing up here uh, from yesterday, so there's my short yesterday at two bucks, and dude, 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 all the way to the down, all the way down, all the way to the downside, until eventually... Uh, it cracks, and then right there, and then my final out is 167. So yesterday's short was two dollars, and we got 30 cents on it. So I mean that was a monster trade for me uh, yesterday on Bed Bath and Beyond, and we'll just look to do the same thing again here today, man. I mean as it continues to go lower, we'll just wait to see. It's at 150. I'm not in the position yet. Wow, Microsoft three dollars now uh, in the money as Microsoft. Tank City uh, now, huge move down for Microsoft. Like Microsoft's $3 in the money and um, Tesla is 20 cents in the money. So I mean, what? and now, now Tesla's flat. So it's Microsoft is really getting wrung out here uh, to the downside. I might just cover this for a $3 winner and, and just put this one to bed. I mean, I'm really super impressed with how, how hard this fell off 226 there uh, for Microsoft. But I think I'm gonna take this out now. Good move to the downside here for Softy. Uh, let's ring the register on this one, man. $3, we'll take that for an early win here uh, on Microsoft. But yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond, it's not a long, that's for sure, it's a short. So wow, Microsoft, oh my God. Uh, this name continues to go to the downside there. Now 220, I mean, where are we even gonna think about getting this thing out as we right now break below VWAP, now $3 in the money on Mr. Softy. Yeah, NASDAQ back to just half a percent here, um, making its way back to the downside as well, along with some of the big tech names. Uh, speaking of, let's talk about chips. They were relatively weak yesterday, uh, trending downside basically as soon as the market opened right through to the close. Uh, this was earlier in the week, uh, AMD out with a whole bunch of new products at CES. Remember, uh, CES getting underway and is underway now. So a lot of these companies going to be presenting throughout the next few days here. Uh, which could be uh, a bit of a catalyst if they are positive in the sense of uh, the products and the way they're received. So we've got to keep an eye on some of these chip names today. Yeah, and look, we've talked about, obviously we talked about NVIDIA. I'm in Intel. I already went 0 for 1 in NVIDIA, then went to Intel, which I typically like some of the levels on. But someone just asked, my, are there any longs I'm looking for? Well, this one might set up because Micron's been strong for the last relatively strong for two days in a row. You can see it breaking out from that 51. And then yesterday, in the midst of that flush in the morning, it came all the way back and held those highs. Now you're wondering why is it having trouble at 55? Big rally, 10% off this, off, this, off this level here, but this is the 50 period just sitting right at that 55 level. So it is running to a little bit of chop up here. If it breaks away, this one's got room to go. So as long as we're able to sort of hold this at the open, now I'm, I still like the short, so I'm not going to be in this long until I'm completely convinced. We're holding the top. You're not retracing all the way into the pre-market lows. If anything, the dip buy on this isn't until like 53 and a half. So chasing this has to be a sustained breakout play uh, or getting it off of yesterday's bottoms where there's a lot of volume coming into the buy side. But yeah, I do like, some, I do like myself some Micron if we show some strength in today's trade. Uh, Intel, 
it's just that 28 level that I'm short off of. If it gets through that, I, yeah, I, I give up with Intel. If it can take out 28, it's relatively strong as well. Not as strong as Micron the last few days, but it's relatively strong in some ways. And if it breaks 28, I'm out of dodge. Got to make sure I'm scalping out in front of that 2740 area because that's been a bit of a wall the last two days for support. So if there's one, one of these I end up in the long, it's very likely to be Micron. All right, uh, I just, uh, just an update on Microsoft. We just got out right there, so we'll go bang on that. I mean, uh, Tesla, we just got a reload in Tesla at 103.50. I said, we said we were sitting there, and that's right where it is right now. So I'm going to wait for Tesla to possibly get me out at 104.50. If it rips up to 104.50, I'm going to get out. Uh, well, actually, we can wait for that. I mean, maybe that 105. I was going to use 104.50 because that's kind of been the tops uh, right now. So we'll see. I just don't want to be part of this market that absolutely rips up here off the open. So uh, that's why we covered our Microsoft. I don't know if that's going to be a good move or not. We covered it here at 220, uh, 223.20 uh, there for Microsoft. So that's going to be a good move there. And we are now reloaded back into Tesla. The chips have been super Super weak. Um, I am short right now. We did take a hit on it. What, what, do you, what can I do when it ripped up there? The market just took off there. We're now battling against that 10,900 again. I, I think I want to be short NVIDIA today, but you know that can easily change. The damage has already been done to me here on the long uh, because I was short and ripped up, but you know, I was holding it. We could have got out for flat there. Remember, I was debating getting it out for flat, and I canceled it. Uh, so I could have done that. But let's just see what happens here off the open. I feel like we could flush. There's only three minutes. Holy crap. Yeah, we're, we're getting real close to the open here, I just realized. And uh, I haven't talked about Netflix. I want to get there because it's up 1%, basically the same as the market. It's very similar. This, why does the chart love Netflix look almost exactly like the last three days on Intel uh, and even a little bit of Micron? Broke out at 300. Remember 300 to 302? We talked about that. And you've had some support at 305. I was thinking, I wrote down dip by 304, 305 on Netflix. We're $10 away from that, so maybe I'll throw that out the window, at least temporarily. <coughs> but if this starts holding above 315 at the open, there's still room for you to get up to this 330, the recent highs. You're bouncing off the 50 period, you're trending up. This isn't a nice gentle uptrend uh, that I think I want to be able to respect. I have the same short in Tesla, so I don't want to go over that one um, again. However, I did want to talk at least a little bit about HKD. I understand it had that big move to the downside. I pay for locates on this. The daily chart's not going to be of much use with this stock. At this point, it's fallen so far that I, I'm not even looking for the short. What I'm actually looking to see here is if there's like a, a big capitulation halt down that holds any support level around here, like 20 bucks, 19, 15, 17, something along those lines, and then just try to go for, I don't want to call it a YOLO long, but it's kind of like it halts down at the open, finds one of these bottoms, and then tries to get back to the upside. That's about the only thing I'd be looking for with that stock, because, I mean, I paid for locates, it's already down. Like at 50 to 25, like what are you looking to capture at that particular point? Risk to reward, not a lot is going to set up. Uh, just getting into the, with two minutes to go here, Amazon just had a huge flush, and I'm an idiot if I don't try to take some of this out. Just going to cross, gimme, gimme, gimme. That's a big reversal back in. So I'm going to take a little more of Amazon, ring the register, because that was a strong move to the upside. Amazon just turned red, so we'll be happy with that. But at the same time as that, Intel, enter twice, just popped up. So if you want some signs of where relative strength and weakness is, yeah, I got to respect the fact that we just flushed and we're able to get like a monster move down in Amazon when Intel shot to the upside. So that's what you got to deal with in this market sometimes. Tesla came back in, so that's working back in the money. But yeah, Intel showing strength. Micron might have to get that long at set open. All right, hopefully we got someone to ring the bell as it's coming up. Uh, yo, Obi, ring the bell. Where, where's Obi going? You want to ring the bell? Sure. All right, there you go. Yeah, he's cool. Producer, trader, bell ringer. Uh, I have to ring the bell. You had, you had the Superman uh, bell ringer there. That was a pretty good one. Um, we're going to get out of NVIDIA, just same way that Neil open. was just talking about um, on Intel. You know, if these names are going to rip, they're going to rip. Sure. So, you know, we'll get, we'll get out of the way. We have 145 coming up right now uh, on that. So, um, all right, here we go. NIO, another name that we're going to be looking at as well today. Let's just check out quickly on the imbalances before we get Obi uh, to hit that bell for us. Neo short side, Xpeng short side, Mullen buy side. What's Mullen's price? 41 and a half. Uh, yeah, so, so far, so good here. Not much on the imbalance locator. With only 15 seconds left to go, we got the reload on Tesla, baby. So we're short Tesla right now. Let's see how low that one goes with a bid here on Tesla at 102.30. With now, Obi, there he is. Thanks. Always filled in for us before. We're going to do it again, too. Three, 
two, and one. Let's go. Thank you. Here we go. We are now open. So uh, there goes Tesla, hopefully with a little bit of a flush coming in today uh, for that name as we are now short on Tesla. I'm waiting at 102.30 for a little piece. And then bang, right there. We'll take that. Ring some kind of a register right now as we are positive on the day despite that NVIDIA take early. No bids for me on Tesla. Let's see how low we can go. I lie. 97.50 is my bid. Yeah, you got to be able to take something out there. So I'll spike it up. I got like I got a bid on Tesla. I think I got 32 because I like Magic Johnson. But 140s just came in here on Bed Bath and Beyond. So that that continues to work to the downside. Obviously, yesterday that stock got absolutely trounced. Uh, Intel, I did get the last entry in there, but I want to go back over to Amazon because that was relatively weak at the open. It flushed and is now at 82.20. So that 82 is coming into play very quickly over here on Amazon. And I want to check Roblox for you guys because I think we're still, uh, here we go, we're still above that 30 area. So if the market catches a bid, Roblox 30 very much in play. As soon as we get Jeez. some shares out in Tesla, you're right back in testing this 103 half. So I think the rinse and repeat is going to be on oh until it stops working, I suppose. So the chip's not going to make me throw up tonight. This Microsoft chart is. I, I should have five dollars right now. We, yeah, we're short 226, and we thought we were all cool covering at 223. Yeah, look at this name, 221, and still tanking. Well, Nvidia's going upside. Tesla's trying to go back to the upside. Look at Microsoft getting absolutely washed right now, down to 221. This name is absolutely tanking right now. Um, I'm gonna. I, I, I don't. I don't understand that move. I'm gonna try to go long off this. There goes Tesla. Tesla's, Tesla's going to be a huge loser uh, right now, as it's gonna rip back up to the upside right now. I'm short. Sure Again, I just shorted more up there against that 105. Let's see what happens. Long Microsoft, short Tesla now. Wow, this has been a, quite, the, quite the ride there, man. That was a disaster for me. I should be short. I, I'm not going to be able to let that one down, man. We had, okay, well, maybe making this money back is a little bit good for me here. As Microsoft going back up to the upside now, we'll take that. But watch out for Tesla. That name's dancing. There it is. 70 cents right away again. Money, Spin it money. here. Hit the sirens because Microsoft's that money kind of making machine right now for me. Yeah, and I just got some more Tesla upside as well. I mean, look, obviously, I was about to get Micron long when that spike happened in front of 105 on Tesla. It's finding a bid higher. So 102 and a half before, 103 and a half now, it's finding some bids. I got to get over to Intel in a second because I was just picking up some more shares of Intel. But Bed Bath & Beyond continues to work. It is now flushing 135. It's on the NASDAQ, Neil. 135 on the bid of Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm just going to get some more shares out. Like, it's... It's got no bid, man. What but, a day. Whoa, Tesla. What the heck just happened to Tesla? Why did I? I just keystroked. This is how crazy Tesla is. What I just day. keystroked long accidentally and made 60 cents uh, before I could even get out. I'm like, I'll just get out of this. I didn't want the long on Tesla and made 60 pennies. It's still valid in front of 105. That's where I'll do the reload. But this open is completely insane in terms of volatility. Hopefully you're having a good show. Bed Bath & Beyond could be an all-day hold, and I got to go over to Silvergate. This is the other one I wanted to have short. It's starting to pop. If it can't take out 1250, then I'm looking for the short, but I want to give it some time to get there. Guys, I mean, all right, so I kind of don't feel so bad anymore about my Microsoft trade uh, because now we're $1.50 in the money uh, to the long side right here. And, uh, yeah, no mistake made on this one. We wanted to wait. I mean, I, I couldn't believe how far this dropped there. All right, you know what? Take it, man. Take this 89 if we can get it. There it is right there again. Let's go, man. Good trade there for Softy. Wow. Like, you're talking about taking the top of the day and then taking that and going like this? Uh, Okay, that's just, I mean, th this is, Neil just mentioned like trading. Yeah, this, this, is, this is why I'm here. This is what we're here for, man. Getting these kind of moves. $3 that way, $2 this way. I mean, Microsoft's moves $5 today. I have three down, two up, five bucks. So that's gonna be a good one here. Let's see if it continues to go. I don't know what's happening. Uh, NVIDIA looks like it wants to break a little bit higher, I guess, through 145. We'll see if that tests it. I'm just, Great trade there. Uh, I'm going to wait for 105 to break. We already got out twice here uh, on Tesla, so the short's been printing for me on Tesla as well. Um, and Nvidia is really the only problem right now uh, as a lot of these names continue to ride higher here. We'll have to check out on Neo. I'm not filled on that, which is kind of strange. Yeah, I haven't checked back on those other EV names because Tesla's obviously catching a bit of the attention there. So you can see the chart. Like, it's now starting to make a higher low. This is 104.70. That's the new top. I, was, I got 35, 104.35 is where I got filled in front of it, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of levitating uh, in here. And 
forget about the price that I have and sort of trade the range that it's in. This is a little bit strong. I got to get something out, even if I'm scalping 50 cents here, to just make sure I release some pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, take you guys to Brennan, and maybe look at some of these Chinese EVs. Uh, not much of a day trading stock typically, guys, but Costco with a huge move to the upside. They updated their uh, monthly sales numbers after the close yesterday. A couple of positive uh, notes here from UBS, it looks like, for uh, this one. Five and a half percent straight upside so far for cost. All right, then we hit the Microsoft long. I'm going to tweet this out. That's unbelievable. Um, okay, I should have got out of less uh, right there. Neil just mentioned about the uh, in buying here in Tesla. It's, there's a lot of buying. We're going to get out at 105 if and when there's that breaks. Looks like this is going to go straight up to the upside uh, right now on Tesla. Good thing we got out uh, of, of the majority of those shares, but we'll still hold it to see if there is a downside move right now. Oh, wow. Okay, that's why we don't have Neo. Neo is absolutely tanking. Is, there's no chance right to get now. in these. Yeah, no. I mean, wow. I didn't even have a 10 target there. I mean, I wish I would have. We've been short 10 before. Neo tanking to the downside here as it continues to make moves. Boom. We were waiting up here at 1025. It only went to 1020. We talked about that trade and where we liked it. Let's just continue to hang out a little bit. We'll figure out what, what we're trying to do here. Tesla, let's go, baby. Let's get back to We're already having a day already. Um, and uh, it's a good damn day today uh, here for me so let's go man uh tesla downside it just bounced off 103 i'm gonna take another bid here at 103 maybe if we're able to um downside so 103 in the o's we're waiting here for a nice little downside move in tesla hey if we could take a dollar now that's exactly what we're talking about there it is man one time daily goal met let's go yeah, well, this, i'm not sure where the bottom is gonna be but i'll promise you this if bed bath and beyond gets to a dollar I'm not going to be short anymore. I might be thinking that other thing if we see a dollar on this stock, just because it's just too big of a level not to. I, I love the dollar level when these stocks get there the first time. Uh, in terms of long, sometimes short when it breaks. We're now at dollar twenty-five. It's SSR, so you can't hit the bid on this thing. It's an absolute falling rock. I think it sees twenty percent. Sorry, it's at twenty percent now. I think it sees 20% from where it was consolidating. It had already gapped down. Intel does not break 28. So it tests up there again. I was able to get some more shares, but given the relative strength that I've been seeing, I might be a little bit more aggressive than normal getting this out because you see some higher lows being put in here, but that sock continues to work. Amazon, I'm not really seeing any troubles, but remember, 82 on Amazon, if you go to the 15 minute, this is what we look like. We've been beneath there briefly. If we hold 82, Amazon's had major support at that price that I do want to have some respect for. So as much as we're in the money, a couple of bucks here on Amazon, I do think that you could catch a bit of a bid here. So I want to respect that. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, I, I just got out of NVIDIA a little bit there too. Uh, I'm able to make a little bit of cash on that short finally uh, as that's paying off. So we're going to try to go, I mean, I, are you still in Tesla? You mentioned Amazon. Yeah, but... Okay, good. So Not uh, much. Yeah, yeah, same. Oh, well, I mean, I've gotten out three times there, but I still have a decent position. We'll see if we can go back to the downside right now on Tesla. Here it comes back in, man. We talked about that 200 period right there. Tesla coming in. $2 on Tesla, $2 on NVIDIA, $1 on Microsoft. Go, Brendo. HR, a big mover so far today. Uh, they reported earnings after the close yesterday. I bring this up only because... There is a short interest on this stock, 17% on the short uh, side of things. 25 million float as well. Uh, less than, or lower than expected loss for AEHR. Up big time here. Just took out 22 there on volume. So just to acknowledge, margins. just to acknowledge it. Yes, HKD is halted to the upside. Um, it never really got to 20 bucks. It looks like it just bounced off 25 and immediately halted upside here. It's done 4 million shares. So that's kind of going crazy. I'm now out of Amazon. So, you know, that's, that's at 82. It'll look kind of like random on the three minute, but I showed you guys the 15 minute chart and support there in Amazon. So we'll ring the register and say, congratulations. If you stuck with the shorts there, um, at least in the weaker names, that's definitely worked out. Okay, so maybe it was a little bit aggressive getting out of Intel because I saw some signs of strength in the chips. That's back down at 2760. Obviously, if it gets to the low of the day, I want to take some more shares out, but the shorts are definitely in play at this particular point. It was dicey to, at the beginning, but the key was, logically speaking, I kind of thought we should be red today. Uh, we're not red yet on the day, but finding resistance is all you need to do at the open.
Yeah, they're almost almost red on the Nasdaq. They're pretty pretty darn close. close. We're gonna cash out again on Tesla here. Hopefully we can get it. It just bounced off 102, which is kind of where it was hovering in the pre-market. So there it is right there. We'll take money, that out. We'll throw money, some money, money around money, again money, for a two money, two dollar fifty cent win money. here on Tesla as it just touches 102 one more time. So uh, here we go, guys. It's gonna be a spicy one. Tesla, look at this Nvidia trade. Still making moves to the downside here is Nvidia. So um, yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to stop. These moves are heading lower 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 Microsoft also right back to the spot good thing we got I mean we were out of 80% of that on the high side as it's falling back in as well does it respect this 221 again let's see let's see if it does um, Try to, we'll take a small long now because the shorts have obviously been working. Let's try if we see if we can pick up another long down here at the bottom, maybe the bottom for Microsoft. There it is. Oh, no, we missed that, Phil. We're at, two, we're at 25s there. We missed that. Okay. Uh, what's up, Brendan? We didn't get to it uh, pre-market, guys, but worth a note here. WWE back to the upside this morning on uh, pretty good volume through 82 there. Vince is back. Uh, big volume alert there for WWE. Someone was asking, are there things that you were looking for for potential longs? And I was like, ah, I was, was going to take a look at WWE. Obviously, I did in here, and the market's doing another thing. So I, I think you can be patient. Like, right now, I think you want to be patient with, if you're looking for any longs anyways. But I'm just going to adjust some orders in there. There's a bit of a bounce, not a bounce, support happening in Bed Bath & Beyond. So here's a wick bottom that got down to quarters, and then you kind of came back into 130. Sometimes you get that big relief because no one can short. They have to sit on the offer and wait for an uptick. You get an uptick, and then it tries to consolidate. If it breaks out of this at 132, I might take another leg out. Otherwise, we're just sort of back to normal here. If it can sustain that move, I want to check back in on Roblox. Because in all this carnage, well, it's not really carnage to the outside. In this retracement, we only just broke back beneath 30 just a couple seconds ago. That's still in play for some relative strength in Roblox if it can get back above. I feel like Netflix might be the same thing. Tesla is starting to charge back uh, to that 104 area again. So bounce off 102s. I had scalped out in front of 102. I wanted to see if I could hold down to the low day this time. If it takes out 105, this gets really, really interesting uh, for a bit of a jailbreak. Oh, uh, but right. Tesla for now still working. But look at these candles. This is a three minute chart, man. Like you're just going back and forth until we break 105. I mean, the shorts worked off that level, so we got to respect it. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I, I, I mean, I respect that level for sure. I, I'm going to get out there. So if it does take that back out, we're going to get out. But we had a great out on Tesla already at that 102. So, I mean, like a glove again here today for Tesla. Good trade. And then Microsoft, I mean, I don't know. Let's go. We just went long again here. We'll see if we can get something out uh, in the 70s or 80s. But we are going to get out of this one if it does dip below that 221 marker there. So um, we'll wait. Looks like it's going to come back in right now. This this is not the name that we want to be long. We just thought we'd take that long early uh, because it was just rocketing to the downside. I guess the proper word was tanking. There it is. So now we're out of Microsoft, which is completely fine by me, man. That was not, not the sh same share size on that second reload there. Microsoft, my number one name today, but it, maybe it could be Tesla. But look at NVIDIA, the name that we sort of forgot about right here. Uh, NVIDIA, wow, me getting out there. Look where we are now, 141 flat. It looks like it's trying to take out right now. I'm waiting for a 140 break. So, hey, we've got $3 in the money on this NVIDIA trade, a dollar in the money on this trade right here uh, for Tesla, and still some pretty decent moves happening today, guys. So let's not ignore what this market, we talked about how spicy it would be off NFP, and that's exactly uh, what's happened here today, non-farm payroll uh, to the upside, but the market right now just turning red, as we sort of thought. That's why we took these shorts early. We didn't think this was good news. It looks like at least we're right about that. Yeah, and uh, I, I see you, Trader Gorno, talking about Macy's. I Look, I, I, I want to look at that, but I'm a bit dis not distracted, but we got enough stocks that we're watching here today. I think at least I do. Uh, Alibaba, which I liked for a potential dip buy, it doesn't quite break down into 102 area, but you do have this 103, which is trying to hold. So I got my eyeballs on that one as I'm just watching. Oh, I'm going to kick myself because maybe I got out of Amazon a little early. We'll see. Like Amazon, when it broke 82 previously, it bounced off of 81.65, and that's where it's bouncing now. But it still looks incredibly weak. Uh, just, just managing something which I thought was going to be relatively strong for a little bit. Intel is getting very close to where this channel has been. Uh, 27.40, so I do need to get some more shares out. I'm still holding 40%, which I think is a lot, given how relatively strong it's been. So I'll get that down to about 20% when it hits resistance. If it continues further, I'll look for a re-entry on some kind of a pop. So it's, I still am only looking for the shorts. Roblox broke 30. That doesn't look good anymore. Apple, by the way, if you're looking for reasons this, this could continue, Apple just broke 125 to the downside. 
that that doesn't the like Apple breaking 125 again just makes me want to hold on to the shorts even more. We have an alert right now because Microsoft, same thing, just broke 220. Uh, so here's a nice little downside move for me on Microsoft. We are taking this out right now a little bit in the 70s. We just took out one piece. We're in the 60s as well. Another big win here, hopefully, uh, as we're short 90s here. Uh, it just ticked down as low as 72. We actually got that, Phil. No, we got 76. Uh, so hopefully it comes back in even a little bit more now. Oh, sorry, still on Tesla. Uh, right there, there's Microsoft. So there's the breakdown, right? So we. we we tried it at 221 again, got out, now we'll take that break. I'm gonna wait, I think, until 221 uh, when it comes back upside here. Um, you know, give this one at least a dollar worth of room, I think, anyways, uh, in case this market, I mean, we talked about 10,900, how key that was. It just cut through that like it didn't even exist. Um, and then it went right to 10,800, and here goes Softy again, man. We are now almost at two times daily goal uh, here today as we take another fill. $3 in the money on Nvidia. We've already taken like eight, $6 net, $7 net on Microsoft. So that's a good one, let alone the damage that we've done also on Tesla today. So everything is good, man. No, no losing stocks today here. We'll wait to see what we can do with Nvidia though, as that the key level for me was 140. Uh, so we'll see if that comes into play even more now. Microsoft maybe is gonna bounce a little bit here. Um, Nvidia too at that 140. Key levels abound uh, right now in the marketplace, obviously as we look for downside risk. Yeah, and uh, Tesla, you probably have guessed it by now, but on that last little pop, 105 again. It just goes right up to that 105 area, starts to find resistance, and then it hits it, immediate pullback. So you're only shorting one price. If you're not shorting, like if you're shorting a different price than essentially 104 half, then it doesn't make any sense. It just ran away from, like you put a bid in, and it starts running away from it. So I'm gonna try and get something out in front of VWAP. You have to acknowledge that this is getting a little bit strong in Tesla, and the market is back at the lows, and Tesla's actually, threatening to break out of those highs. So I want to start thinking about being a more aggressive. If I see 102s, I no longer want to hold all the way to 100 on this thing. So rinse and repeat on Tesla while it works, but it's not falling the way the rest of the market is. To go back over to Lee Auto, which this is now at $20. You gotta be kidding me. Um, this is making a bit of a wick bottom through 20. So I'm seeing some signs on the Chinese EVs, which I wanted to put in the bucket with Tesla of a bounce, so that's bouncing. Neo is at 950. If these all start to go together and Tesla breaks the high, if you happen to be short one of these, I mean, you're in the money and it's looking fantastic for you, but I'm seeing some signs that they're trying to make a bit of a bottom. Intel does bounce off that low. I am now down to, I don't need that order. I'm now down to 20% of the position because it bounced right to the absolute low of the day, 2740. So Intel just turned red, 28 into 2740. That was where the support was supposed to be, but I want to hold on to Dodge for that. Just to check back in on Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the only one that you never had to sweat, but it's now bouncing off one and a quarter. So 175 was key after the announcement in the afternoon. 150 is where it barcoded all pre-market, 125 is the current, well, 127 is the current low of the day, but same thing. Yeah, we just uh, reloaded softy up there. Oh, yes, we did, okay. Um, up there at 60, so, okay, now it's right back. It just it just went back into 22015 or so, uh, right there. This is getting strong off the bottom again. Maybe that 220 is the bottom. I don't know, we, we tested it. We're gonna take a risk on that um, and see if that is the case. And that's basically all that we're gonna do um, is watch out for this one. I do have an out for Nvidia, 142. If it breaks back higher than that, we're gonna get out. I just like that level, and I, again, I don't still want to hold everything all the way back up to the upside. So let's try to get something out. If, the, if it's going to work out for us, um, we need it to do that, right? I mean, you can't just hold everything forever. But the market's just broken down some key levels. But now maybe it wants to bounce off 10, 800. So, uh, you know, we're, we're here to play some of these games with the market. That's for sure. Um, I'm probably... Because we've done so well on Microsoft here, I'm wondering about this 221.50 area maybe as, as our area to get out. So I want to try to hold on to this short. I, you know, you guys know I like it uh, here on Softy. We've talked about that a little bit. So let's just keep on that uh, front and try to look at Softy again um, a little bit higher, right? So that's 220, 221 fill, and then we'll wait for 221.50. But for right now, we're holding on to it. Tesla did bounce back down again, and then NVIDIA is doing its dance. I just want to kind of hold on to this short until we see some more. Uh, bloodbath into next week. Yeah, that may be the case. Well, that's what it looks like for now. Uh, Meta's trying to bounce. Remember 126 on Meta? Hey, 126 uh, just held up pretty nicely. Pre-market lows are a wick, just a, a dark pool wick. Uh, so I see this, this 126 has been holding pre-market on any volume. You had support there yesterday. If there's going to be a bounce in the stock, I like the risk reward. But watch out for your Tesla. If you're still short Tesla, 
it's back up testing that 105. At some point, I don't want to be reloading this over and over again. Like I just sort of said, oops, I didn't, meet, didn't move to the chart. I just sort of said, it's starting to put in higher lows and show strength. If this breaks out, you know you can quote levitate above there. So I'm not reloading Tesla. I think there's, the other shorts look a little bit more enticing that I've been holding in the money. Tesla's trying to break out when the market's at lows. That's telling me something. Yes, and there it is. Holy shit. Uh, uh, holy darn. Uh, big move there for Microsoft uh, as there it goes to the downside, man. We just averaged into this one again uh, on on the short, if you guys are watching us, man, it's the purple ticks that are the SS's right there. We just talked about it up to 221, and look where we're at now, uh, 219.60, and making the damn move lower right now. So there it goes. Nice downside move here for Softy. Again, we just reloaded it. Welcome to another dollar uh, right there on the Microsoft reload, man. Hey. We're here, baby, every single day, man, 8.30. We're here to trade these markets for you, watch them, talk about them, have fun, do stupid, dumbass challenges like Neil and I are going to do today here in the afternoon. Maybe. Uh, maybe, hopefully, the chip arrives. Uh, one chip challenge happening tonight, hopefully. Give me those 51s. Yes, sir. Holy my. Wow. Uh, good day so far here in the market, man. What a great January. Let's see what Brendo's got. Yeah, market downside once again, back to essentially session lows. Just saw a few of these uh, resource type names popping up. Here's U.S. Steel guys breaking to the upside through 26 there on the volume spike. Okay, so resources looking strong. I mean, you probably want to look at like an FCX as well, see how that's doing. Netflix is... So for the first time in a while, Netflix looks pretty darn weak. Uh, holding up pretty good yesterday. It is flushing. If it gets to 300, I think you guys know 300 to 302. That was that area I like before. Probably show you on the 15 minute. Got to be setting up here. At this point, like the shorts have paid, and you want to try to hold on to them. Tesla's the only one that concerns me. But this Netflix, 302 was a breakout. 300 is a psychological level. Tesla's through 105, so I'm out of Tesla. I do want to give a shot to something like a Neo. Uh, potentially to potentially to the long size, I have to hit enter twice because now the Tesla is going. Neo just bounced off 950, which does give a bit of a quick little scalp trade. If it holds 950, bye bye I can Tesla. maybe risk about like a couple of pennies here. I just got 53, and I'll probably give it to like 49. You know, I may even add to it at like 52, like grab some 52s as well, and then just give it a couple of cents down here. Just looking for a sympathy bounce with Tesla breaking 105. If it can come back to, six, to the 60s even, I think that's a solid trade. I was kind of scoping it out, looking at this and Liato. I pick Neo because it's right at 950. All right, uh, our makeup has arrived. The chip has not uh, right now, I just found out. Um, okay, so yeah, I know. Um, here's a nice little move. Again, I, I mean, we're bouncing off 50 here. We've already taken an out at 50. Let's see how low, man. I mean, Microsoft's below that 220 now. This is like exactly, I mean, for a day trader, man, this is, this is what we're waiting for. You're waiting for key levels to break like that. I'm glad we were able to find that one uh, for you guys on Microsoft. It's just, you know what? I'm gonna do some math after the show because I wonder if I'm, I'm, I'm I would think I'm up more now just on what I've done because I've made money on it, but I just wonder if I would have held this all the way right now and had a $7 winner uh, on Microsoft if that would have been actually more than we're up right now. I don't think that's, I don't think it would be, uh, but it's still a nice little move there. We did get out of Tesla as it broke 105. Tesla's still a great stock, man. I'm up, I'm up on it and I'm doing quite well on Tesla today. Uh, so we'll wait for that. And again, when you take a 50 cent hit, when you take $3 winners, I mean, it's, or what was that price? 104.50 out, 102.50 dollar winner you know definitely worth putting into that uh bucket there um all right I'll, i'm gonna take another piece out uh if i can at, in the 80s here as microsoft looks like it wants to try to take a little, another leg to the upside right now might look a little bit silly taking a piece out here but again when you have enough shares on board you can sort of do that that's what the scalping mentality is obviously it doesn't work when it rips against you we saw that on nvidia uh this morning but right now just 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 looking around, looking around, wondering if the market wants to bounce. It looks like it's trying to do that right now. So we gotta, I gotta find something to get long. I'm, I'm thinking now, maybe yeah. Apple. I mean, Apple's you don't, up, ha Apple's you up don't up have to go long, but it's like Apple just went off that 125, got to 126. I grabbed Neo because I saw Tesla going, and then Meta. I just barely missed Meta, which is kind of frustrating because I'm sitting right there. Meta I think I'm on 22s because yeah. that's I love that price for whatever reason. I'm always bidding like 22 and. 32 and whatever. Yeah, like 127. Uh, so I end up missing Meta on that little dip. Hopefully someone got that because you saw it holding that 126. Now you're not going to get 126 unless you're sitting there the first time. But that little bounce has been pretty solid. Apple definitely dragging the market higher. Just to go back to Tesla, good to get out of Dodge. The higher lows get put in. It was a great short. 
but all good things sometimes come to an end. They don't have to end, but that one did. You're now trending back into the upside on Tesla. I got to check Alibaba. I'm looking for something else that I like to the long side. It's now wick bottom through 103. Not really showing that much strength, though, in Baba just yet. So I want to lay off that one. It's Bed Bath & Beyond that could be setting up. Uh, interestingly enough here. So it's right back into 135. I mean, this thing essentially gave you almost like a 15% 15, 15 move to the downside, and it's already crushed after yesterday. So there could be a jailbreak to the upside on, on uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. It probably has to take out 150 for that to happen. But if it breaks back down here, then we can always add to it on the way down to potentially a buck. Oh, man. The name, name that I like right now is going to be Meta. You just mentioned that. It's because I already missed Apple. I wish I would have had that Apple trade. I'm trying to find names that are, are wow, going to be Tesla. strong uh, right now. Tesla up to 107, 106.50, 107 coming through. I'm going long Meta break 127 right now. I just, oh, man, these charts, come on. Oh, frustrations today for sure. As I have to keep. There we go. Uh, 127 right there coming out for us okay. on uh, Meta. We'll see if we can get that. Yeah, we're multiple dollars in the money. What do you What do you have there? Neil's starting to bounce. I bet you Lee Otto's going to start going too. My Meta. Oh my! I'm not sure it's messed up up here. I have to fix it. We're going to go to Brendan. I feel like we know the news, guys, but uh, WWE now halted news pending. So halt here for WWE. Oh my goodness, there was deal speculation involved in that too. Like one of the things that Vince said was that as they were looking for a strategic alternative, sorry, Neil's at 967 and just absolutely tearing to the upside. But Vince was saying as they were looking for strategic alternatives, it would be better if he was a chairman in place. I'm not saying a deal's announced, but that's a stock that's been holding up really well in um, the last little bit. I'm not going to flip to it here, but uh, we'll get to that in a quick second because it's halted. There's really not going to be anything to see for a little bit. And I want to make sure I'm managing this, Neil, because hey, the stock's down 11%. If it gets to VWAP, you might want to take some profit. But that bounce, the reason I like that bounce, had everything to do with grouping these EVs that related to the Tesla news into a bucket. It was Tesla that caused, no other news on Neo, Xpeng, and Liato. It was Tesla's news on demand concerns and price cuts that it was driving them down. So when Tesla stopped out, where was NIO? It was finding support at $9.50. So my thought process was, you're essentially risking two or three cents to try to get to VWAP. Once it got like a little better than one to one, I'm taking some shares out. When it goes two to one, actually that's way better than two to one, but 965 will take some out there. If it jailbreaks and wants to go to 10, fantastic. But that's what I was looking for. It's all about setup and preparation. We knew the bucket we wanted them in. Forget about the fact that the Chinese stock today, it's the EVs and everything else. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I'm, I, I just took the meta long through 126, uh, 127, sorry. So we are long meta right now. Um, I'm going to, oh, we got out of NVIDIA taking, yeah, darn it. So that little spike up there, I was thinking that this rally up, we could have taken out that 50 period. You guys know that that's where I got out at 142 there on NVIDIA, obviously. Now it comes right back down in now another 60 cents. So we miss out on that. Should have obviously held that as that's come back in to the downside right there for NVIDIA. You know, oh man, darn it. We just got out at 142 flat. Oh, uh, there it is right now back in. So at least, well, at least we had the trade. I mean, that's, that's the important thing there uh, for us on NVIDIA. We had that and um, it was good. I mean, it's still, it's still a 143 short, sorry, 144 short at 142. It's still a $2 winner, but hey, uh, not good enough in my opinion right now. Um, Microsoft coming back in a little bit. Uh, I mean, long, long meta short Microsoft's definitely not uh, a recipe for any kind of success, but um, you know, Microsoft's been weak, meta's been strong. So um, that just ripped up there. Microsoft up to 220, almost got me out. I'm gonna take another bid right here. There it is. We'll take a 94 out. Again, like different styles, different things, right? Um, you're gonna see Neo a ten nine nine dollar stock uh, there, and you know you're gonna be great taking that up to 10 bucks, 50 cents, 10 cents, whatever, right? But when you're taking a stock like Microsoft here, that's $250, $220, I wish 250, your risk to reward, not risk to reward, the risk tolerance on how high and low you're gonna let these things run a little bit differently. So we'll take it out there on Microsoft. Now I'm gonna give the last piece up to this 22050. If it breaks it, fine, but we'll just take 70 cents out there on Microsoft and uh, wait, man, wait for Meta or an Apple Reload if it Apple Reload tanks i do like the apple strength okay just getting a note from brinkles on a stock that we cannot trade but uh i'll get to that in a second i want to talk silvergate because i missed uh, i missed it thank you guys this is why you guys are the best community in the world because i said be patient on silvergate let it pop yesterday's close at 1250 broke 12 rejected 1250 back below 12 that's literally my favorite setup in the entire world 
uh, when it comes to a short setup and the stock is under pressure. That's the best, I'll say under pressure, that's the best I can say. So now that it's channeling down, you just had an 11 break. If I zoom in here, because those wicks are ridiculous, uh, you've got like 11.35 for the, that consolidation resistance. So the short at 11, you can risk 40 cents. The lower the day, that's 2 to 1, down to about 10.20, uh, depending on the price you get, but that's close enough. I'm going to start shorting this in the 90s. I'd probably add one time to get an average price of 11.05. Then I'm risking 30 cents plus slippage on SI. As we go to Brendan, it's only 10 o'clock. Time for Happening Now. Yeah. I want to make sure we bring these numbers to you live here, guys. We're going to get the ISM services number here coming through a little bit lower than expected. It looks like 49.6 versus 55. Previous was 56.5. So, uh, again, lower than expected there on the ISM services PMI. 49.6 uh, versus uh, 55 forecast. The factory orders month over month down 1.8% versus down 1%. So bigger than expected on that uh, factory orders decline. We did have a uh, green board. It was a little bit better than this, actually. 0.6 to the upside right now for the S&P 500. Uh, the Dow holding on to about the same, 0.7. Russell, all of them in positive territory. It is the 2000 once again leading uh, the NASDAQ, trying to hold on here, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.39 uh, for the 100. So a move to the upside here for the futures on that, guys. 0.6 again. Uh, that ISM manufacturing number coming in a little bit lower than expected, 49.6 uh, versus 55 for last month. All right, well, we take a 50 cent win right there on uh, Meta. Same story, different stock, boys. Uh, so that's a nice little win right there. It's still starting to go up, up more here. Let's see what happens off that ISM number there. Factory orders as well, all that coming out right now. Thanks, Brendan, for that PMI. 49 versus 56. So finally a lower number um, that might trigger like, you know, no more uh, rate hikes. Uh, but we already know that that is not the case. That is going to be more rate hikes to come. We did get out of our Microsoft there when it broke above right where it is now, which is good, man, because it went up to two. What the hell? It went up to 221.60. No, did it? Yes, it did. Wow. Microsoft really blasted up there. Hard blast up there for Microsoft uh, on that number. What a great short that would have been. I'm still going to hold into my Microsoft, my Meta trade. I like this one. Let's see if it does hold 127, although it's not. I thought it would have blasted more. Microsoft blasted up a buck 50. You know, this name should be able to go as well. Uh, check back in on our Apple. I'll check, I'll check Neo as well uh, in a minute, but I know well, you're already in it, so it does, guess doesn't really matter. Apple 126 goes up to 127 and stops. Maybe that's a good break for uh, Apple there. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, you're right. I am in an <coughs> I.O. here. I do respect the fact that you've had a bit of a trouble to get through this 1070s or 975 area. So I, I did just take another leg out. It's tight to my last exit, but you had higher lows, and I want to respect the fact that yeah, lower highs is the best way to put it. And if it cannot crack through this 75, then I want to make sure that I've taken something else. I just pulled an offer that was sitting at 77. Because if, if this breaks this area, why sit here? Like, you're breaking a consolidation, decent chance if it's going to make the move and hold above, you get another extra 10 cents out. And I've already scalped out, so I'm only holding 20% of the position left anyways. So you want to give it a little bit more breath when you see that happen. We either get through, churn higher, maybe test 10s. Otherwise, maybe come back down to those lows. I do not mind reloading on some of those. Uh, just before we go back in, into Brendan, uh, the other reason for that long was, of course, Tesla. Tesla just tested back to 105 and found a bid at 105. All of a sudden, 105 is support, not resistance. Brendo. First piece of information here, possibly, for WWE. Again, still halted news pending, but it looks like uh, they're updating at least the makeup of their board uh, after this decision uh, to bring Vince McMahon back as chairman. So uh, that is the first note. Anyways, if there's more to come, I'll let you know. That's, it was a clean 81 break at, off the opening range. I think like it's because I tweeted out that I was at WWE on uh, the 30th. I mean, I'm wondering about that one. Wow. And uh, I'm not going to be joining no board because there's no way I would leave this place. Um, we just took another 70 cent win right there on Meta. So big move to the upside one more time here for META. I'm just going to wait for 128.50s. Like if we can get back into this area, roughly somewhere around here. Let's just see. We just once again, how many times am I going to talk about this 10900 being such a key level? Um, it's just I'm going to have to mark it down here uh 10 900 we just bounced almost flat off that thanks uh for that let's go back over to brendo 
thought Citron was only going to tweet positive things uh, going forward, but it uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, Laser, guys, they just they released a whole thread there. So a Citron note on this one, L-A-Z-R, had that spike to the downside through four. Okay, well, Lasers, like, uh, lasers. you guys know where that's from. The great Canadian, Mike Myers, that's playing right. one of our favorite characters. But uh, this is... <laughs> Okay, now Greg in the back is having fun with that. He's our trading floor manager. Uh, but laser, well, that's a huge wick bottom. That is obviously, what is wrong with the, there we go. Uh, that's a huge wick bottom through four even, which does set it up for a little bit of support and maybe a rally uh, off of that. But you always want to see it. When it does that wick, does it consolidate and hold to continue that move? We'll see if it is the case. Now, remember I said Neo. If it broke through at that 75, you have another 10 cents. Well, it rejected VWAP. That's why it took some out on the front end of it. Want to respect it. I will probably go back to the bid in front of that, in front of that 125 area. Uh, but here comes back down Apple a little bit. Okay, Apple. Apple's starting to come back. You have higher lows all the way through. So VWAP here, if it can hold 126. Ooh, that looks pretty strong for Apple uh, looking to hold that 126. I did get that SI second half. I told you I would get a second Apple position. Is? Sorry, get a second load. My average price would be 1105, and then I would put my stop at 1135. My average price is 1104. So I guess I miscalculated by one cent uh, in that average in, but I'm giving it about 30 pennies worth of risk. Yeah, I'm debating that Apple uh, there. I like to see Apple a little bit lower. Um, so, so I'm still in meta. I mean, looking for some other trades there. Uh, he's already talked about WWE. We'll go back to that in a minute. Amazon hit 52-week lows amazing. today. So did Tesla. Um, so those are possible names to look at as well on a 52-week low push, uh, if that's something that you're looking at for scanners and whatnot. Um, let's take a look at CCL. I guess that name's... Just showed up on a scanner from Trade Ideas as well. Oh, yeah, nine bucks uh, right there for CCL. So a nice move to the downside here uh, for CCL today, I believe. Oh, God. There we go again. I have all kinds of trouble. Charts just are not even loading for me. Uh, okay, so CCL is actually up. It looks like it did have a have nice a bounce off that 885. I might just log out and back in. Uh, Google has been weak, uh, relatively weak for a while. Um, and it looks like it is again today being down 0.62 right now for Google. So maybe there is going to be some catch up uh, being played on this one for GOGGL. 86.50 maybe. Again, you know, look, look at the charts. Uh, 86.50 here for Google. Trying to get that to low. That's right there. That's the 200 period is 86.20. Maybe there's something there as well. I'm still long meta, and I'm just going to try to hold into this. So let's wait to see if meta continues to go up. 128.50 is my target for that one. Yeah, and uh, HKD, for those of you who are following, it is now at $20, which is, that's kind of the area I was looking for, for like a dead cat bounce. I, maybe I don't love that term, but you guys, it's a figure of speech. You guys don't, don't mean anything literally about that. So if it makes a halt to the downside or any one strong push back down in, like parabolic down, I am looking for like a jailbreak long either off of a halt or holding somewhere in this range. It's just going back into yesterday. That's 16 and a half. That's 19 and a half. I'm just looking for that channel for a potential buy in there. We already talked about Neo. Uh, I just mentioned Apple off of this 120, off this 126. Go back to the 15 minute. It looks like it's already started to go. That was one wick down, and then it's already back at 126.50. That's how quick you have to be Johnny on the spot for some of these longs. Pretty insane. Uh, Netflix was so strong before. Suddenly a little bit relatively weak. Netflix, if it gets back through here, like 306 and a half, maybe you've got a bit of a jailbreak. But suddenly this is on the, on the weaker side of the individual names. You see Apple above VWAP in there. You see Meta above VWAP. And now all of a sudden Netflix is the weaker of those. I'm still in Intel. I took out 80%. That was the bottom. It's the bottom on the 15 minute. That's not magic. That's been resistance all week. Cannot seem to get back to the top. That's where I'd reload the short in front of 28. Otherwise, I'll just hold on to this nicely. NIO is still creeping up. I just want to hold on to that at the market. If Tesla continues higher, NEO could see 10, and I've already scalped out of it, and I don't have long Tesla, so I'm just going to hold my NEO as that continues to go higher and higher. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're a dollar in the money now on Meta as that's continuing to go higher. So, yeah, we've just been really holding out for some of these longs uh, here again today. I just moved up my charts, right? So, Prad came over here and was like, yo, move, let's see if we can move up our charts a little bit. So, now, look, you can see everything. This is what we're doing. Prad already making his, you know, 
making his appearance felt, making his uh, impact on the show. So thanks for that one, Brad. Uh, right there, we're going to up these a little bit. I've upped everything. I will try to fix this a little bit, but I'm thinking we need to go lower on maybe like less of our head and more of the charts because who cares about seeing us? Everybody wants to see the charts right now. So there we go. Yeah, what's up, Hot Chip Challenge people? Get it. Do it with us, guys. We're going to be doing that hopefully later on. Do not do uh, it with today. us. Here we go, 128. We got a dollar right now in the money, man. We're, we're kind of just cruising right now, man. I mean, this has been a great day here so far uh, as we continue to watch out for some of these moves happening now alongside as we're breaking now back above 10,900. Look, man, I, I, I'm waiting for 128. 50 here on Meta. So that's what I'm going to wait for. I'm going to try to be disciplined on that uh, and do exactly that. Another name that we're positive on uh, today, of course, Tesla. A big positive day for me on Tesla, although this one's starting to go back up to the upside as well. Um, and no real levels now, man. Maybe you got to wait for 110. I now want to go long everything. So I'm looking for better longs here to get in. Um, and I, I was looking at that Google. I really like that Meta. But Meta right now, just bouncing off 128. I feel like I'm going to take another spot there. Uh, at 128. So I'm going to go uh, throw it over to Brennan and put an offer here at 128 flat uh, for Meta. Go, Brando. Uh, guys, as we mentioned early on this morning, the first of the Fed officials uh, commenting now, Bostic making some comments, seeing that or the first comment that's helping the market here is his baseline no longer a recession, saying that that is now avoidable. So a little bit positive for the overall market. Back to the upside. And back to the upside, finally breaking channel is that Netflix. I talked about its weakness. I was just looking at some of these other Chinese names like PDD, but Netflix did break uh, 306.50. That break, I actually couldn't get a fill off that break. Maybe too tight of a stop, uh, stop to go trigger long because the spread opened up to about 50 pennies on the breakout. Still going to hang on to what we have, but I did want to go back over to Bed Bath & Beyond. It's almost saying, is it going to squeeze up? Look, I think it has to actually break significant resistance before that's the case. You can look at that in two ways. You can say that's that 150 area. You can say that's the pre-market low. That 141 was that pre-market bottom, and you're sitting at 140. So I think if it starts going rapidly off of that, then, then I would consider getting out of the last 25% of my position, which is what I'm holding on to. I just don't see heck, a heck of a reason yet to cover that trade. It still feels like it can be strong. I do want to go back into Roblox here because that rejection of 30, suddenly like Netflix, this is incredibly weak. The market is on a run to the highs, and Roblox just broke the low. So now it's rejected the 30, the, not the 30, the $30 price level, and suddenly this is just obviously a short in my books. I don't think I want to look in any other direction. I'm probably going to have a 29 short if I can get it. I just missed that break a couple of seconds ago. I want to add this to silver. I know looking for shorts when the market's bouncing here. Kind of sucks, but if it's at the low of the day and the market's testing the highs, you know it's relatively weak. Down 4% Roblox here. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, we're just, we, just got, we just got another fill right there, so we'll go bang on that one as we get that 127, uh, 12790 fill there. And now we're just going long on, I mean, we're just going to hold out for meta. I mean, like, like I said, if there is anything else here, I am interested in, in trying to find something. Um, you know, add support, add resistance here, GameStop, Rivian, maybe AMD. Let's have a quick check on AMD again. NVIDIA was a pretty wild ride earlier uh, as we'll look now for AMD trying to get up to 61. So if AMD can test that level, we're now above everything. So I do want to get some longs, but wow. AMD down four, three percent That's just nasty, man. Uh, wow, okay. Can this get going through 61 maybe uh, in case it wants to go? I'm going to test that. So I'm going to try to go long here on AMD through 61. I mean, that's right here. It's a decent level. I kind of like the way this looks. But, I, but this is another name that, oh, man, it's like how many shares do I really want to use here? Because if we're wrong, like this could break and then come right back in a little bit here. Um, all right, we're going to try to go long here through $61 here on AMD. Risk it for the biscuit, boys. Um, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to see. It's down 2.5%. Maybe it does retrace back upside a little bit. As you can see, the NASDAQ is still above. If we've marked it down there right now, that 10900 that's been marked. So now we're going to wait to see what happens. And again, I apologize. Uh, for some reason, the charts just are not my friend today. Um, but there goes Meta right now. Money, 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 money. Uh, today money, we're doing a lot money, of that dance money, uh, money. because it's what's happening. Uh, Meta right now through 128. We like the long I'm playing that. But right now, attention on AMD as that's going to be a new trade for me trying to take out 61. Yeah, the chip I like to the long side. Sorry. The, the chip, the, the semiconductor chip name that I like to the upside. I've got chips on my brain here and 
I'm not really looking forward to that if it happens, is Micron. It just turned green again. It's approaching that $55 level, and this is what... It's a NASDAQ. Uh, this is what it looks like on the 15. This is what it looks like on the daily. So this is 55 and a quarter. You still have resistance at that 50 period moving average. But once it gets back up to the top, this is screaming breakout. I also like the 54 support. So I'm going to get on the bid. If it does come back into the downside, I want to buy some support here. But this is setting up for the break. I did get Roblox, by the way. You'll see I got some 93s. I'm, I don't want to add to it just yet. I'd like to see the futures maybe level off a little bit and start so showing some signs of weakness. Like you just started making some lower highs. That's where I'd like to be able to add to it. Once you start rolling back over, I'd rather add on strength as opposed to getting more shares as it's going against me. Sometimes just a better way to be able to play it. Uh, one last one to get to here. I know, I know. You get, Mullen is making a move. So I'm going to respect the fact, look, yesterday Mullen, Mullen broke a double top on the daily chart, which is this way and had a clean move from 40 to 45. So as I see it get back into that 45 level, I will respect the fact that, that is asking for a bit of a jailbreak 45 to 50. I got to make sure I paid for some shorts because quite frankly, at some point I will likely short this if it breaks the top. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I was just looking, I mean, I'm sort of a little bit distracted here because I do like uh, this AMD long, but I'm also wondering if it's also a short uh, here. But it's just like the market just stopped and then this thing just dropped like 25 cents uh, right back down to the bottom. So when I do get long, I am going, that's the NASDAQ, but uh, I am going to have to try to respect uh, this 10900 level. Like I don't want to see that if we get long, which is imminent apparently uh there it is so where's my long right now do i not have it there it is just punched in there some why wow that was like some reason i'm now long oh fours on this that seems a little bit strange because i was staring at it as it broke uh but okay uh again i was just using sort of an automatic fill just a, a um stop order to give me that fill there so all right we'll we'll try to take it out a little bit here normally i want to take dimes on it uh but it just went down a, a I guess five cents here, 10 cents now, breaking a little bit lower. So watch out here. Let's see what this market wants to hold. The idea that I was getting at was that this little marker is where I'm going to get out, man. 75, 70 break, something like that uh, right there as we did tick that high through. We like that trade. I don't know, man. Like I said, maybe maybe it's a short up here at 61. I mean, it's down 2.3%. This is why we're, this is not something that we're going to rest on. So, you know, if we get the fill, great, which we did. Uh, but if it does come back down here, we're going to get out on a 70 break. I mean, it's pretty straightforward for me here on AMD. Um, need, need this one to run. I don't know. It's too weak. Should have probably stayed focusing on the long stocks today. You know, like a meta and things like that uh, that are actually up today instead of something that's down. So th this one is a lesson here. Let's see, let's see how bad it can get. But we do have that 60, 70 stop. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be the right call here on that AMD long, but we're only out of the money 20 cents right now. So I did just get, like Mullen just broke that 45. I did just grab it here. So I got 45 and change. You're going to see it 45, but obviously my price is like 4506 because it trades to the tenth of a cent or hundredth of a cent there. If it does not hold that level, I'll probably take some out because it's not really going right away and then try to hold on to like 30% if it does a deeper pullback. But risk to reward on something like this, I'm getting out every single penny that it takes out. I want to get some all the way to that 50 level. Um, just to go back over to Intel, because Intel's right on the precipice of 28. Well, okay, it's not really there yet. I thought it was a little closer to 28. Uh, we're ready at 2780, but we're getting pretty close Dude. to me getting more Intel, but it's only in front of that 28 level. I don't, wa don't want to chase this one. Uh, get too far away from that 28. That's the resistance level. Want to make sure we get it, but Mullen is the new trade for myself. I am still, I tried to get the bottom on HKD, uh, unfortunately, there was this little move here. It broke 20. I tried getting it on the way back up. It made a $2 move and then came right back yes. down testing 20. So now I'm just waiting for lower lows. All right, here we go, guys. There it goes. Finally, man, we waited for that AMD long. Uh, we, you know, it had to pop up a little bit. We got some out at 10, like we just said. Um, normally, I've taken dimes. I know I'm long at 04, but I should be long at 0s or 01s. So we'll take that right now. And there it goes to the upside. Let's put another order at 14 just to take that dime. What's up, Brando? Uh, interesting look here, guys. Wanted to mention this quickly. The 10-year, echoing the sentiment of stocks right now, 10-year downside in a big way, uh, 3.62 right now on the 10-year. Recent lows for uh, that. Anyway, uh, this one just popped up as well. ROIV, big mover early in the week, testing that $9 again for that one. I'm right, getting lighter on AMD, what? just FYI for everybody. This name's not going. What's ROI? I miss, I miss that ticker. I'll get that one from Brendan in a second. 
R R O I V. Okay, I just want to make sure I add that one to my board. Uh, I do want to go back over to. Uh, I have to go to Silvergate because we talk about the good, we talk about the bad. Roblox just came to the upside, had a tight stop there. This is going to look like a ridiculously tight stop, but that's because I'm not zoomed in. It just took out 11.35. If it churns higher, I'm not doing anything till it gets to $12. Like $12 is that bigger line in the sand. I want to be able to respect it. Um, I'm watching Neo find resistance again, but Tesla's still trending higher. So I want to give this more room, but it's giving me the, I don't know, it's giving me like the feels, if that's even word. Like there's all kinds of selling every time it gets to this 975 and Tesla keeps breaking higher, but you are still making higher lows. So I want to hold on to it. You start reversing too much, and then maybe I want to take another leg out. Uh, Mullen's not quite at 46 yet, but it's about to get to 46. And as I said, if this gets to 50, I'm probably out of it and looking for the other thing. Uh, but that first 10% is always a good look for a penny stock. It's got a wall at every price level. So if you're looking at a level two, if it's got a few hundred thousand shares or half a million on it, that doesn't matter when it's going to do half a billion shares in volume today. Yeah, Meta right now just absolutely rocking to the upside, man. It's getting close to a level that we're talking about right here, 128.50. Wow, another dollar fifty in the money here as we put on our diamond hands for this trade, guys. Uh, 127 up to 128.50 for me. That's about as good as it can get. I mean, wow, it can get a hell of a lot better. We had $6 there that we gave up on, um, on Microsoft. But uh, hopefully, I don't know if Meta is going to go $6 or not. Uh, but we're going to take that offer again if it gets up there. We're actually at $128.40 uh, to take $1.40 on the name. Hopefully, it can go. I said that I was a little bit nervous about this trade. It's because I am uh, right now. AMD, look, all my outs are higher, so it's fine. Like, we're, we're getting out, but it just looks ridiculous. Like, I just don't know if this is going to go. Every single time the NASDAQ bumps up here, right, AMD, I'm just on the wrong name. And I hate when I'm on the wrong name um, and I just feel like I am on the wrong name uh, here with advanced micro like look look at this thing just come back in I'm gonna take another piece out there at 04 this is ridiculous I'm gonna take another piece at 10 and then if it goes fine if not we're just gonna wait for that bottom to break not a good name here we need to be in something a little bit stronger so let me go over to the races here this is again from trade ideas you can grab 20% off I believe right now uh, trader TV 20 uh, or so or just hit up Michael Noss or go to our landing page and you'll be able to see that I think it was 20% look what's one today Square, Lucid, Rivian, Tesla, all these names relatively strong. So EV names. And then my Starbucks uh, right there as well. Uh, wow, 106, man. I talked about Starbucks, I think sub 100 at the beginning of the week. I'll double check that number. But that's a nice little 6% move upside for Starbucks. Um, yeah, we just missed again on that meta move, man. Maybe we are getting near the highs uh, and we don't want to go anywhere else. We're at the high right now of where the NASDAQ ripped to on some of those moves here earlier on today so nice move back nice recovery day here for the nasdaq up that one percent always great to see okay it's big desk with brendan for small cap recap hey guys yeah brought to you by mumu one-stop trading app that helps remove traditional barriers for investors powerful tools such as level two data earnings calendar stock screener and so much more uh, now until the 31st guys get 20 free stocks in the u.s Get $110 cash back in Australia. Check them out. Link on screen there. Uh, shout out to Moomoo. Uh, a bit of a quiet day, as expected. Anytime you get the overall market in play, uh, some of the small caps take a back seat. SPRB, however, up on positive news. Actually, after market yesterday, you can see it made a, a bit of a move and then uh, got above $3 in the pre-market here. Uh, if you go out to the daily chart, that actually opened up a move possible all the way up to 5, 550 even would have been the next stop. So I uh, tried the long here initially because this was looking very, very strong, just trending to the upside throughout the uh, entire pre-market. Tight stop was showing a ton of weakness, so flip that short at $3. Uh, nice move down to 220 on uh, SPRB. Uh, took that little refill there as well for uh, a double. On the short side, CTMX was the other one I was watching. Really never got to where I wanted it. 350 was basically day highs uh, at the open, though. We just uh, started moving downside. I was away from that, but missed that break. That would have been a good fade as well. Uh, back to 250, but uh, yeah, outside of HKD, which is still doing HKD type things, guys. Small caps a little bit quiet today. Back to you. Well, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I, was, I was just going to talk about an idea that yeah, I was going to look at Tesla because if Tesla comes back up to this 107 here, um, it's bounced off a couple times at 107.50. So I think I want to try another short here at 107, give it up to that 107.50 just to see if it wants to go. Um, so that's a, that's a play for me here on Tesla. I did get a little bit, as I said, man, we don't, we don't like this name here. So when this broke back down below 61, we got out of a little bit more. We only have a third left of our AMD. I tried to hold it, man, in case it did want to reverse out, but now that the Nasdaq's come back in, uh, and, and I already know that this is a weak name, not a great one to hold. We'll take one more fill at 80, which makes sense, which we've talked about, and then getting rid of it if it drops that 70 spot. So that's gonna be out. And then when Meta broke back below 128, I took another out there. So now we're out of 80% of this Meta trade. Now we hold for the high, like now no more outs. Um, we've already scalped it out. We've done a good job on that, I feel like, but now we wait, man. We wait until it goes even higher than that, and we wait on our AMD. We're out of all of these, now we can just hold these two longs. I prefer the long as long as we stay above that 10,900. We sort of identified that, and that's where it's bouncing off of right now. So let's go to the long side here in this market. I don't want to have any shorts other than that Tesla up here at 107. Other than that, I'm not shorting anything right now. But Neo's, Neo is another name. I know you're trading it, so I don't really want to talk too much about it. But Neo, I was, it's not overly as strong as maybe it could be right now. I mean, the market is testing these highs and Neil's just chilling. So that's just a little bit of warning there on NIO, guys. Uh, so one thing here, uh, whoops, why is this on, here we go. Uh, Alibaba, which I have not tested, I haven't touched this stock just yet. It did give you a bit of a dip buy. I did miss out on that, but it's now taking out yesterday, well, not yet, take yesterday's high. 105.70, I believe, was the actual top. It's right there right now, looking like it wants to churn higher. I just want to alert to that break. If it does any kind of a pullback, I want to join this party. When this goes, you know how good it can be. I'm going to try and scalp off the 105. Uh, sorry, like a scalp trade going long with a tight stop off the 105 level. I am going to go back over to Mullen. I just wanted to give you guys the new look first and then remind you. So Mullen, the 45 break, it has gotten halfway. It's halfway there to 50, and it's not living on a prayer. It's floating up on... Quite frankly, one of the reasons why I'll be out of it if it gets to 50 and goes short, there isn't a catalyst here, particularly. You know it's just a pure momentum style play, and when these things reverse, you saw what happened at 45, it pulled all the way back. So I, I do anticipate that when that happens, or if that happens at 50, I don't want to have taken nothing out. You want to make sure you pay yourself. Nobody ever made a dime until they've covered some of their position. Last I checked, you can't, we're day traders, but I mean anybody, you can't take it to the grave with you. Uh, so I'm going to get, I already half out. I've just gotten that entry off of 105 on Alibaba. I want to see if it can hold up. Neo is rejecting this 50, uh, sorry, 975 and VWAP. I want to respect that. But it was Lee Auto that actually caught my attention a little bit more because that was a huge run up right into pre-market lows. It just wick topped, wicked it to 2085, which was a pre-market low. If it starts to curl here, I actually like the notion of a Lee Auto uh, reversal back into VWAP short. All right, Lee Auto. Wow, yeah, I mean, we were just talking a little bit That's there about... Um... Neo, so yeah. yeah, good look there on Lee, uh, as some of these names do continue to dance around a little bit here. Um, you know, just, just crazy, Cra crazy movements today uh, in the market, and I wanna thank everybody for joining us one more time. There's Neo, I've already, I'm, I'm pre-warning you guys about this one, I think this is a downside move here, so I'm gonna go short um, on NIO uh, right now, just feel like this is probably the right play. Uh, oh shoot, as soon as I say that, of course, Get short first, then tell all you guys what my plan is. Like, it literally, someone just hit that down three or four pennies there. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not short. Wish I was. Damn it. Stop hitting it. Stop, guys. All the way to the downside there. 66 is. Ah, darn it. Should have got that a little earlier. We'll wait, though. I'll wait. I'll wait back where it was before uh, that happened there. Maybe 68 if we can get that short. Like that trade in there for NIO uh, against some of those levels. Now, whether or not it works or not, we're going to wait to see uh, on that in a couple minutes uh, right now. AMD. We've already talked about this one. Hey, Don't really push? love it, but I like that oh, Neo one for a short. Netflix <laughs> also possibly uh, as a short as well, right? So Netflix right now, oops, uh, not a New York name, a NASDAQ name. Uh, Netflix looking... Netflix looking like it wants to take down. It's down 1%, which is why it's really sort of catching my eye right now. 
Thanks. We talked about someone uh, there. Thank you for that. I, I talked about that against you um, in the chat there, or with you in the chat, about the 10-year and the dollar falling a little bit right now. So, you know, some of these names are going to be weak. Uh, or that's good for tech names. But for some reason here, Netflix continues to go weaker. And you have a 308 level right here that I really like uh, for Netflix. So that could be something uh, to look out for on a short here for NFLX if it does rally back up. I like, I really like that 308 area. I like 310 a lot better where the 200 period is. Wow, Mullen right now up to 45 cents, up 8% M-U-L-N. And look at HKD, man. What goes up must come down. HKD right now getting clocked as well, uh, down 22% to $22 HKD. Yeah, that's, that's actually a bit of a bounce on uh on HKD. I actually want to respect the fact that it is trying to go back up. Uh, I do want to go back. I just got Liotto and we're bouncing here off of one, 104.80. looks like we made a bounce on, on uh, Alibaba. Liotto, I am to the short side. And one of the reasons I do, look, it's, I know they're both Chinese names. This one's on the NASDAQ. But this is in, the, it's in a different bucket. I don't want to put, I want to respect the fact that Alibaba and JDs of the world are not trading the same way as, as Neo and whatnot. So I don't really think of this as being counter uh, the move here. So I'm just going to respect the fact that you got differing moves. I've got the pre-market high here or lows at 2085. I've rolled into the short. It's not a big risk to reward trade here. So I don't think it's, I'm risking maybe 15 cents if I factor in slippage. I'm just going to get a stop order in as I'm talking. There we go. Uh, so I'm short, Lee. Neo for, me, Neo for me at this point, like it's a very binary trade on Neo. It's, it's 950. If it breaks the channel up, I think it's got a huge, huge rally, but I've taken 80% out. I just think Liotto's got a better shot to the downside. Uh, as far as Alibaba goes, if it takes out the pre-market highs, I don't really have an out. Like, I'm just looking at this and sort of saying, maybe I'll look at the even dollar levels and every 50 cents. If it breaks the high, that's 150. 105.50, and I want to at least get into that before I take anything out. And then it's just like every 50 cents from there I want to respect on that name. Mullen did pull back into 45. I'm out half. I did say if it rejected, it was a decent chance to come back in here. I don't want this going red on me. I'm not giving it to VWAP. Forget that. It's a breakout price that I want to respect. Oh, man, I hate you all because uh, we tried to get that short on Neo there. And uh, yeah, uh, no, we don't hate anybody. But um, that was a great short, man, uh, there on NIO at 70. Should have just hit the 69 uh, before instead of waiting around for it. But that's OK. Uh, there goes Neo to the downside there. That's about as for me right there. That that's that that would have been the trade. But uh, that's OK. Uh, we'll still sit there and wait for it to happen again, I guess, uh, here for NIO if it does pop back up. Meanwhile, we're diamond handing this thing, man. It's good for me. I mean, you know, we've been holding this name now for... 30 minutes, 35 minutes. So uh, it's a good trade for me there. The meta break of 127, now finally taking out 128. So, so far so good on this one. And look what else is happening right now. Yeah, buddy, as we uh, celebrate a little bit here of AMD, as that goes right back up to a nice little level that we like. So AMD starting to go, meta starting to go. Everything's starting to work out pretty good for us. I'm not on anything crypto. Give me those 18s, AMD. Uh, I'm not on anything crypto related, but we do have our crypto minute with Brendan over at the big screen or at the big desk. Quiet day so far, guys, as we were mentioning in the uh, pre-market. We're actually not seeing the correlation that we have been over the past couple of months with equities as much today when it comes to uh, crypto markets. Everyone focused on this. Today, uh, the jobs report, Pratt, if we could uh, go to my screen. Thank you, sir. Uh, 223 uh, on the increase as far as or what the U.S. economy added in December. Higher than expected, but down uh, seems to be the key, down from November. So uh, that's uh, helping stocks back to the upside. Uh, as I mentioned, not really seeing the correlation here as we typically do with uh, Bitcoin. It is kind of chopping around, not really doing much of anything, basically flat on the day to down slightly after a nice run-up uh, over the past couple of days and then a fade back to where we've been uh, the past couple of weeks. 0.43 downside so far, 16,700 and change. 1250 seems to be the sticking point uh, for Ethereum. It's been there all week long. It's been a quiet week so far for these. 2% downside for Dogecoin today. 1.8 for uh, ADA. Back to that uh, 27 mark. That's not it. Uh, but uh, overall, a little bit of uh, lackluster movement so far today, guys, for crypto. 
Yeah, I mean, I'll say, but considering the move that you've had in the overall market, the, I guess you'd call that a little bit disappointing because you like to think it would move more. But let's be honest, we've been talking about how little, relatively little volatility that you've seen in Bitcoin recently. And uh, so when you get these big wild moves, you're not always going to see them in crypto. You, you've actually been finding them in your Silvergates and Coinbases of the world. Uh, just to go, just speaking of that one, because I haven't looked at Coinbase. Ooh, I hit enter too fast and I got that NZ because it's a new... This is still relatively weak. I mean, I'm looking at this and just saying, wow, there's probably a fade in Coinbase. If the market doesn't take the high, like yesterday's bottom, 30, 3275. There's 3275 on Coinbase. And uh, if we get here and the market's not taking out the high, that looks like a pretty solid resistance zone. So maybe worth our respect if it gets a little bit higher to put the risk to reward on. Uh, Alibaba, by the way, that's just, it's doing Alibaba things, man. Uh, Baba, back up to the high of the day now. I'm going to scalp some out because it's, it's going to be giving me like a 40 cent win right now. But let's respect the fact that if it takes out this high, you can see 107, you can see 108. Quite frankly, I don't know where this thing's going to go. Um, you do have overhead resistance technically on the daily chart. It's at 107. That's why I'm already offering it in case this goes absolutely parabolic and you know what ish crazy. Um, but I'm in Alibaba. The long's been pretty good the last couple of sessions. I want to go back over to Intel because if the market goes any higher, at some point, Intel, maybe I get a reload in front of 28. But Intel has decided to sit out this up move for the last, like, 30 or 40 handles on the NASDAQ. It just doesn't want to go any higher. So it's still sitting in the money the last I have. But I'm not taking anything else unless I actually get short in front of a said 28 level. Mullen bounced off that 45 breakout, headed back toward the high. But you know what? When it retraces all the way back to the breakout price, oftentimes it has trouble going all the way. I said this in the afternoon yesterday, so I'm going to respect that fact again. And when it goes halfway, ring the register. I still want to hold for 50s, but not as many shares because it showed signs of slowing down. Bounce where I wanted it to. But let's just respect the trend that we saw in yesterday's trade on Mullen, which was once it made a top off the 40 break, it never got there again. All right. Um, so we just took three cents. Uh, I mean, we, we took out of a quarter of it. Let's see if it continues to work for Neo. It does pop back up and we just scalp some out there again. You know, we're in scalp mode right now. It's 1040. So we'll do that uh, back before it comes. To, I mean, hopefully it can come down, man. It's just it stopped at 62. So we'll put some more Neo bids here at well, actually, I am. I'm already bidding 62, so hopefully it comes back in. New position alert. Wake up, guys. We have Tesla now up to that 107. I'm going to give it to 108 uh, right now. That top has been 107.50, so I just don't want to get out and make the top on that name. So let's wait to see if 108 can come into play. I am trying to take 50 cents on the first piece. It just went down there. I don't know if that wick happened because I was sitting there, but... I mean, I might have got missed there at that level, but it just did bounce off of that 50 cent mark there. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it kind of might, it might have gone down there. Uh, so anyways, we're bidding 50s, maybe the wrong gateway. We'll wait to see if that can work out. But you know what is working out right now, guys, and working out huge is AMD, man. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, right now, come to the party, AMD. You are well-dressed and welcome right here. Another 40 cent win on this 60 cent name to the upside goes AMD just ripping right now. So huge move. I like it. It's a good one. Upside here for AMD. Let's take that out. Not only that, we tweeted it out. Follow me at Trader TV Sean as we tweet, tweeted this out before we even took it. Looking at an AMD break here. And I put out the charts. This is when we're long meta. I talked about where we like that one. And then I was talking about right here, looking at an AMD break. It didn't break yet. There's 61 given to you at Trader TV Sean right there for 30 cents. I mean, if you're watching, the show great uh, but if you're not of course uh, follow me on that Twitter and you'll be able to hopefully uh, catch some of those trades with me um, as we've been really on fire here over the last little while so uh, Neo yeah, it's still dancing around Tesla meh this one looks like we'll give back some of what we've made already here on Tesla especially if it does want to keep going to the upside still down that 3% but look at the market man I've already marked down that 10 900 about how key that was now look where we're going on this one that's why we have 50 cents in the money on AMD that's why we have a dollar 50 in the money on meta right now Tesla sure it's going to hurt if it continues to go to the upside but we're just going to get out at 108 man it'll be a dollar hit and that'll be what that is as we're looking to average into this trade right now yeah, and I'm looking for my next out in Alibaba. It's like, the only thing that I think is of concern is going to be Intel because Intel's right at that 28 level. Um, we're just gonna, I, I'm not adjusting my orders on NIO, but what I do want to do here is 
maybe even back this order off even more because if this I feel like if this breaks you're going to have way more upside just looking at what Alibaba is doing and I know they're in different buckets but wait Tesla's churning the way the market's at the high of the day I just feel if you break channel up it's going to be insane uh there we go Alibaba oh yeah there's okay there we go that's a little bit better on the scaling so we're getting to that 106 that means we're continuing to go upside on this name if you're watching say a jd.com like JD has yet to break. It hasn't gone through 65. Baba's already taking out the high of the day. I just feel like JD, you've got overhead resistance on the daily, way more of it at 67, 68 up there, and you can't even take 65. Pinduo Duo, which I know is a popular one, this is also breaking out. So I'd put it in the bucket with, uh, with, with Baba if it could take out a fresh high. But again, it's not through yesterday's top. That's the reason I'm in Baba and neither one of those other two absolutely churning in here. I want to go back over to that MULN because I do feel like this is running out of steam a heck of a lot more. It can't even seem to get past 47. So, you know, I can't tell you that I think at some point this is going to flush without getting more shares out. If it does get through the highs, it's going to get to, it's going to, get to 50 with me having far less on than I anticipated on MULN. And just to finish with HKD here for a quick second, I'm going to go back to that Intel because I got to reload. It's still dying. Like, it's really, there's been no test of the bottom of the channel from yesterday at 17 bucks, but it is a straight shot to the downside. They're selling the living you-know-what out of every single pop on HKD. So if you didn't already take profit, there's a reason why we sort of say there's never anything wrong uh, with taking the profit you have on these, because quite frankly, they don't always go to $2,500. Sometimes this is what happens to you, and you don't want to be sitting in a 300% winner or a 200% winner and then getting out break even. Just pay yourself with something and work with house money because these get really ugly on the way back down. All right, so we, we, we had a meeting earlier on this week. We're going to get our graphics hopefully going at some point here, but we haven't even asked for likes yet. 1.6K likes, guys. 8,000 people watching. <coughs> Let's go. See if we can get this 2,500 right now. We're short again in a Tesla. Hit the like button if you can, man. It's been a super exciting day. Plus, we're doing the hot chip challenge uh, later on today. Join us back here at two o'clock and we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna have an update. The chip has yet to arrive. So um, although I can keep saying that we're gonna do it, the plan is to do it uh, right now. There's the average on Tesla. It, it just went into the money for us again, down to that 90 area here for Tesla. So I was waiting at 84 uh, to see about that. And uh, now it looks like Okay, let's just go down. I might just switch it to 90s right now, but I don't really want to just take 30 cents on this name. But hey, if it comes back in here, the market's going to have to fail. We're waiting for 108s. So 108 is going to be our out. Our average price you can see right now is flat for where we are. So we're, we're going to lose a doll. We're going to lose 90 cents if it does, you know, take us out on that upside. So I think for now, you know, we'll hold out. I'm trying to get something out here. I always like to take a piece out just so we put some, you know, a little bit of money in our pocket there. But for right now, it's not even giving a 107 break. So I could get out at... Like I said, 107, that doesn't make any sense for 10 cents on 10 cents on Tesla. What, what are you talking about? Uh, we're, we're waiting for a lot more than that. So I don't know. It's just the market's very strong. And that's what's leading me to be a little bit cautious of taking some stuff out uh, on Tesla, right? It's like if the market ever reverses, we know where Tesla can go. So hopefully it will retest some of these 50 periods. Bounced off there, tested there, ripped up. Now you're starting to make new highs, but there's the bounce again off 107. So the spidey senses are going one more time here about this name. Like to get something out in the 80s if I can, but right now, yeah, not great. We did average in. I'm just waiting for Tesla to drop. If it doesn't, then this NEO trade will obviously be whack as well as we are now short at 72 on NEO, four cents against us. We took three cents there. We're going to get out at 80 if it breaks 80, but right now, NEO strong. I know you're long that one, so that's going to be a good trade. Um, AMD's rocking. Meta's, ab I mean, Meta's huge. If you guys are PDT or anything like that, I mean, one trade, 127. Told you guys to hold this to 128.50. There it is, 128.50. And there we go, ringing the Reggie right now. Tesla back to the downside here. Let's go, man. Our net elevation right now. Anything you want to talk about, Intel or anything? No, let's go to Brennan. All right, Brendo. Hey guys, nice day shaping up here. Let's uh, get you up to date on what is leading as far as the overall market is concerned. Uh, we are dealing with uh, banks that are showing some strength, even though, as I showed you there, the 10-year, some of the yields coming off 
Uh, so banks definitely strong on the session. The entire group here in positive territory. This is actually the industrial sector. I mentioned some of the resource names as well uh, were popping up early on this morning. That's down here. Look at the strength coming through in materials today. Yeah, FCX up 6%. Uh, New core five and a half, Mosaic five and a half as well. So a nice day for them. Uh, a few individual names we've been talking about. AMD down three, uh, two and a quarter. That is not three and a quarter. Uh, end phase as well. Some of the clean energy semiconductor related names under pressure as well. But overall tech stocks also positive. Oil also positive. Finally today, it's been a very negative week for energy names. Utilities as well back to the upside today. So a nice green board, 1.44 right now for the overall S&P. Market is blasting. So the market's blasting, blasting which means, I, look, Bed Bath and Beyond doesn't matter because it's like it doesn't care what the market's doing, but Intel cares what the market's doing. And I did get a reload, so I have 96 short on Intel. It's testing 28 as we speak. There's not much I can do about it. Like the only short left for me that that matters in terms of where the market is going uh, might get stopped out. I never like an even dollar stop. Like I try to give it a couple of shekels above that, a couple of pennies above at least. Um, Baba just broke 106. Continuing to run here. I'm looking at 107. We did get that that break finally happened. Remember I said if, if 75 broke on NIO, there's no point having an 80 offer because it's very likely, like there was so much pent up anger in the stock that it couldn't flush back down, that if it broke, it was going to go like I mean, immediate 10 cents. So instead of scalping five, I just wait for it to go 10. I'm all out if I see $10 on this thing. Ultimately, I think it's bad news. I think... I'm just a little bit surprised if this goes anywhere near resembling the pre-market high. So if I see 10, I'm all out of NIO. It was clean off 950, but that's because there's a, the reason for that trade was getting stopped out of the Tesla short at 105. So instead of going long Tesla at 105, NEO was at a 950 bottom, which set up better for risk. If I go long break at 105 Tesla, I wasn't really sure where I wanted to take it out. Whereas with NIO, if I go long at 9.52, I'm getting out at 9.49. I'm risking three cents, maybe four, if, the, if there's any slippage on it. And I know exactly what my risk reward was. So Sympathy Play Long gave me a setup to express the jailbreak that Tesla was on. We're going to hang on to it, but at some point, I'm just going to have to cover. If, in, if the market rejects this high, and by, by the market, I mean the NASDAQ here, if we reject this top and start coming back down in, as we approach this 10.9 to 10.92 area, I'm going to be shotgunning out of uh, Intel here and looking for my opportunity to get out of this short. And, um, well, I'll get back over to Bed Bath & Beyond if it moves. Uh, Alibaba is having a battle at 106. I don't want to take anything else out here because I feel like I've scalped enough out. Here we go. But there's a huge battle happening at 106. There's a wick top. It slammed back to 105.80, and they bought it right back up to 106. So it, it might be worth a trail out for the next leg. So either I trail out here at like 105.75, not all of it, but some, or I get my next dollar. I still want to make sure I'm net long. I want to give this the last 10% I'm giving all the way back to 104.80 to make sure that we sustain this move as long as we can. All right, we reloaded Tesla there, um, and hopefully it'll be a good one uh, here. So I don't know. We reloaded that at, what was the exact price? 107.84. So, uh, and it just went all the way down to 107 again, 107.20, and then we didn't take it out. So our average price is 30. I feel like we're just waiting for something to happen here, but I mean, I don't know if the Nasdaq's going to test back 10.900. And if it doesn't, then all these shorts aren't going to work anyways we did have a monster move up there in meta didn't take advantage of it i told you i wanted to wait for this one in case the market kept going but we did take a big time advantage right now and stacked up some more cash on amd i mean some of the outs that we had on amd there uh pretty good man 46 is which is kind of where it is now then a 50 and then a 55 so pretty much got the top there on amd off of that 61 break so again if you're only gonna have a few trades you know, this is a pretty good one there to have for AMD and Meta here today. So, so far, so good. But Brendan, again. Hey, guys. Yeah, I, I am happy to be able to bring this to you. But uh, big announcement today. We have rebranded and we are relaunching our second YouTube channel as more Trader TV Live. So as of today, you can go to this page which I have up right here, uh, more Trader TV Live on YouTube. You're gonna find educational content. You're gonna find trade of the day videos, 
starting today on More Trader TV Live. So check it out at More Trader TV Live on YouTube, guys. We're really happy to be relaunching and rebranding our second YouTube channel as More Trader TV. Subscribe, hit the alert button, do all the good stuff. Go check it out right now. The link at the bottom of the screen there. Check out More Trader TV, guys. There yes, goes sir. Tesla. You wanted more, you get more. That's what we're all about here. So uh, we, we get a lot of really great questions in terms of like thought process here or what you can do. And we've always done, like we've always had content out there for learning. It's just a matter of making it more centralized and giving you a better look and having some fun things out there uh, as well, which we will do. Oh, Intel, you're going to stop me. You know you want to uh, at some point. I just feel like, like this last ditch short is, um, sorry, I'm on Alibaba here. That's you know, every now and then it's like, I know I have to hit enter twice, but this is Intel. It looked like it was about to give me some re like relief. I got my first bid out there in the 90, at 91 in particular, and it doesn't quite go. It looks like you could be taking out the top. I should have found a way. I'm just going to go to Micron here. I should have found a way to grab that Micron long. It was the chip name that I wanted long. I never got the 54. It broke out at 55, and I missed that, and now it looks like it's going to double top up here. If the market takes out the high, you don't always want to buy high or buy the absolute tops, but Micron, this is above the 50 period on the daily, and it looks gorgeous on the 15-minute chart. If this gets above, like, 56... I need something else. You got oh. almost 10% into that 50... So the 200 period moving average. So I know it looks like you're buying some crazy tops, but if the market actually breaks out of these highs in the NASDAQ, I think I'm looking for a breakout on Micron. It's crazy to have missed out on $1.50, but sometimes it's just how it is. There's Baba. It looks like the buyers win. Again, on Alibaba, they've been winning for the last couple of days, uh, but you are, that's still on Micron somehow, but now you're up past 106.50, so that little dip, I did have a trailing stop for, for half my position, I'm actually going to tighten that up to 106 even, and maintain the offer in front of 75. Everything I've lost on has been shorts, man, I mean, Tesla, we just, that took out 108, we got out of that one, that was, boom, excuse me, <coughs> right up to the upside, there goes Tesla, wow. Monster move, can't believe that one. Uh, AMD is right at a level that we gotta try to get something out, man. 6180 for AMD as that's just ripping. Uh, again, so we'll offer that, there we go, we'll take it out right there at 77. Uh, Peace anyways, we'll hold out to one more. And of course, Meta goes to the high side, but man, that Tesla, I mean, where will it stop? I do not know. I mean, that's 110. I think we wrote down on here. No, we did. We had, we had, so we just looked at some of those levels. We were, we are net short. We've only been short Tesla here today. So we were able to take one piece out there. We talked about it. Remember I was like, the spidey senses are up there. So we didn't, we didn't do too much. We didn't get caught too much into here as we use that 108 as our out. So I'm going to stay away from Tesla until it either comes back down significantly and I can look for a better long because it's pretty strong right now. Mulling up 11% at 46 here uh, as it's going. Uh, Netflix is right at that 310 area. Um, AMD looks like that might have been a good out. Maybe we are retracing back, back a little bit here. Uh, Netflix, okay, there's that 310, right at that 200 period uh, that we were talking about. I wonder if I might have missed it uh, a little bit. 310 high. Wow. All right, uh, let's try it. Let's try Netflix right here at that 310 for a short. But again, ugh, I'm only shorting it because it's weak against the market, but... If the market just keeps going up, it's just, it, you know, it, it's going to oh, what the? levitate a little bit higher. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try it here. Small, we'll close the gap a little bit here. Uh, get some fills, you know, in the 80s here. There it is. No, we just got an 84 there. You saw a whole bunch of prints go through. So there we go. Now we're short. 309.84 on Netflix. Uh, let's see. Let's see where it goes, man. I mean, 308. You know, if we're going to use 310, 311 or so as our out, then that's two bucks, a buck 50. Let's see if we get down to 308. I mean, that's right where this is. That's right where. We See, there goes my charts. Uh, I have to move them over again. This 308 is a level that I'm looking at to get out. So that's 308.25 or so. So what am I short at? 309.80. So we're looking for about a buck 60, which rhymes with my 311. So we'll get out if it breaks 311. Another average in around 310.50, uh, 310.30 or so. Um, and then we'll take it from there because that's that level. Right here, the 200 period on the three minute. 310.30. So here goes, yes, right away in the money here for Netflix. So, so far, so good. It's my favorite segment. Well, not really, but uh, I like the segment anyways. It's Money Talks over there. Yes, a dollar. There we go. Let's go, Netflix. Uh, money Talks with Brendan. All right, we got this jobs number this morning, guys. We see uh, stocks higher. That means uh, dollar typically lower, and that is actually the case right now. Point. 
0.65 there for the DXY, 104.3. Coming off this announcement this morning, it's worth noting uh, the initial move was actually higher significantly. And then we get this uh, sharp reversal along with the 10 year, two year as well, uh, dropping pretty quick this uh, this morning. Uh, back to the downside. So everything else on this board nicely green, including the euro having quite the bounce after two back to back, almost down days here. 0.8 back higher, back to 106 uh, for the euro, back to 74 cents. Meanwhile, for the Canadian dollar, 0.6 to the upside, 120 and a half coming into play once again for the British pound. So nice bounces right across the board outside of crypto markets down here. Some uh, negativity still, but uh, everything else outside the dollar, pretty strong to end the week. Yes. Oh, I, I, was, I was like, what was that? I'm like, I put a trail in on Alibaba. Like, I'm sorry, I moved my trail up on Alibaba, which I've been doing every 50 cents. And I put it in and it filled almost instantly. Like, it would, yeah, this is what happened. It, it broke 106 and a half. Looked like it was about to go to that three quarters. So I moved my trail. I'm not all of it, like I'm still long the stock, but I moved that trail for the next leg out from 106 even to 106.50. So that's that out there. As that was going, NIO here made another turn as well. So at nine, it got to like 990. We're still in the long. I, I'm not taking anything else out. It probably has to take out 975 before I cover this. Just a pretty clean reversal that's worked out pretty well there. But, you know, Intel was going to have it happen. You got to take your stops when they're there. I got stopped out when it made a fresh high. Gave it a couple of pennies past that 28, but no more. Once it breaks my stop, I'm not getting stubborn. It would have to do a wick top, immediately reject, have the market reject the high of the day to get me back into the short on this name. Otherwise, the longs are paying. There is a mistake on the position board. I think I know why, why that is. Because I was in Bed Bath & Beyond <coughs> very early, mm. but before we turn it on, so I'm not long Bed Bath & Beyond at a dollar, whatever that says, 138. For whatever reason, um, I did just take some more out of the shorts. That's the only thing I've been doing was shorting 47s and 48s. But um, I'm, it's now holding VWAP. Like the first flush at the open was the best flush. I'm starting to get out in front of VWAP because the last thing I want is this squeezing on me. Like the longer it holds here without flushing, the higher probability that it's going to make an, a secondary push and maybe flush, not flush, uh, squeeze to the upside. I don't want that to happen to me. And then just to cover this stock, it's five minutes to go. HKD, so... Bear with me here on this. I know I like the long a little bit better down around 16 or 17. Like if you get that, that would have been a little bit more fantastic. But it's bounced off 19. It's got this interesting consolidation and it's kind of setting up that you could have a bit of a breakout. If it just sort of goes sideways here, a 25 break a little bit later on could be in play for HKD. I'll be looking for that or a flush down into 17 that I was looking for originally. So got my eyes on HKD over lunchtime. Uh, okay, so, um, all right, we'll, do, we'll, we'll go good idea. I feel like it's a good idea right now. Um, this 61.90 there for AMD, we just got out. But look at this, Netflix. So, this is the thing. I know I was going to wait for, I, I got 308.70. I know I said I was going to wait for 308.30 or 40, whatever this bottom was, 308.40. So, I took the 70. It looks like it's coming back down. The reason why, it, as soon as I took the trade, right, it tanked. And it tanked a dollar almost instantly with a market doing nothing right now. It was actually, the market was actually ticking higher, which is why I did it like two minutes ago. Where when I got out, this was actually three minutes ago, the market was ticking higher and higher and higher. All right, so I got a piece out. We're going to wait to see if that can work out again for us there. If it does, great. Not sure it will. So we're going to wait out for Netflix now. But nice move down. Imagine this market actually goes down. I think we have something for Netflix. I do not have any more bids. And I do want to get shorter here around 1035 if that does come in. AMD, like I said, like someone goes, oh, you know, how's your Tesla short? Bad. I'm out of it. I mean, I'm out of my Tesla short. Tesla's up 7% in an hour. What am I going to do? Why is nobody asking me what's up with AMD long? I mean, this is a dollar in the money off $60 thing, $60. I didn't even lose a dollar on Tesla. So nice move up there for Tesla. Congratulations to all the longs. I, I like Tesla. I just, I trade what I see and that's that, right? And that's why when you look at my trades, a dollar in the money on AMD, dollar 40 in the money on Meta. Like, I'm not making this up. You saw me put on every single one of these trades and now adult, this was just a dollar 30 in the money here on Netflix. So we're going to go three for three with what we're holding right now. And we're actually pretty good on this uh, now. Uh, they are going to try to manually reset that they board. Did. They did. Okay, it's, good. It's so, fixed now. Okay, good. I just saw someone asking yeah. about that in the chat. Thanks, Bears versus Bulls again, man. Bang up job by that dude, man. Thank you so much. Uh, you're definitely going to 
think of something to do for you. Thank you for uh, all you've done for us this year and into 2023. So uh, thanks so much, Bears vs. Bulls. I'll get back to you uh, on all of that. So um, what, what is... I, I want mean, to clarify. I saw someone talk in the about chat. WWE. I saw someone in the chat joke around. That maybe they're joking. They said GME owns a gold mine. I, it's AMC that... I, like, I, I know that kind of thing doesn't matter, but just to get it right, I'm pretty sure it's AMC that, that invested uh, in a gold mine, not a GME. Unless they did, and I, I, can't, I can't even imagine why they would, but we've seen strange like, things Maybe the things same like that reason happen. why a movie theater would. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, but it is, it's AMC, not GameStop, that did that. I'm not going to pull that stock up because it's not doing anything and I don't care. Um, but Bed Bath and oh, Alibaba, they both have bees in them. So I, it's like my head sometimes... At least I haven't said Boeing when I talk about Bed Bath or Alibaba because I do that all the time. That reversal where I got wicked out, probably a good stop, but realistically that could have happened at any 50 cent increment. I want this, if it comes all the way back, I'm going to hold all the way back in. I think it's a pretty strong move. I want to see if it can give that continuation. Uh, Neo, this is holding up a little bit better on the at this top, but I think that's because Tesla's been strong and it's an EV name. So I want to give Neo that more room to get into that 10 even area, uh, just to go over it. Intel could get me back into the short, but it would have to, like it's got the wick top. I don't think it traded to 28.18. I kind of felt like that move stalled out at 28.10. That could just be a bad wick. Either way, if it breaks back at least 28, that is where I would look uh, to engage that position. And I have not traded Apple once today. But look at 127.50 on Apple. Like you have a bit of a wall forming. Oh, I'm just going to pull up my 15 minute. That's going to be hard to see yesterday's high. This is 128, uh, yesterday's top. You have some overhead resistance on that 127.50. But if we keep testing here over and over again and never break it, and 11,000, which is here right now on the NASDAQ, never goes either, then I think you could have an interesting, like, failed break short potential on Apple. Like it gets to yesterday's high, it never churns through, and then rejects that as well. But I'm not taking any breakouts when there's that 128 yesterday's high uh, on Apple. Oh, man. Uh, wow. Good thing we took out some money there. That was a good idea on Netflix uh, right there because that's all the, not all the way back, but that's up to 309.50 again. Good out on that one. Um, I'm debating just getting out of meta. I mean, the market's blasting. It just touched 11,000. We talked about how much we like 10, 900. It's 100 points up from there. And look at our boy meta, man. Just stone cold chilling uh, right here at these highs and doesn't want to go any higher. So a little bit nervous about this one. We do have a 128.20 level there that I'm like, hey, man, if we break that, maybe we'll just get out of it. So that's a, that's an area of concern for me uh, a little bit there. But we are starting to make moves higher uh, on the market. So, you know, that should bode well for Meta. So that's, that's what I'm going to sort of hold out for. But 128.20, we break it, we're going to get out. So that's why I haven't gotten out of Meta yet uh, is because of where it is. But here it comes right now, 128.20, coming in a little bit quicker than I thought. Maybe we just got to get out of this uh, almost right away. So if it breaks 128.20, we're going to be gone on Meta. We do have a great short. Like my short, I feel like, is good um, on Netflix. So we do have a short. We do have an AMD long. We've already made a lot of money on Meta and on AMD today so uh, so far so good on that one we just got to wait out for Netflix a, a name that's now going to look silly uh, because of it's just ma made a move down and I just saw it right now and this is why I'm a little bit upset about it about this move Microsoft um, you know we've wanted the short on this name we had the short up there what a monster move this was um, then we had the long back so made three dollars short then two dollars long we talked about that tried the short again eventually got busted and have left it alone but all these trades have been good, man. Microsoft, my number one stock today. Microsoft followed by, well, Meta could take it over. Microsoft, Meta, AMD, um, all, all there with negative on Tesla, negative on NVIDIA. So, you know, those are two names. Those are my first two trades of the day, um, actually. And uh, this is why. We're only negative on NVIDIA for one reason, because of this. Once it came back up here, I took it out at 145 when we shorted early. Then it tanked and we were able to take some profit. So it's just a matter of share size. And I just took out too many and then got half of them out there and the other one there. So it's like 50% of the position there, 25, 25. So it just didn't, it didn't calculate properly. Uh, it calculated properly, but in my mind, I just, the math was wrong. So took it out on the high side right there. Good, nice little bounce back for Meta uh, as it just bounced off my level one more time. I'm thinking 129 guys maybe to get out of Meta.
It is 11. It's past 11. Already? So we're gonna get you, Kendall. We're gonna get you guys to the midday. But I gotta say this: 22 and a half percent on WWE. That stock is on an absolute tear. It is the bull stock of the day. I'm hoping these guys will talk about it because we kind of only talked about it once. But it's time for Trader Prad. Oh, nope. it's not a Prad. Sorry, uh, Ian and Trader uh, Luca. I looked over. Shriek's not here, and it's like, I think Prad. You know, I love you, brother. <laughs> What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Midday Madness. Welcome. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the show, having a uh, you know having a great time. It's Friday, keeping it stress free. Uh, yeah, man. Lots of opportunity today. Lots of excitement on the board. And uh, yeah, man. Hopefully, you guys are are profitable. And uh, I am looking forward to the end of the day when uh, you know those chips. Hopefully, those chips come through. I can't wait to see uh, you know Sean and and who else is eating Sean Fahad. Uh, Katrine and Katrine, oh. So a whole, a whole party of people eating the chip. Oh. Uh, you know, I, I feel like Neil was kind of happy that the chip didn't arrive yet, but uh, <laughs> you know, it, there's still time in the day that the chip can come and it's gonna be an exciting one for sure. Don't wanna miss that one, guys. Uh, how's it going, everyone? Uh, happy New Year, happy Friday. It's Friday, yeah. Uh, then Saturday, Sunday, what? Uh, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's been a long week. It's been an exciting week, that's for sure. Um, hope everyone's had a profitable one. Uh, for me today, I've had a few trades, and kind of like Sean, it seems like all the trades that I've lost on have been shorts. Uh, I, I was shorting Tesla. Um, basically, you know, they had a negative catalyst, gapping down. Um, you know, it gapped down below the support area of 107 that held uh, the past few days, right? So, you know, that's where the bulk of my plays were, uh, trying to get the short there. Uh, you know, had a few wins. Uh, you know, this last ad was obviously poor because, you know, Tesla ended up breaking out. I think that's where Sean was also short there at that moment in time. Now we're all the way up 109, guys. Like, it was down. Uh, it was like pushing SSR uh, this morning. It was down like 7, 8 uh, percent, you know, right at open. I was thinking, okay, the 100 test is imminent here. Uh, you know, and I was just trying to support or trying to, you know, play the, the short off of that support, uh, you know, potentially turn resistance. It didn't work out. And now we're back up at 109. I'm probably done trading Tesla. I mean, like potential short idea up here. But, you know, as the market's testing uh, the 3900 area, uh, that's why you'll see me short. I'm actually short in Apple right now. The position board hasn't updated yet because I haven't taken another fill. But um, I am short on Apple just in front of that 128. I'll show you guys that one. Um, same sort of like idea just because you know the, the ES is coming up to this 3900 area for the past like two trading weeks um, we've been trading this channel between like 3900 3920 I guess the upside uh, down to 3820 3800 area right so I'm sure you know you've heard Rune mention those uh, levels as well um, but uh, yeah you know that's basically what I'm trying to do here um, on on Apple but uh, yeah I'm probably gonna lay off Tesla for now yeah, guys, I am not going to lay off Tesla right now. I'm actually short here at the uh, 109, willing to uh, sort of average into this trade. You know, it's uh, we started the day, we were almost SSR. I want to say SSR is 99.30, which, you know, obviously very far away from that level. Tesla's super strong on the day, lots of shorts jumping in right in the morning and uh, sort of fading. I thought for sure, man, I was like, and I was being very patient today. I'm like, you know what, let me relax, let me not jump in and you know obviously you guys you scalp demon right scalp demon but i was like let it's friday let me wait for a really key level because you know maybe that 105 short will be good but maybe the 100 short will be better so i was just kind of extra patient with it and, and watching um and here we are man i'm very happy that i kind of didn't uh, dabble because i probably would have gotten smoked over and over and over again so yeah we'll see what happens i am not rooting for or against Te well now i want it to go down because obviously i'm short but uh, yeah, guys, I changed my arrows. So red is short, purple is long cover. So I think it's better. And then, and then blues will be like buys, whether it's uh, covering a short or whatever. So I think that's the best way to go about it. I think this 109 playing off 110 level, like we closed off 110 yesterday, right? And the bottoming area was that 107, 107, uh, 107.50. And look where we stopped. We literally, first we ran to 105. That was the prior low. We rejected and went back down. If the short was going to be a banger, it obviously wouldn't have went back up. Lots of stops at the 105 level, blowing through 105. So everybody short here is basically saying, okay, let me put my stop at 105. As soon as we broke that, we just, we just exploded to the upside. We never really came back down. Rejecting off of 107, off of 107.50, looking like the short's going to be good, 
holding the 50 period, moving back to the upside. So, I mean, at this point, you know, Tesla intraday, opening the day at close to 103, call it, now all the way at 109, like, this, this is strong. Like, we are strong on the day. Um, so, these are, this is something that I'm kind of keeping in the back of my mind. Like, you know, it is up on the day, but it is down from yesterday. We are approaching the close from yesterday, approaching that 110 level. So, you know, I'm short. I'm short now, and I don't really know where this position is going to go. But at least I want to hold for a 108 test. So, I do have a bid to cover some of this at 108 if it, uh, if it comes to fruition here. And then I'm going to try to hold for like a move back down to 106, 105 area. I think easily, easily Tesla could, you know, go back down and, and get that 105 test. So that's kind of my play. The market is strong. The market is up. We had the uh, data coming through this morning, uh, you know, exploding to the north side. You guys saw that live with Neil and Sean. And then getting that little bit of a reversal and then rip back to the north side, breaking through the highs. And now looking like it wants to go for a 3,900 test. So, you know, we're at 3,900. We're, sorry, we're close to 3,900. I do think that we probably like get to 3,900. What does that mean for Tesla? I'm not really too sure. But at the same time, like it's looking good right now. I'm uh, where am I? I'm like uh, uh, it's just starting. So 30 cents in the money on this. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, definitely gonna get a couple more scalps going. And guys, you know the deal. Feel free to uh, feel free to you know let me know what you're trading. Throw some names in the chat. Maybe I'll look at that and, and trade those. Uh, Sean saying out of meta. Yeah, Trader Gorno, if you're watching this. Uh, I'm just going to pull up Nike very quickly just to see where that one is. We're at 124 now. So, yeah, no, I'm not trading this, but I just, uh, yeah, guys, feel free to let me know what you're looking at. I know Neo has some interesting bottoms at around 950 area, so probably uh, try to get a bid going on that one if it wants to uh, get back down there. Yeah, guys, I just saw the market pretty much tested 3,900 there. It ripped up to like 39.97 area, and now it's pulling back. Uh, quite convincingly, I'd say. Um, I, I watched Apple break out 128, uh, and then I, you know, I, I've been trying to like basically get better, obviously, but you know, not putting my stops at such obvious places. So you didn't see me get stopped out there. I'm still short. Uh, Apple, my price is 127.47 uh, there. But um, I, I was wanting to kind of add to it, but when it's ripping up like that, it's like so scary. It's like, am I really gonna average into like this 50 cent loser? Um, but uh, you know, that, that was the, the good ad place and I could have been kind of covering here. Uh, it is what it is. I had, I had my finger on the trigger, so to speak, and just didn't pull it um, on, on Apple there. I am now offering uh, on Tesla. I, I, I think the shorts might be back in play here now. Um, so you see me offering there on Tesla. Um, NIO, uh, I wanted a short off 1030. Uh, and then the chart just kind of disappeared on me there. But um, I'll show you this one. Um, I wanted the short off 1030. And that never really came to fruition in the, in the pre-market there. And it just kind of plunged um, right uh, to, to 950, right? And I think there was some size there and it caught a bid. But now it's kind of consolidating around this 980, 990 area. Maybe it, uh, maybe it rejects this 10 area, right? So I am shorting there uh, in front of that 10 area. It is SSR, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get uh, short on NIO. So kind of keep that in mind if you're trying to trade that one as well. Um, BBBY I was looking at as well. And I had some trades on it this morning, uh, which aren't going to display now. Let me actually just try this because this worked earlier. Uh, if I clear data... Uh, apply that. Okay, that does not work. Uh, maybe let me just bring it up on here again. Um, yeah, the charts are like disappearing. Well, you gotta, yeah, so there's like four o'clock push that comes in, so you gotta push them the other way. Push, push the other way. You gotta push it the out. other way. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Oh, uh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. So uh, we can come back to me. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, Sean, for that one. But uh, yeah, no, I, I was trying to short BBBY. Obviously, that was, uh, was going to be a short all the way this morning. Um, but it was so hard to get short. And I don't know if uh, Sean and Neil kind of experienced this one. Like, I had multiple part fills uh, on this name. And then, uh, you know, I got, I got short like one share numerous times. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, uh, you know, I'm trying to get short on this name. Uh, eventually, you know, it's getting short here, and I just stopped out because that was uh, that was a little bit too early against that 140 area. Uh, 145, I guess, was the level there. I think there was like 3,000, 4,000 lots there, so that was a decent short off of that one. I think Neil had that one. Um, so I, I'm thinking about this one too, but I think you know the volume is dying down on it. Um, you know, 20 mil volume. Uh, on the day, that's not too too impressive. Like you know, this is big news for BBBY. Obviously, you know, filing for bankruptcy is no joke. Um, you know, this 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 company is just sorry. This the stock is just going to the ground basically now. So, 
Um, you know, it, it is, I do want to see it do a little bit more volume. So that's, I guess, why it's harder to get filled on the, on the short side. But just want to be patient with that one. Uh, I think I got a little bit too involved. Uh, a little too early on that one. Uh, Amaze DX, I'm not too sure about that one. Um, I think I saw someone here say Amazon. I haven't looked at Amazon at all today, um, but I, I think I heard the, the morning guys saying a potential short idea. Yeah, I think, you know, any shorts in the, I guess the first half of the morning session or, you know, in that morning session around 10 o'clock, uh, you would have been getting burned. Uh, I think, you know, like I said, all, the, all my losses had been on the short side. Uh, but, you know, here we are basically at the top of uh, this resistance range on the ES. So, you know, who knows? Maybe this is going to be the little turnaround point. Yeah, guys, I'm just pulling up Amazon, and my first glance at it is I need to short this thing. So I'm taking a starter position short on Amazon, 84.16 fill, looking for the move back down. Uh, it'd be nice to get 83.60s if that wants to print over there. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I think for sure we get an 84 test at least and, uh, and go from there, right? Amazon, you know, up 1.2%, nothing too crazy. But all the way down, all the way back up, that 8130 level, guys, 80 on Amazon has not been touched yet. 80, 80 on Amazon is a level, in my opinion. Somebody in the chat before was mentioning 8130. And go figure, man. Go figure. 8144 is the low. So if you are watching this, congratulations. Uh, that was a great call. Hopefully you took a dip by on that because that moved all the way back up, uh, giving, you, giving you a decently nice, uh, uh, nice trade on that one. So, yeah, here I am short now. We're going to, uh, and it's already working for me, so pretty happy with that. Gonna cover some at the 84 level just to see if I can uh, get these fills. Yeah, you know what? Give me these. Give me these fills here. And uh, yeah, holding. I think we could get back to the 50 period. That's basically 83.80 to 83.70ish area. So we're gonna see. But I mean, you know the deal. Scalp it out when you're in the wind. That's kind of my plan there. Tesla's now going to the downside as well. So I did cover just a little bit, but still holding the majority of this for the. Uh, yeah, give me that 108 there. Perfect. And uh, yeah, just you know, give me like a little bit more here. Um, I'm covering this. I think we get back. I, I like the 50 cent areas and dollar areas for the covers. So, you know, 108, we probably get here. We stall a little bit. So I'm kind of taking my win as it's, as it's kind of paying me here. Not really too sure. Last time we held the 50 period. But I do think, I do think that we're going down. I think we're going down. So I really like the hold. Um, my next target on this is, uh, is again, I'm going to use 107, 106. And then if we start to break VWAP, you know, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll uh, kind of uh, try to hold a piece. I do think that there's potential to get down to 103, 102. Obviously, it has to be coinciding with the market and everything else kind of moving to the downside. So, yeah, in the money now, a dollar on Tesla, definitely can't complain. Um, you know, taking the scalp, I think because I'm at the high of day, because it's, you know, very, very far away from VWAP, because it is still down on the day, um, still lots of selling pressure to come through. The closer that we get to 100, the more the gamma squeeze magnet will be. Uh, we're obviously very far away from it right now. But yeah, let's see if that trade wants to work for me. So claiming the win, can't complain. And uh, the only thing I can complain about is, I mean, I should have had just more size on that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You can't. Uh, it, it is what it is. Amazon breaking 84 here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take. Uh, oh, yeah, damn. I think I might have missed that. Uh, I'm just going to continue to take. Uh, uh, the wins as they continue to pay me. Uh, final target is 81. So I'm going for that 81s there. Uh, on the last piece of the position, that was a banger, man. Definitely can't complain there. And uh, yeah, guys, feel free, you know, let us know what you're trading. I know people are talking about Mullen. How about that 40 cent break on Mullen yesterday, guys? This thing is now 48 cents today. I mean, it did go like back through today. But uh, yeah, that was like, that was, you know, look at this, man. Like break the 40 level, never look back, all the way to 45 cents. I mean, whoever said 42, don't sell yourself short, man, because this went to 45. I don't even know where Mullen's going. You know, my guess is as good as yours. Uh, but yeah, it is a multi-day runner, that's for sure. This is the daily, uh, you know, kind of heating up. Nice little volume spike yesterday. And I said this, man. I said, we were at 40 cents when they released the news, and then we instantly reversed. If it breaks 40, it's got to be good. That's what I'm telling myself. I was like, this has to be good. I think it's going to be good. Um, and it was great. It was great, right? So hopefully, uh, hopefully some of you guys had that because that was an absolute banger. And I mean, it's Mullen. You could, you could take so much, I think, theoretically, like you could take like way more size than you could take on something like Tesla, right? So uh, yeah, lots of liquidity there. Definitely very, very exciting. Um, yeah, two shorts on board today. Not really sure if I'm looking for longs just yet, but we're going to see, you know, if we get back down to the downside, we'll definitely uh, uh, consider that and go from there. Uh, yeah, it seems like the, <clears throat> excuse me, it seems like the shorts are kind of uh, hanging in the air right now, and uh, I'm just kind of waiting for them to, to start working here. Apple, I did get some out there. 
uh, just like a 10 cent scalp. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of doing this on the main show uh, last Friday, just kind of scalping out uh, small ranges here on Apple. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do here. And I'll try to add if this one creeps back up to the 60 area. Uh, like Neil was saying, like this 127.50 area uh, was kind of the top end of the range yesterday. Uh, and now we're at the top end of the range in the market, right? So, you know, kind of adding confluence to this trade. Now it's 25 cents in the money. That one's working uh, nicely for me, right? Uh, let me actually just bid. Uh, and then get a little bit more out there uh, in the low 20s. So, you know, that one's probably going to hit uh, on that one. Uh, Baba, I am short Baba here uh, as well. And I kind of spotted this on the daily, going guys. Well, oh, man, well. I hate how this kind of just going on right now. Um, let me actually fix this wick, too. I noticed how I fixed that one of my side charts there. Uh, um, yeah, we this can... one's No, it's okay, good? okay. Yeah, I'm good, okay. I'm good. Um, yeah, so that was a quick fix there, but I am short Baba off of this 105.80, uh, 106.50 area range, uh, basically on the daily. Like, it's, it's so far back um, on the daily, you're gonna have to scroll back a, a far ways, but, um, you know, last time Baba was at these prices up around 107, uh, it kind of had a little bit of a resistance uh, zone or supply zone around the 105.50 to 106.75 area, right? So uh, it is finding a little bit of, uh, you know, resistance around this area, you know, pulling back uh, quite nicely off of this 106.50 area, right? So, you know, I wanted to get short closer to 106, um, but it wasn't really kind of giving that move and the market was starting to pull back a bit. So, you know, I just kind of hopped into that one, uh, a starter position, but, uh, you know, gonna there see now go. uh, two shorts on the board uh, for me. Luca, you got something? Yep, so finally got that bottom fill. Uh, best out on Amazon is uh, 83 uh, uh, right down there at the 50 period. So uh, super textbook for myself, scalping it out. I mean, if I was just patient, I, I imagine this. If I was patient with the full size for the full sa trade every single time, I would probably be, have like two, three times the amount of wins, but I just can't be. I just, I have to scalp it out. And uh, that just speaks towards uh, strategy, guys. You know, do things that make sense to you guys. Uh, Luca, no HKD long? No, 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 absolutely not. Uh, this thing faded all day, man. This thing is, uh, you know, I would have loved it to go up yesterday, but obviously today, you know, opening, uh, uh, you know, around the $50 level and just fading all the way down. I didn't short it. I didn't take any longs on it. I was watching it, but I just said to myself, nah, like, I don't know. Maybe it goes, maybe it doesn't. You know, on a first day when it's going crazy, it's great. Things are great, like, you know, going to the upside. The short, just as good as the long was yesterday, but obviously you have to pay for shorts. Sometimes they're very expensive. Uh, for myself, I just say, you know what, let me just let me just let this go. Like I'm not, I don't even really care too much about it. So yeah, no HKD long. I know there was uh, some banger traits to be had on MEGL, which is the sympathy. And I almost want to say, like, if you guys like, look, this looks different. So if you're looking at the long, the MEGL long from yesterday looks as good pound for pound as the HKD long. If you consider, you know, percentage move and whatnot, right? But then, if you go back to, if you, if you kind of take the approach of, okay, what short is going to be better? I mean, like, look at the short on HKD. The short on HKD all the way back down, whereas, you know, you're looking at the short of MEGL, and it just doesn't pound for pound look the same. At least not to me. At least not to me. So visually, looking at it, it's just not the same. So just keep that in mind. Like, it is the sympathy play, but sometimes it's just not as good, and it's just, that's just the nature of it. Um, you know, it's not exactly the same stock, so it's not going to have the same moves. Um, so yeah, that's definitely that's definitely something to consider on that one. Yeah, guys. So I am just now nursing this Tesla short, which I think I want to uh, reconsider adding to it. But I'm going to see how it wants to react back with the 109. Sometimes I get into trades if they're going to be really, really good, they should not come back down. And this is what I was telling myself with a potential 107 area short. You know, it was good, but then it went back up, and then it was bad, right? So this short is good. If we go back up, this short becomes bad. I don't want my face to get ripped off on the last piece because I am holding uh, more than what I would usually hold because I'm just like a little bit of a higher conviction on it. So yeah, we're gonna have to see what happens. If this gets back up to 109.50, I think I might take the L at 109.50, so lose 50 cents on that, and then reevaluate for the 110 um, and go from there. Someone's saying even HKD can go to 500, still casino. Yeah, man, <clears throat> it's, uh, when you're trading those names, we were talking about it yesterday, me and Sharif. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, the, it's a casino, man. Uh, what, what is this company? What do they do? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, just be, be very cautious with, uh, you know, anytime you trade small caps, anytime you trade these kind of Chinese ADRs that are just random, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's dangerous, man. You're playing with fire, so just understand what you're getting yourself into. I know, I think it was Kevin in the chat. Sorry to be so late on this one, but you were asking about SPBR. Um, any thoughts on SPBR? So this was actually a really, really good short. 
I want to say small cap of the day short. This is the one to be in. There was another one, I think CMMX or CMTX, something like that. Um, but this was the better one. And something notable about this one, again, I had, no, I had no trades on this one, but something notable here is right off the open, 930. So we were kind of creating this little bit of like a channel area, moving to the upside, looking really good. And then it opens, and you know, guys, volume is always the tell. There was maybe 10 million, 15 million shares traded, if I, if I remember correctly, like before the open. We opened, we made a little bit of a high. So this is like, the, the previous high was like 37, and the top of the range was like 30s. Right off the open, blowing through 330, doing a lot of volume, and then flushing right away. And so from a percentage basis, you know, $3.30 stock, you know, you get a 60 cent move, what is that? That's like 20%, right? So, I mean, 60 cent move is down to 270. This is the meat of the move, obviously. Um, and that's 20%. So that's not actually bad. Like, I, like if you're looking at small caps, you're thinking in percents, not in cents. You know, you're, you're saying, okay, 10%, 20%, 30%, 30% being amazing. And, uh, you know, um, this gave you 20% right off the open before 940. So, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. That's trade of the day, in my opinion. Now it's just a slow kind of, fade to the downside, what I would be kind of, uh, you know, uh, what I would kind of watch is the low, is the pre-market low area of 220. You know, a lot of the times if you're trading these fade plays, maybe if it's a super parabolic move to the upside, you look for the short for retracement back 50% of the move. In this case, it was just kind of like fade right off the open, you're going for 20%. You know, I would be taking off the majority of the size if I was in that trade. And then maybe you hold for low of day, but then at that point, it's like, okay, you cover 260, you want an extra 30 cents, like, okay, Maybe it gives it to you, maybe it doesn't. I don't necessarily believe that this is one that you know, bottoms out then goes back and runs to three. But if this does get back to three, I'm, I'm, you know, it's gonna be, it basically will give the feel of a high day clear out. So yeah, maybe I'll take along like, if we get through VWAP, if it's very strong, if volume picks up, I'll take along for the move into high day clear out. And then if we actually go and go parabolic, I'll consider, I'll consider the shorts there. But yeah, guys, volume is always the tell. And I'm dragging my uh, chart up for you guys to see. Volume died off so quickly. Like before 9.45, this thing was done. So here's the meat of the move. Now it's done. I don't see a trade on it. I'm not really going long here. I will consider a long if we get back up here for the short squeeze. But I just don't think it has the juice in it. So yeah, man, that, that's my thoughts on that one there. And uh, Mike's saying Luca trades, whatever they tell them, long or short. Yeah, just guys, let me know what uh, let me know what you uh, what you're looking at. I'll jump into trades. You know, I'm, I'm uh, I will size accordingly for myself, and I will reiterate, trade your own book. But at the same time, you know, I love when uh, you guys kind of mention these things. Like perfect, Charles saying uh, Neil Long. We can have a look at this. But before we do, we are going to go to uh, Big B at the big desk for social sentiment. Hey guys, it was a busy morning. We missed this in the pre-market, so let's get you uh, caught up on what's being discussed on social media so far today. Uh, a couple jumping off the board here. Uh, Mullen, the most positive right now, which is uh, not the usual case. It's usually the overall market that's uh, the biggest on here, but Tesla, HKD, both with huge moves. Once again, HKD all the way back, and then some to the downside after a couple of days uh, positive. So negative sentiment for both. NIO, AMC. I haven't looked at this one yet today, but TIRX on this board as well. Uh, SPY and the Qs, both green at this point. Nice day for the overall market. Tech leading. There's Apple. There's Amazon. Uh, both positive, but number of little ones over here as well. HEDI, I haven't heard of that one for a while. Kind of popped up with HKD the other day. COSM as well, back to the downside. So a mixed board, even though the uh, market is pretty positive here. Thank you, Brendan, for that one. Uh, I, I had a trade there on Tesla uh, off of this 109, and it just quickly broke out, and now there's buying above 109. I'm done with this name, trying to short this name. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's going up. If not, like, it's going to be tough to, to kind of short. Like, uh, I don't want to take any more losses on it. I've been trying to really kind of limit my risk like per name and I'm basically at my limit now mm. uh, that I you know was expecting to lose here on Tesla today so yeah. uh, you know one 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 trade there you know my stop was at 10950 originally um, and then it, it ripped up past 109 uh, and then basically it, it tested 10950 didn't trigger it came back down to 109 um, I saw that happening. My price was like 88, so I'm like, okay, let me just bid out 08. I'll lose 20 cents on this one, uh, see if it gets hit there. And, and that's where I got out, um, just to kind of manage my, my risk appropriately there and, instead of just letting it run my stop, which it would have done anyways, because I think now 
Uh, the high is 109.53 is what the chart's saying. So, uh, you know, it, this this one clearly, it's it's not the name to, to, to short today, that's for sure. Um, I did see someone say Tesla was at 110 in, in pre-market. It wasn't, guys. It was at 110.50 yesterday. Um, you know, so, you know, it wasn't there in pre-market. It was down at like 102 in pre-market. Uh, you know, so it's made quite the move up. Uh, today, go long Tesla, join us. Yeah, not not right now. Join I mean, I'm, us. I'm buying the, the tops here on Tesla. I mean, like, where, where is it kind of going, right? Uh, you know, it's not going to retrace this entire move. It, it's down so much uh, the past few weeks. Uh, so it's been quite the quite the move down. Tesla bounced 109.40. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys are just talking about Tesla. Don't you short my Apple. It's going to hurt you. Um, mm, I am short I Apple, Apple short. right now. Uh, I've been kind of just leaving this one uh, alone there. I think it's in the money. Okay, yeah, there. So I did actually get my uh, get my fills there. Uh, I added to this one and got some fills there. So I am still holding this one, but uh, you know this one is working. Uh, it seems like this one is more uh, of a of a beta trade, uh, I guess, with the market because the market is 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 pulling back from this like thirty nine ninety five area, right? So you know some shorts are working. Uh, my Baba short uh, is not um, that one uh, is is now above one oh six. Uh, so I really got to be careful with this one. Um, I'm about like 30 cents out of the money on that one, but basically risking up to the high of day on that one. Uh, I'm going to see where, where, where that one kind of goes. I am short NIO as well, and, and that one's coming back up to uh, 995 area. I'm basically shorting against this 10 area. I just wanted to get involved and get my feet wet with the first entry, uh, knowing that I would add to this one uh, in front of 10, right, to kind of see how it reacts there. So, you know, I am short this name as well, and it looks like I'm going to get triggered uh, to add. Uh, more on this one, but uh, essentially, guys, I had this pre-market consolidation around this 10 area and then broke down, right? So, okay, cool. I just got some more uh, shares there on NIO. So, you see me short there. 89.5 is my price on NIO. Someone's saying, why is everyone shorting Tesla? Because I think it's going down, I think. But it's actually going up right now. So, I punched out of the short and then I thought about it. I was like, no, I don't necessarily, uh, I, I kind of like, so I'm giving myself a lot of room on this short. I'll just, I'll just kind of say that much. It's uh, my plan is 110 is going to break to the upside. Then I want to short a little bit more for the pullback. It's just kind of scalp. I'm just going to kind of scale into the short. And then it worked the first time. It was great. And I covered like a good portion. I held more than I would normally hold, but I'm still, I'm still up on the name. Uh, it's still looking pretty good. So yeah, I want it to go higher right now so I can short uh, a little bit more. Yeah, I know somebody's saying, who, uh, somebody's saying, yeah, wait, uh, wait to 110 for Tesla short. The thing is this, I'll short small size now. And if we go back down, okay, whatever, I just have the size. But if we get there, then I'll kind of like size into it a little more. So that's kind of the plan <coughs> with that one. We're going to see what happens. Uh, Tesla looking like it's going to rip to 120 Rage TV. I disagree with you on that one. There's absolutely no way this thing rips to 120 today. That would be an insane move off the bottom. I mean, anything is possible, but uh, yeah, no, there's just, uh, there's just I, I just don't see that. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And uh, yeah, there's other, uh, definitely these other names that we're looking at, but I'm just thinking uh, NEO. I actually wanted to have a short here on NEO, uh, kind of off that 10 level, but yeah, making the move to 10 sort of looking like maybe it's going to be reversing this whole, nah, you know what, I'm going to start a short on this one as well. Uh, pretty small size, starter size, see what happens. I want to revisit Amazon as well if we're back up here. I like this Amazon level. I like kind of, uh, you know, where it is right here. And I'm thinking like, uh, obviously this is an uptrend, but at the same time, look at the market. It is going sideways. If we are rejecting 39 and we go back down, there is room to, to give a little bit of a pullback there. So what I think is we can get back to 38.80, maybe 38.70, if this is just kind of weak in general. So I need to be short something. So right now, short NEO, uh, pretty uncorrelated to the market. Short Tesla, and I want to short Amazon, but not down here. Hopefully we can get back up to maybe 11s, 9s. Uh, 19, something like that. So I got my offers closer to here, playing off 84.60. If we run to 84.60, then yeah, I'm out of the trade. I'll, I'll take the L on that one, so we'll see what happens. Uh, DC Han said, thank you for the $5 super chat. Uh, Scalp Demon, stay with Amazon. Yes, exactly, that's the plan. Staying with Amazon, already paid me once. I think it's gonna pay me twice, and hopefully pays me three, four, five times today. We'll see what happens there. Uh, going back to Tesla very quickly, guys, just a heads up there, it is gonna run those 110 stops. So yeah, my play is, uh, yeah, hopefully this comes high enough and fills my offers that are way above there. 
Um, you know, keep in mind when you guys are trading these names and you see size come on the book, if you have the 110 level, people are probably shorting the 110 level. So where is their stop? Maybe they're using the size at 110. Maybe they put their stop above 110. So all things considered, they probably run those stops, and then those are the money fills if the short is good. So that's the plan. Someone's saying don't short Tesla Luca. Not a good day to do that. Um, it's okay, man. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm, I think uh, I think I'll, I'll make some money here, guys. I'm, I'm not. Even though I want to go for 103, what are the odds that I actually hold the rest of the position? Scalp demon style, baby. Just recycle shares over and over and over again. That is the plan. And uh, somebody's saying Luca chip pull. Tesla to 120, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, maybe run a poll. Do you think Tesla closes over or under 110? If you're watching this, run that poll, because that's a great poll, that's, that's my opinion. Um, and Havana saying, Luca, max pain on Tesla, 111. I don't think Mark Maker's gonna lose on the options today. Yeah, you, you know, it's, uh, it, volume, it, volume is the tell, right? It kind of feels like volume's a little bit light, so if you guys are, I did not look at this, but if you guys are looking at the options and if you're looking at, okay, like these are the levels where like, you know, they, they want to keep it within the range. I would imagine they want to close it like, you know, right at like 107 or 108, something like where, you know, everybody else loses except for them, right? So uh, that's kind of my thoughts on that one. So I got the first fill on Amazon, just a heads up there. I'm going to scale into this position. I want it to go higher. If it doesn't, I roll it the size that I got now. And uh, yeah, man, keep, uh, keep it going from there, guys. And if you do have any questions, you know, feel free to throw it in the chat. Uh, ask us. Yeah, there we go. Paul, will cl Tesla close above or below 110? I'm, I'm saying below. I'm going with below. So you guys, uh, you guys let me know what you think. And uh, we shall see what will happen into the end of the day. Uh, we had a super chat come there, come through there. Uh, DC Han, um, five dollars. Scalp demon, stay with Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so you know that, that one's obviously directed to Luca. Uh, I was looking at uh, a couple things here. I heard Sean uh, say Microsoft. Uh, you know, you're short, right? What price are you short? Is the one? 223.10. So I wanted to address one question here because someone said, guys, why are you shorting above the moving averages on your chart? So, you know, I'm looking at the, the 50 period here, and I, I believe that Sean uses this one as well. But, you know, that one, that short entry is well above uh, the 50 period there, right? So kind of playing that, you know, we're playing, we're adding confluence to the trades, guys. So, you know, obviously Microsoft, uh, Apple has been another good one. That one's worked well on the short side, off resistance areas. But since the market is at this resistance area, uh, you know, we're adding confluence to the trade and, and trading some high beta stocks here. So Microsoft has been uh, the good short here. You know, that one's, uh, you know, reverted almost all the way to VWAP there. I think it touched like 121.85 and VWAP's down at like 121 or 221.70, right? So, you know, that one's been a really, really good short there. Uh, Apple is coming back into play uh, for potential reload now right so uh, I did get out there uh, you know most of it uh, 127.20 there so that was a good one uh, let me actually just take a little bit more there uh, are the shorts going to be such a banger the shorts yeah I, th I, th I on, think so uh, Tesla, yeah. um, oh on Tesla there uh, let me yeah. actually retrace back to that one guys I'm not going to trade this anymore I'll, I'll be honest yeah, it's gonna um, fade, but look uh, yeah it has look it looks like it has broken out uh, 110 there um, so you know potentially exhausting some of those stops and you know potential for for a retrace here but guys like I said um, you know what was the closing price yesterday uh, 110.34 uh, and what did we test just now there Luca did it go like 110.19 right so we we basically grazed uh, yesterday's close so you know I guess last chance uh, for the short here on Tesla but uh, like I said, guys, I reached, I, I reached uh, my max pain on it. I'm probably just going to leave it alone for now. Um, Baba is basically way out of the money on, uh, for me on that one. Uh, looks like I am going to take the L. I, I was thinking about like potential reload here around 160.40 or 106.40. But man, I, I hate averaging into losers. And, and this one's, uh, one's kind of hurting me. So I'm just going to probably leave it uh, and just let it run out. Uh, even being disciplined. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to stay disciplined, man. I'm trying to stay disciplined. Uh, you know, obviously this week uh, hasn't been the greatest for me, but uh, you know, it's okay. That, that's trading, you know, stick with it. Uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm basically finding myself trying different things because what I've been, you know, what I've been used to uh, isn't necessarily working all the time, right? So, you know, trying different things, trying to uh, range trade a bit more momentum wise, at least uh, in, in, in that sense, right? So, you know, taking some L's, that's okay. Uh, when you are experimenting and whatnot with new setups, uh, you kind of have to uh, size down and, and, and accept the, 
accept your fate that you are going to take, uh, take some L's, right? So stocks only go up. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. I think, you know, we're obviously going to see, um, it's going to be an interesting year for sure. You know, I think, uh, I think uh, I heard Sean say it was like New Year's same market, New Year's same market, right? So, you know, it's basically the same, uh, you know, um, uh, macro wise, nothing has changed, right? So, you know, inflation is still super high. Obviously, you had uh, the numbers come through today, which kind of moved the market. But, um, you know, in February, they're going to raise rates again, and they're probably going to raise rates again in, in April, I believe it is. So, you know, uh, it's, no, it's the market's going to keep uh, keep kind of being a bear market until then, right? I think once the market kind of, you know, once, once they stop raising rates, then the market's probably going to start turning around a bit. But uh, we'll see. Time will tell for that one. Yeah, guys, time is always uh, the tell, and so is volume. And Pfizer is going to the north side. I don't know if there's any news on Pfizer. Do we have any news, if anybody can hear me right now, news on Pfizer? It's actually going from 50 all the way to 51. Uh, nice little spike, little bit of a dip, and then move to the north side. I want to short this right now, but if there's anything there, uh, feel free to uh, give us the update. Yeah, maybe, you know what, maybe I'll just short like super small size to kind of satisfy my need to short this thing. And uh, I'll just kind of use discretionary stop on it. We're going to see what happens uh, if we get a little bit of an update there. Guys, this is an up move, right? This is an up move. It already gave you the up move. It goes down. It goes back up. There's a dangerous short. But uh, I'm sized accordingly, so I can hold on to that. And we'll see if we get the, uh, uh, any news that comes through there. And just a quick update on my positions, guys. I am uh, Tesla short. A uh, little bit of, I think that was a part. I think that was a little bit of a part fill down there. So um, that was... That's the level, man. What was I bidding there? I was bidding 61. So part fill at 61s. So 61s is the money fill because, you know, anytime you get a part fill, that's the deal with that one. Uh, bidding right on the moving average there. So short is, uh, short is looking really good there. And I'm going to just read the uh, uh, Pfizer. China in talks with Pfizer for license to manufacture and distribute a generic version of the U.S. firm's COVID-19 anti-drug in China. All right, where's my Pfizer trade? Let me just get out of this one really quickly. <laughs> um, and uh, it's you know what though no maybe it's good actually you know what let me just uh, let me just add a little bit more and see what happens guys I'm gonna risk off of uh, 51 like 20 ish if we break right now I take a small L on this which I'm okay with uh, basically going for the fade play I mean if it if it keeps going up it's gonna go up then it is what it is uh, but yeah I would not be I would not be sure yeah no no this is this is going up okay small L on that one I'm okay with that and uh, Neo Trade is sort of working playing off of the 10 level. I think we're gonna fade back to at least 88s. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take 88s. If I can get 88s on that Neo trade, I'll be pretty happy. Amazon is uh, is looking pretty good. We're popping, got the top fills over there, hoping for the the breakthrough 84. I imagine, you know, like it's you know hard to believe for myself, but maybe there's stops there that then go down. Give me that money fill, uh, you know, money fills through 84. So yeah, I'm gonna stack my bids uh, on the Amazon trade. Uh, kind of down over here, that'd be great. So Amazon working, Neo working, and uh, Tesla back to 110. Uh, man, frustrating when it gives me a part fill on the stop. Uh, yeah, rain, raindrop, uh, raindrop, I like that. Uh, Luca, I should get out of this position. Hey, I'll add more. It's sometimes, hey, whatever, you know, sometimes it just don't, just, I mean, uh, yeah, guys, just, uh, you know, trade your own book. I'm going to say that every single time. Uh, but we are going to go to Big B for a European update. Hey guys, yeah, wrapping up the week here for European markets, just getting uh, some of the final prints coming through here. A nice positive day as we saw this reversal underway uh, as far as North America is concerned. All of these nicely higher to end the week as well. Still a bit of a uh, choppy week, to say the least, to kick off 2023. But nice look anyways on a Friday. 4% for Turkey leads the way. Everything else uh, positive uh, on a Friday. 1.15 there for Germany, one3 for Italy, back to the upside, almost got to 1% as well for Spain. So nicely positive over in Europe. <clears throat> Thank you so much for that, uh, Brendo. And uh, I want to continue to short Tesla here. So you know what? I am going to add to this uh, add to this short if it wants to let me add to this short. Um, where is this? Why is this not working here? Um, where's the fill? Come on. Okay. No? No No fill? No fill? Okay, there we go. Yeah, fill. I like the 110 level, and to whoever said uh, Luca, 111, guys, that is the ma that is the great short area. Where, like, yeah, maybe you have a good look there, but here we are at 110, so I'm trying the short, building this position. Uh, Neil is saying MU is no, going, I, I, I so let's have it, a quick look at MU before I jump back to uh, GME, like Michael tried, Travis. Right. I'll look at that in a second. But MU strong on the day, um, obviously going to the yeah. upside here. Is there daily levels on this that I should be looking at? No, I feel like 55, yeah, like it's a 56 was so like Matt, interesting. You're still, you're still this is strong. This kind of feels strong, but I, I want to maybe try a short here. I'm going to get a starter position for myself and then see 
if uh, if like where this goes. If if we just go down, I mean, I'm gonna try to. This is kind of the channel. If we dip back into the channel, I'm gonna try to get 91s on the fill there. So we'll see if that one wants to fill. Uh, so short MU, short Neo, pretty flat. Uh, Amazon is actually going up here. A little bit of a spike on that one. So yeah, I'm not gonna. Well, this is at the same price that I added before. If we can get to 40s, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit more on that one. And uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at GME as well. Uh, wow, GME's at below 16. It hit 15. I thought this was, I didn't look at this, and I was like, oh, this is at 20, but eventually, eventually this is going to go to like $7, I think. That's kind of my random price there. I don't know what to think on GME, but this is like, it's a like super range bound today. I would say respect the range that it's in. Uh, you know, this is giving you like the topish area, this is the bottomish area. Um, obviously, you don't want to be diddling in the middle. That's VWAP. You either short for the move back down or you long for the move back up. That's just my, my two cents on that one, but probably no trades for myself on GME. You know, volume kind of light, but it'll be interesting uh, to see if this one, it's just grinding to the downside, guys. This is the daily. It's like it never really gives a clean flush lower. It's just kind of like chop, 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 chop the way down. So uh, just, you know, my two cents is like, yeah, stay away from this one because you probably get, uh, get chopped on that. Um, yeah, that's just my thoughts there. Uh, let's have a look quickly at Baba because I think somebody was mentioning this. Baba... At 106, 106.50 level of interest on BABA. Let me just have a quick look here. Uh, where are we here? Oh, man, I hate when these dark pool wicks come at the bottom there. BABA is strong, holding above 100. And where are we, like, on the daily, guys? Because this is pretty interesting. That 100 level, I had a couple shorts on it, and then, I, and then it was okay for the scalp. But, like, we just are, like, way up. I, I really do feel like if this holds 100... Like, are we going, not today. This is not really a day trade thing, but I feel like resistance might come in at like 110. Um, I mean, anything's possible. I was surprised when Baba the other day like broke 100, it went to 103, 104. I was, uh, I was really surprised there. But um, yeah, no, I'm gonna put this one on ice. We'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, Amazon to the top here. I think I'm just gonna add just like a little bit more just to, I feel like that's the right thing to do. So add back to that, add a little bit to that Amazon. And you know what, let's look at, uh, let's look at Pfizer again to see just where this is. I think it was the right, safe to say the right idea to cover that, that short there. Maybe the long, maybe the long is good on this one. It's just kind of in an area that it's been before. So, you know, kind of tough to, at least for myself to justify, uh, I'm just trying to find some levels maybe. Maybe 52 is more of a level. Um, obviously, guys, positive catalyst on Pfizer. You know, I initially short the small size. It doesn't work for me. I get out, take a little bit of a paper cut. We are now moving back down. I don't really know what to think, but I kind of want to short it again for like a scalp trade. Uh, maybe this one will be another, it'll give another opportunity here. But uh, yeah, it is. I mean, you know, it's tough to short pot. Like when you get these moves on large caps, if it's actually positive news, like, yeah, you could retrace the first move and then you get the win. It gives you like 50% retracement. Okay, sick. But then the second move is like maybe the sustained move. Yeah. But at the same time, we could still come back and then kind of float around, right? So yeah, who knows? We'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. Um, Austin saying, Luca, can you take a look at ATNF? Sure, ATNF. Let's have a look here. ATNF at 550. This was this was from yesterday, right? This thing was like above seven, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, I have these like lines here. And uh, um, yeah, breaking seven, then kind of reversing the whole move. And let me just zoom out here. It's, I think the trade, uh, from a day trade perspective, the trade on it was yesterday. You know, it gives you like the volume extension to the upside, seven level rejects, it retraces the whole move intraday. That was a really good short. Now it's kind of like, like done. But I would say maybe, you know, resistance, if this thing gets to like 680, I'll consider the short. Like 687 for like another, like maybe 650 to seven like area for like a short potential. I'm not longing this name. I'm not going to short this name right now. I just don't think it's, uh, it's like the best thing to do. Um, just kind of nursing the shorts that I have on board here. Waiting for Neil Phil at the bottom. Let's have a look. This thing is just kind of floating around. I do still think potential for the move down, but we're going to have to see. Uh, MU is basically flat. Uh, maybe I'll just add to this short. Yeah, let me, let me take a little bit more short here of MU. Um, guys, I'm going for like, you know, 20... 20 cents if I can get it there, just, uh, just a heads up on that one. And uh, yeah, Luca losing a lot of fans today. Man, what did I do today? Come on, is it the Ferrari jacket is what I'm saying? Is it too much Tesla trading? I don't know, guys, you, you can uh, let me know there. Maybe it's because uh, we're just all we're just all short bias, but guys, like you know, the markets at resistance. That's what we're basically playing off of. I'm short Amazon as well. 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to short this level uh, in the market and try it until it doesn't work, guys. Like, just look at the past, like, literally 14, 15 trading days and look at what the market's done around 3,900, right? Uh, it doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. Um, so, yeah, that's why we're kind of, you know, trying to short here. Uh, NIO is, is basically just kind of floating around this 10 area. I, I want to give it a little bit more space uh, above 10. Uh, that one looks like it's now breaking out of this 10 area. Uh, I'll talk about BBBY in a second as well. I saw a few people mentioning that in the chat. Uh, but essentially, on NIO, got a risk uh, basically to this 20 area, uh, right? Uh, on, on NIO, right? That's the top of that pre-market uh, high, right? So I might, you know, if it rejects uh, 1010, uh, once more, I might try to get more uh, short on that one. Uh, so, you know, keep uh, keep an eye out for that one. But uh, yeah, that one is breaking out 10 now. I'm 10 cents out of the money on that one. Uh, that's not going to, you know, make me cry home or anything like that. Um, I am trying to get more short on, uh, on Apple. Uh, let me bring up that one. That one's been the one uh, that's actually continuously, you know, kind of worked for me here. Um, you know, basically shorting above 50 uh, and then... Uh, you know, scalping it on the 20s, right? Uh, just kind of rinsing and repeating that one. So, you know, taking what I learned from last Friday trading with Neil uh, and, uh, you know, applying it here once once more, right, uh, here on Apple. Um, BBBY, I saw a few people saying that uh, it's continuing to go down. So, obviously, guys, uh, you know, they're, they're basically filing for, for bankruptcy. Uh, you know, big, huge negative news. Um, they were down, I believe, like 28% yesterday after a gap down in pre-market yesterday. Gap down again, once again, uh, you know, overnight today, down another 22%, right? So, you know, the thing is just, it's tough to get short this name, right? Because SSR, um, obviously the offer is super thick. Uh, like if you see this guys, like, you know, if you're, if you're offering out in this gateway, uh, you, it's gonna be very, very tough to get filled. You're probably not gonna get filled, right? So, uh, you know, it's, it's very tough to kind of get that short, uh, but if you had it, it's been, it's been a very good one, right? But uh, yeah, guys, don't go long on this one. Don't, uh, you know, don't think this is a value buy or anything like that one. Uh, you know, this one's, uh, this one's not looking too, too hot, right? Uh, and in that sense as well, I want to take a look at SI uh, because that's been another uh, company that's really, really struggling as well, obviously, with everything going on with crypto. Uh, let me just slide over the chart there so you can see the price action on this one today. Uh, you know, had a huge down day yesterday. That was a good short to get. Um, but look at this exhaust, exhaustion move, right? So obviously, there's going to be shorts covering. Um, you know, I believe that the on flow checker, uh, you know, on numerous websites, the short uh, interest is around 50% on this name uh, as well, right? So, you know, there's going to be shorts covering, obviously, uh, you know, with it having such big down days. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, obviously after that, it's just been sort of a downwards move for the rest of the day, right? And now we're testing the lows once again. The low is 10, 1081, I believe, uh, here on SI, right? So, you know, keep that one in mind. Um, watching I did get more filled there on Apple uh, you know so that one's working uh, as well you know basically I got filled above 50 right so same sort of thing rinse and repeat on that one the market is pushing up once again uh, testing uh, 3895 right so here's the thing guys like if the market starts breaking up 3900 <laughs> Uh, I'm going to quickly uh, stop out of these shorts and just kind of reassess and see what's going on, right, and see how the market is playing out around this level, right? Uh, that basically because, you know, the, the thesis behind these trades oh, this is going uh, down, is, is going to be is going to be done, right? So uh, what, are you, what are you referring to I'm there? just like, I, guys, I'm talking to myself here, you know. Uh, I just think that these, the te I added a little bit more to Tesla here. It's, um, I'm being very patient with it, and I know maybe it's, maybe it's because people are long and they just want to... Uh, want this to go? I mean, this is like this is provided like ample longs for for uh, uh, for everybody today. You know, the long was not wrong. I'll say that much. But uh, yeah, here I am short this name. It's not Max Payne, guys, because my average is 83. This thing is like floating around. It's not really showing me that it wants to go up. And I just think the VWAP retracement is is like you know that's kind of like the play. That's what I'm going for there. So yeah, guys, make sure you trade your own book. Make sure you do stuff that makes sense to you, you know, repeat those same strategies over and over again. That's how you stay profitable. Um, so that is, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. It's not about, you know, it's not right or wrong, me versus you, that, uh, all that stuff. It's uh, just do things that you think are going to make you money and then repeat them over and over again. Um, yeah, somebody has, shorting is a mistake. Well, I guess, yeah, we'll see. Uh, shorting Amazon right now is definitely a mistake because this thing will not go back down. I'm giving myself room to, like, watch this. And I know, like I said, 8460. Uh, yeah, pretty strong move to the upside. I guess the market is going to make that push to 3,900. So, yeah, maybe best if I just uh, get out of this and then kind of, yeah, let me just get out of Amazon there. So I'll get out of Amazon. I'll reevaluate that one. If this thing wants to make a run to 85, 
then uh, maybe, uh, you know, at this point I'm thinking if abort the short, I, I think maybe I take the long. The long can't be wrong here, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to see what happens with that one. MU is, uh, yeah, it's not working, but it's slow. Uh, so I added kind of small size, then a little bit more, and now it's kind of against me here. So yeah, we're going to have to see there. Um, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, five euro super chat saying bravo. I don't know if you're talking about my trading or uh, just the, in general, but yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the show. Neo going to the upside on this one. So yeah, guys, shorts. Shorts not good, clearly. Uh, good call on that one, but uh, for, let's just check back. Yeah, eh. That was like a strong move in, so maybe I'm gonna have to reevaluate. Guys, taking the L is not easy, but you gotta take L's from time to time, man. You gotta take L's. Uh, so yeah, maybe that 111 will reevaluate here and, and see where it goes there. Guys, I, I'm seeing a, a big offer there on uh, on Apple here at 89. It was around, it just got taken, never mind. It was around like 1,800 lots there randomly. Uh, I added to the short. Uh, that one looks like it's getting run over the market is breaking out this 3900 it seems like right so i uh, gotta be very very careful here uh, i did see you know you did see me get stopped out there on amazon um guys that size at 128 that's uh that's going to be irrelevant uh, you've seen that one just getting get hammered through there right so the high is 128.04 here on apple right so you know this is basically coming uh i'm up against the ropes here uh, on, on this short uh, essentially right to so see if uh, if the market does hold above 3,900 and you know Apple cracks on uh, and makes a new high here, uh, you know you're gonna see me stop out of that one. I'm gonna have to reassess uh, on that one. I did add um, to NIO just because I saw some offers restacking uh, around that 10 area, right? So I got that fill, uh, and that one's moving back down towards uh, to, you know to the downside, right? So you know at least that one is is sort of still showing me what I want to see, so to speak. Um, but so, yeah, going to be very, very co uh, careful here uh, on, on the short uh, side uh, on that one. Bob, I wanted to check on that name to see where that one has headed now um, because you saw me get, uh, get kind of run over on that short earlier. Um, Bob is New York, so there we go. Uh, guys, I was long down here, and you know the longs on this name are really, really good in the morning. Uh, but I just covered way too early, and uh, you know this was I was like I talked to you guys about trying different things, and you know I was trying the range trade essentially here uh, on Baba, and I like this 103 level just because, basically because of yesterday uh, how it held uh, you know so nicely uh, yesterday we could show you that one if I scroll back over here kind of weird um, like you know you can see it here side. around this uh, in the morning I believe it was uh, oh, around nice. this 103 area right there right so you know that one held again uh, this morning. Uh, and I had the long there, but I just covered too early. So, you know, I was like, okay, let me try and short the top end of that range or what I thought was the top end of the range. And, you know, it continued to go up. Obviously, you know, Chinese names uh, and Baba especially um, because, you know, they had that catalyst uh, re regarding, uh, you know, them directly uh, has been, have been very, very strong, right? So, you know, be careful uh, shorting that one. That was a little bit of a... Uh, I guess like kind of a FOMO trade because I had the trade and, and I just covered it way too early, right? So, you know, still battling some demons in that sense um, on, on Baba there. Uh, Tesla there is, is, no top is, is breaking out. Yeah, okay, maybe yeah. not, guys. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe no top here for Tesla. I don't know. It's, I'm like it's, a, yeah. Yeah, go for it, go for it, go for it. I'm like, yeah, guys, I'm a dollar out of the money, but I'm kind of uh, still, I'm just like, eh, you know, maybe I can, uh, the market, sometimes I think the market does sometimes give you opportunity to get better uh, fills, but yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens here. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Uh, yeah, there is no top, and it does go to 120. So, uh, can I change my uh, answer on this poll over here? I said below, guys. We're sitting at 54% below and 46% uh, above. So, uh, yeah, maybe Tesla's actually gonna go to like 112 here. I just think like now, like, uh, do I really like punch out like the top top? Uh, let's see how the market wants to react. 3900, obviously strong. Abort the shorts. The long can't be wrong. Going to the north side. Started a, a little bit of a position here, long on uh, Pfizer, just below, I think below one, uh, yeah, just below 51 here. I don't know if this holds. I'm kind of going for like, you know, maybe a, a 10 cent pop, but yeah, guys, maybe volume uh, kind of dries up very, very quickly, man. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, no top at all. Yeah, guys, I, I should maybe, uh, uh, maybe run another poll. Should I punch out of this trade or should I <laughs> add to it? Uh, I don't know, man. I think I could, I think I have room to add, but... This thing is strong, guys. This thing is really, really strong now. So obviously, my thesis kind of wrong on it. We are now in sort of like you know the upper uh, sort of band here. But I think there's a chance to get back to 110. Like my average is good. I'm just not going to panic right now. That's the main thing. 
uh, you know, giving myself room to like let it breathe. Uh, easily this thing can come back down and then, you know, like it's uh, maybe like a buy the dip type thing. So I'm not like super, super concerned with it right now. It's, uh, it's something that I'm just gonna kind of chill with. So go and let's have a look here at ATNF. ATNF, uh, somebody saying making a run. Yeah, maybe this thing wants to actually make a run. I like 650. If we can just kind of make a little bit of sideways action here, go back down, go back up, break the high, do some volume, then go back down. I think I like the short guys. Keep in mind, volume is the tell with this. So a <clears throat> little bit of a volume spike and dip, then a volume spike to the north side there. So uh, yeah, 680, exactly. So I'm kind of watching, somebody saying ad for entertainment. Yeah, no, that's, uh, oh man, that's gonna be a painful ad. Okay, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, no, maybe I'll wait. I'll just wait it out. That is the, uh, that is, yeah, staring into the eyes of Medusa. Guys, trading is, is pain, man. It, it can be fun at times, it can be very painful at times, but uh, just make sure, the only thing that you gotta tell yourself is just trade your own book, do your own style, and that's how you live with yourself when you make mistakes. You know, sometimes I jump into random trades that people t tell me about because I look at it and I say, oh, that's a long, that's a short. When I lose on those trades, I, I'm just like, damn it, what am I doing listening to like, I don't even know your guy's real name. I'm sitting here like reading these kind of funny things here. Um, so yeah, no, that's, uh, uh, that's all with that. But yeah, guys, let us know uh, what else you're looking at, what else is moving, what else you uh, uh, kind of are watching. If you are enjoying the show, hit the like button. We need a status update on the chip, and I have no idea where it is. No idea, but I'm sure it's on the way. Do we have like a delivery status on that Amazon? Uh, I guess no. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, like we have, PM. guys, you guys will be the first to know when we get the chip, I'll tell you that much, because, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this will be kind of funny there. Somebody's saying long meta, bro, lots of strength. I could have a look at meta here as well. Uh, where are we on meta? It's at 130. I didn't even look at meta today. I don't even know why these charts are not loading here. These, uh, yeah, what is going on here? Yeah, guys, uh, I saw people people uh, say they're short Apple here uh, in in the chat. Uh, this is very I don't, robotic. you know, I'm obviously short Apple. Uh, it is really struggling yeah, with this 128 like, guys, um, but uh, yeah, you know, the shorts haven't been in play, and you know, the reason why, uh, you know, we're, we're we're shorting here is because uh, we're not involved to the long side, right? So you know, obviously, the market is testing the resistance area, uh, which is you know currently. Uh, it's starting to break out a bit, right? Uh, but it's still struggling, right? So, you know, there is still hope yet. Uh, you know, um, the, the nail hasn't been put in the casket uh, quite yet here uh, to, the, to the short side. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, you know, just be careful down. Make sure you have structured trades, uh, you know, and, and you're not just kind of, you know, adding to a, a loser or something like that, right? Make sure your trades are always structured and follow your plan. Uh, bullish flag on Tesla. Uh, man, I, I mean, Luke has been talking about Tesla this whole time. Uh, you are kind of getting... Uh, I guess like on the one minute, but you can't use uh, you can't use patterns on a one minute for sure. But uh, yeah, this one just breaking at 111 now. It's turning green on the day. Uh, I'm sticking with my you know will it close below 110? Yeah, um, I'm I'm sticking with that boat. I think it's gonna come back below 110. It'll probably just close around there and it'll probably be flat on the day because uh, you know I believe that yesterday's closed 110.34, right? So you know it's probably just gonna close around there uh, and be flat uh, heading into the weekend. Um, on that one, a Apple does seem like it is a better short off of that 120. Uh, is Ca or 128 there? Is Cala dead? Um, I think it might be. Let's take a quick look here. Obviously, I haven't really looked at it a lot this week. Um, it's down 11% today. Um, you know, obviously it had some great runs, great runs. But that's the thing with these names is that you know they have the great runs. Uh, if you make money, then great. Uh, but you can't get into it late because once you get into it late, you you know it starts to fade the entire move, and and then there you go, right? So. Uh, obviously, you know it's 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 kind of it's kind of dead now. Obviously, only 32 bucks uh, had a huge gap up still, you know, from six dollars. So uh, there's still Damn opportunity it. there, Damn but uh, yeah, just kind of be careful with that one. Your order R in this trade, uh, guys, isn't uh, isn't that great, right? So uh, keep that one in mind. Uh, Tesla close 115 or your money back. Uh, how much money are you putting up on there, Tyler? Uh, you know, maybe we'll take that bet. Uh, 115 is a ways away, uh, right? So you know. Uh, you know, I think that's a little bit, uh, a little bit hopeful in that sense. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, can I can I return these these uh, these shares? I want to undo this short, please. Please show my chart over here. I would really like to undo the fills that I've done there. So whoever wants to take these from me, uh, yeah, man, please uh, please take them away. I'm unfortunately going to stop myself out above 112, which I think is probably going to hit here. So taking the L on that one, it's. Uh, yeah, man, it might go to 120, might go to 120. So uh, aborting the short, and I guess the long can't be wrong. So uh, yeah, maybe I just like punch out of this one. 
Um, but for the time being, we're actually going to go to uh, Big B for a quick update. Happening now. Hey guys, into lunch hour we go on a Friday afternoon. Looking pretty good. So far, so good as far as the markets are concerned. Going into today's session, uh, we were negative on the week for all three U.S. markets, but there is a chance we get back to positive territory. So here we go, 1.85 right now for the uh, S&P 500, 1.85 for the Dow, exactly the same. Two full percent at this point for the Russell 2000 leading the way, 1.84, 1.97 now. Uh, Two percent kind of a day for the Nasdaq 100. It's the big ones that are leading. AMD, yeah, CES on right now. So some new products being launched right across the board. We're going to have a little bit of talk on that coming up this afternoon in the closing show before the potential chip challenge. But uh, failing Amazon, we might uh, have to po postpone said chip day. Uh, Tesla here as well. Yeah, they cut their prices in China for the second time in three months. So more negativity. Uh, for uh, Tesla, I was actually just reading that that price cut was actually due to an overwhelming amount of orders that they're currently dealing with in China. Uh, so not a bad problem to have. Bed Bath & Beyond as well. Chapter 11 still lingering in the background. Here we are down another 21%, guys, for BBBY. Yeah, guys, somebody in the chat said it best. It was pretty funny. They were like, I was like, because before I'm like, oh, this is going to be a bang or short. And like, no, it's, it's absolutely wrong. And someone's like... Like, quote, like, is it going to be a bang or short? Yeah, man, no, it's, uh, like, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe not so good, you know? Like, uh, it is what it is, man, not not really, um, it's, it's, you know, like, that's trading, man. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, guys, I should have listened to you on that one. But uh, you know what? My pain is your gain, right? No pain, no gain, baby. It's all good. And uh, to Michael saying, Luca, you know, sometimes your calls are good, sometimes they're bad. Uh, listen, any real trader knows that, uh, yeah, trading uh, can be painful. You're wrong from time to time. You're right. You just got to, you know, stay positive. Continue to put yourself in areas where you can, uh, you know, uh, put the odds in your favor and, uh, and take shots. Yeah, when am I closing that position? I don't know, man. I don't know. But if you're in this trade, you're definitely feeling the pain with me. I'm just hoping that 112 doesn't, like, break and keep going. We're now up on the day. So I didn't think this was going to happen. I do think we get a, a, a move back down where I can kind of fix this. Like, like if we just keep going up forever, then like that's just like, that's just, it is what it is, right? So I, uh, it's, it's, yeah, my fault with the red shirt. Well, I got the Ferrari shirt. I'm sure Pratt on the ones and twos is not liking what I'm wearing right now. But uh, yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Uh, yeah, man, that's trading Grant exactly. You just kind of got to roll with it. Guys, I am shorting this Apple level 128. I really like this level. Uh, I'm going to try to pay more attention to uh, kind of what I'm doing on this one. And uh, going for a little bit of a move down. The thing about today is like today is not the same feel as like, you know, earlier this week. Like these move. this is like we're now Friday. Like things are really, really slow. And the thing is, is when things are slow like this, like you, you're going to, if you're scalping the way that I'm scalping, you probably, uh, uh, you know, die a painful death, to be honest. Or you'll take a lot of paper cuts. So the thing I'll say is just know when to scale down and walk away. So like, yeah, the size that I'm trading today is not the size that I was trading uh, like earlier this week. You know, it's just, it's just not there. Like you can't do it. It's a product of the market. So, you know, let's say you're used to doing this and you want to take like 500 shares, 1,000 shares. Then you do it today. You know, maybe you're like, well, maybe I'll take, you know, 50 or 100. Maybe I'll take 35. Like you just have to understand that when the volume is not there, you, you have to scale down or, or uh, you know, you uh, uh, face the pain. I'll say that much. So I think a product of today, which is kind of the lesson I'm learning about myself, is because, you know, when I take smaller size I'm just like the swings are obviously smaller and I'm like oh yeah like I can just like hold this all the way up here whereas like if this was like yesterday or the day before I don't know man I would be like I'd be like I'd be out of this trade I'll say that much I'd be really out of this trade so uh yeah that's just something to note for yourself kind of learning that about myself in real time um and yeah happy to happy to share my experience on that one I guess Amazon not going back down gonna revisit this one if we get closer to 85 I would love a little bit of a pop through 85 for a short, then back through, take like a 10, 20 cents there. Not really too sure um, if, that, if that's going to happen or not, but we will, uh, we will see. I want to go back to 8 TNF to see where this one is. Yeah, man, the fade play on that was pretty good. Wasn't thinking short unless we actually did get the pop through 650, so uh, not really too concerned. But yeah, kind of slow. But again, this is day two, you know? Day ones that things go crazy, lots of volume, maybe overcrowded trade. Uh, day two, things are slower, but yeah, I really wanted to see, I mean, this is kind of the channel that I drew from yesterday, whereas like the channel, then it goes above the channel, does a little bit of a head and shoulders, 
fails and then retraces the whole move like solid. Now, same channel, I want it to like get there, especially with the seven, seven level. Um, this is kind of like if I had to draw like a horizontal line, it's like from here to like here is like, you know, this is like the money resistance level. I just wanted it a little bit higher uh, to really put the odds in my favor. But uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it, you know, it's just not working. Uh, Luca is becoming Jim Cray. I mean, yeah, man, if, do whatever works for you, right? Like, if you want to take the opposite of my trades, like, uh, uh, be my guest, maybe. I mean, on a day like today, like, it would be, it would definitely be paying you. Um, yeah, uh, losing hundreds on Tesla. I feel the pain, man. I'm, I'm smiling, but I'm just like, eh, not, uh, uh, not really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you, and I'm seeing a couple people in the chat uh, saying, like, hang in there. I, like, I, I mean, you know, Losing is part of it. You gotta accept losing. Obviously, it sucks to lose, mm -hmm. guys. No one wants to lose, but uh, it is what it is uh, here. So I took the L on the Apple uh, above 128. This one seems pretty strong above 128 now, uh, even though the market isn't really, you know, it's figuring out what it wants to do around this 3900 area, right? So uh, yeah, guys, Apple is running. That short did not work. It, it was it was okay for a bit there. You know, you had a couple scalps. Like uh, so you know, I'm up, I'm basically flat on Apple now. But uh, after taking that last L. But uh, yeah, now, now it looks like it's just breaking at 120. I was like thinking about potentially trying it once more, but I saw the move it was making and I saw the market doing nothing. So, you know, Apple is, is strong here. I was looking at Microsoft as well because I was thinking like, okay, if the market isn't necessarily breaking out, uh, you know, really showing that move to the upside, uh, what, what can we potentially still, you know, be involved here? Uh, so, you know, I, I know Microsoft was a good short from earlier. Uh, it looks like that one made a new high here since we came on the show. 223.40 area was the high, right? So got to be patient, got to wait for, you know, the top end of this range. I mean, you could short here at 223, but what are you really risking, right? Like you got to risk 40 cents uh, up to this 40 area, right? So, you know, got to be careful with that one. Uh, you know, I don't want to let this day kind of uh, run away from me in that sense, right? I'm still short NIO. That one's not really doing much. I've seen, you know, size pop up on the offer, uh, but that one's been, you know, size has been getting kind of run over on that one. Uh, that was my last uh, ditch effort there, right? So now it's basically like if this trade's going to work, let's work. If not, then, uh, you know, chalk it up uh, as, uh, as another L uh, for today, uh, which, we, you know, will send me to, uh, to the negative today, but, uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, Tesla after 110 gonna move huge. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I have not been watching Tesla at all. Um, you know, after my last trade, it's all the way up at 112, right? Did it break 112? I guess not. Uh, it ticked to maybe like 99s there. 111.98 is the high there uh, on on Tesla, right? So, I mean. If, you, if you're still trying to short this name, uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, shorting against that 112, uh, that's the last ditch effort, uh, I feel. But, uh, you know, it's up 1.5%, guys, on the day. Uh, you know, obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's super strong today um, in that sense. I was looking at Meta as well. I'm just kind of, like, doing a wraparound to see, like, okay, what, what beta names, like, how are they reacting to, uh, to the market move right now? Uh, you know, what's, what's trading like what right now? So I was looking at Meta, and Meta has, has had this insane move uh, basically up above this 126 area, and now it's around this 129 area, right? It's basically consolidating here, right? So I don't know if I'm necessarily, uh, you know, picking this one because it looks like this one's been pretty strong uh, with the market basically tracing the market i want to be patient i'm already in the one short uh you know you guys see me in a few shorts already i want to be patient and wait to see what actually comes to fruition here around this 3900 area because we're basically just consolidating now uh, and just kind of chilling uh, if the volume is going to be dying down then you know maybe uh, maybe that's it for the day uh, we're gonna have to be very very specific with the rest of our trades right uh yolo one fomo <laughs> that's a cool name uh, thank you for a super chat uh, I'm long Tesla 102.94 oh, VWAP bounce. Oh, that's a sick average. Uh, yeah, that that's a, that is a sick average. Uh, Tesla, you know, off that 102 area this morning. Basically, the pre-market uh, lows there. Uh, you know, pre-market low was like 101, uh, and then that sense it was like okay. It seems like you know, I'll bring up the five minute because it's just like easier to look at. Um, but uh, yeah. It, when it was like doing that kind of price action, I was like, okay, it, this is hitting 100, it wants 100, uh, you know, and obviously the bounce uh, just kind of came into play there and, and the bounce has been vicious here on Tesla. Um, but uh, I know a handful of us were kind of short bias on that one. They, they, they cut their 
uh, prices in China, you know, which essentially is leading towards, mm, uh, you know, potentially, it. you know, uh, less demand in China and whatnot. Obviously, you know, I had the huge down move in a lot of the EVs as well, uh, the Chinese EVs like XPEV, NIO. Um, I actually didn't look at the XPEV chart. Let's see if that one's kind of been similar to the NIO chart uh, there. Actually, XPEV has been a little bit weaker because that one hasn't really uh, broken out uh, to new highs, right? So obviously NIO is testing the pre-market high and that, that's up here at 1050 on XPEV, right? So, you know, maybe the, the short is better in XPEV. Uh, we'll see on that one. But uh, yeah, a lot of these Chinese EVs uh, got hurt today, despite, you know, obviously a lot of positive news coming out of China. You've, you've seen a lot of those ADRs rally recently, but uh, yeah, getting hurt today, XPEV down almost 15%. Yeah, I want to uh, uh, address a comment here. Uh, S. Hussein, Luca, please explain the terms you use. I am new and want to learn, i.e. short, long, in the money. Thank you. So I'm sure a lot of other people that are new to trading, they want to uh, kind of understand uh, the lingo as well. You know, when I was new to trading, I didn't really know uh, some of these things. So essentially, uh, let's start with Tesla. I am out of the money, out of the money on Tesla. Um, that essentially means that I am short. And let me just like zoom out to kind of show it a little more clearly. Um, I am short at like 110, 109.83, and it is like going up. So it's like going against me. I am out of the money. I am losing money on it right now. It is pain, uh, but uh, it is what it is, right? Now in the money would be something like Amazon. I am short from over here. My average is 85.01. I am 10 cents in the money, meaning the trade is working for me. I am getting paid on that one, so pretty happy. Um, and then short is essentially short. I am like short it. I want it to go down. Uh, I have basically... Uh, you could Google the mechanics of shorting. I won't bore you with the definition. But essentially, I need the stock to go down for me to make money, and then I buy it back. I cover, right? So my arrows that are red are shorts. So this was a short. These are covers. This was a short. This was a bad cover. I lost on that trade. And uh, what did I have a long on? I think I had a long on Pfizer. Um, so the long here, and then the, the exit of the long is purple. So I'm going to keep my arrows like that. So I tried to short it. I lost. I tried to long it. I lost. Volume is kind of dying off, so I think I, think I just step away from the trade. Uh, Amazon is actually fading. Oh, this one's a, this is great. Okay, yeah. This is, uh, oh, okay, baby, let's go. Whoever said don't step away from Amazon uh, from before, you know, taking the L, uh, making it all back and more. You know what, I'm just gonna take, I'm taking like everything on Amazon. That was, that was, uh, yeah, man, that was, that was solid. I'm pretty happy with that one. And uh, Apple here, I'm kind of adding, it's very, very slow. Guys, you need to know when, when like, again, I repeat this from before, you need to know when like, things are just floating, right? So like in the middle of the day, sometimes it'll give you the bangers that you wanna see. Uh, Meta is in the money. Meta's a banger here too. I'm just gonna cover this, this full one as well. Uh, let me see if, I, if it wants to give me the fill there. Okay, there we go, perfect. So yeah, taking the little bit of the win on Meta there as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, guys, in the middle of the day, like see how like it's like, you know, it's trending up, it's trending down, like it's very, very, like a very, very tight range. Like it looks like from a chart, like, oh yeah, like I can just like short here, but the thing is, is you gotta like understand like this is, uh, you're, you're playing a dangerous game when you're getting involved in these things, right? So uh, just, just understand the nature of the beast. The morning obviously has more volume, more follow through. That's where people tend to make the majority of their money. And then in the afternoon, you wanna really, really scale down. You wanna really pick your spots. Um, so just keep that in mind, man, keep that in mind. Uh, I think I'm going to get a chance. I, I do believe that Tesla is going to come back down through 110, and I'm going to have a, a banger short on this. It just doesn't look good. Like, it optically, it looks very, like, sad. And the fact that I got a part fill, like, I had, like, uh, like not, like, too much size there, but the fact that it gives me a part fill, like, that should have been the tell as to, like, okay, maybe this is the long level. So hopefully you guys, like, kind of took that, saw the part fill, and, and said to yourself, like, hmm, part fill on this, maybe the long is good, right? So I was obviously biased to the short side, but look, 61s was good the first time, the second time, and then the third time, and then to the north side, right? So, uh, yeah, I kind of lost track on that, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll have a chance uh, to get my money back on that one. It's just, you know, it's just slow, right? You just got to uh, kind of, I'm going to be patient with it. I, I have no worries. And, uh, yeah, somebody, what is ones? Everyone is hitting one, one, one in the chat. I have no idea what that means. Um, Luca, don't, yeah. Uh, here, I can, I can uh, take over while Luca kind of does his thing there. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of just, I'm, I'm being patient, man. I'm being patient. The market is pulling back off 3,900. I was looking at Meta. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. not really making uh, the, the move. Uh, it did kind of pull back a little bit there, but we're right back at 129, right? So it's kind of stuck to this 129 price. Uh, I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to keep shorting if it's not going to be working, right? So 
I'm just kind of oh. I'm I'm just kind of keeping that in mind. Uh, no worries, Luca. I'm sure at 11.75. Did that end up breaking? Um, did just, that end up breaking 112 there? Uh, it actually didn't break 112. So you know, interestingly enough, uh, you know, maybe this is the top. Who knows? But uh, you know, you're basically just trying to be a top picker there. Uh, and, and basically uh, rolling the dice and trying your luck. Uh, my 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 earpiece isn't uh, connected anymore, guys. So you know if you know just just a heads up on that one. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the one is. One love, um, yeah, uh, one buddy. love. Yeah, sure, guys. Yeah, one, one, buddy. one love for everyone here. And I was like kind of looking at uh, and I was watching the tape back from the other no. day. Um, Lucas sent it to us there, but uh, that oh, day yeah, where we got yeah. the five k likes, uh, that was. Uh, that was sick, man. That was uh, sick to see. Um, we're at 2.4K likes right now, guys. Uh, you know, a measly 2.4K likes. Come on. Like, uh, you know, obviously getting up to 5K the other day, um, that, that was incredible. But, uh, you know, we're only a half that, guys. Come on. We're only a half that. We can definitely... Uh, kind of boost that up uh, a little bit at the very least, right? Let's get the, uh, you know, let's, let's go in steps, guys. Let's get to 3K. Smash the like button. Let's get up to 3K. Uh, and then, you know, we can, then we can start looking towards like the 4K and, and the 5K. Uh, Bears versus Bulls is uh, doing a great job as always, guys. Um, you know, if you guys haven't already, you know, hit the subscribe button. Uh, join as a member. You get some special perks as that. Uh, guys, we have so much content. We're, we have a new channel now as well, right? So, you know, a side channel. So, you know, Trader TV uh, continues to expand. Uh, you know, thanks to you guys, of course, but, uh, you know, we obviously wouldn't be here without you guys. Uh, so thank you for that. But uh, if you can, uh, you know, s smash that like button, show some support uh, on, on your end as well. Uh, we do have some merch. Uh, I'm rocking the, the Trader TV uh, sweater, you know, on, on that one. It, it's, it's pretty comfy. I like it. You know, Luca is always wearing the hat. Um, I got to get me one of those, but uh, yeah, guys, you know, welcome to Trader TV Live. This is what we do. We trade uh, and live stream every day. Uh, 8 30 to 4 wins and losses uh, you know some a lot of losses here on my part uh, but uh, it, it is what it is uh, you know you, you see me on the show absolutely crush it uh, you can't win every single day uh, you know this is one of those losing days yeah you know it's another thing too is like I don't know if this, this this happens to you it's like you have a really good day or you have a really good week and then you like get into like trade and you're like ah I'll like risk even more on this because I'm up yeah, things are good. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't uh, do that. Yeah, no no, that's <laughs> like uh, you got to you got to stick to it, right? So uh Yep, uh, sometimes maybe good, sometimes uh, maybe not so good, guys. Yeah, one love. Uh Kaiser Caesar uh, you say it says something funny here. You either die a top picker or live long enough to become a value investor. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. Like uh, that. Obviously, like you that. know, playing off of uh, what is it like? You either you either you either die here or live long to see yourself become, or live, yeah, live yeah, long yeah. enough to see yourself become the villain. Exactly. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. that's uh, that's a good quote there. I, I really like that one. Um, guys, we're at this vote now. Uh, Fifteen hundred sixty-eight votes. Uh, Tesla will close. Uh, we're at 50-50. I'm taking the L on that. We're, we're at 50-50, interestingly Side enough L. here. Um, uh, you know, above or below 110, it's at 50-50. <laughs> so, you know, what's it going to be, guys? Uh, you know, if you guys haven't already participated in that one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, obviously, you know, Tesla ripping up. Uh, you know, Lucas stopped out of that one. You want to talk about that one? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure you guys hear me under my breath. I'm just like, boo, fat L on that one. I deserve the L. But, uh, yeah, yeah, man, that's real trading. Uh, show me other people that'll do that live for you. Uh, it sucks. That is max pain for myself. But, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe we do go to 120. Like, maybe we actually go to 120. So, yeah, anybody who is shorting Tesla today, I know you feel the pain. I feel the pain, too. Uh, we're now blowing through 112. Uh, the dip buy is good. I thought, like, I didn't want to cover 111, but I had a feeling that if we start to, like, go to the north side, like, I'm not going to take, like, another, like, $1, $2. Uh, Tesla, Tesla's broken, man. It's ripping. Whoever, uh, I can't remember the name, but whoever said they were long 102 from the bottom, uh, you're laughing, and I don't even know where this thing can, can stop. So, you know, I voted we're going to close below 110. We are going straight to the north side. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Where's the market right now? Yeah, the market's kind of flirting with that 3,900. Um, I don't know, man. Things are either robotic. Uh, it's Friday. Things are very, very robotic. My scalping is just not like, it's just not like, I mean, Amazon was sick. Uh, that was like a nice trade over there. I had some decent size on that one. Still kind of holding the Apple trade, but it's very like slow. It probably like gets back. The thing is, is if I try to like bid out of this thing and then it's like it gets to my order, like how am I going to get the fill on that, right? So yeah, you need to prioritize, you need to uh, just kind of keep that in mind there. Uh, what's up, Trader Gorno saying BA short. Uh, yeah, sure, let's have a look at BA. 
Uh, BA short. BA is at uh, two, around 210. Oh, that 210 short looks really good. I don't know why. This is like weird. Like it like goes down, blows through 210. Like at first glance, this is like, oh my God, I got to remove this. Um, at 210, first glance, blows through 210, fails. Blows through it again, fails. One more time, third time's a charm, now finally failing. I don't necessarily want to punch into the short right now. Uh, but, you know, if you're in this short, it kind of like one, two, three, and then now finally, you know, giving you the fade back down. Maybe uh, if I was short this thing, maybe I would look for like 208, 205. But I know you're probably looking for like 206, 205. Uh, so best of luck with that. Punch it. Yeah, punch it. Uh, no, 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 no. There's times that I do, but this one, this one, I'm, I'm just not feeling that one. Um, if you're late to the party, just to uh, just let you know, Trader Gorno, uh, took, taking the fat L on this Tesla short, 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 part fill, and my, you know, being, being dumb, just, just a bonehead, not covering, um, taking the L up here, I probably lost like a dollar more than I should have, but I had like smaller size, so it's like, I, I like, whatever, I live with it. It, it is what it is. Um, that is, uh, it is strong, guys. It is strong. It's going to 113. Uh, the shorts, the shorts are burning. The pain, uh, the pain. Yeah, um, the, the shorts are uh, are really hurting here. Um, I'm probably gonna get stopped out of NIO. Um, yeah, that one's gonna be another L. Um, someone's mentioned ATNF. Um, ATNF LMT is ripping up, guys. It's up 20. percent uh, I was kind of looking at the daily to see if there's any sort of levels. Um, to, to kind of see where this oh, is going to end up. God. But uh, there isn't really other than the seven area, right? Uh, that was, uh, you know, it happened recently. So uh, obviously it, that's still a ways away. But uh, hey, man, we, we've already moved up a couple points today. Uh, so, you know, well, why not? Why, why can't we get there to seven? Um, but uh, yeah, no trades for me on that one. Uh, Parker Moss, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, not sure what ticker you're referring to there. ATR breakout above 200 EMA on weekly, 21 EMA on monthly chart. Um, yeah, guys, obviously, you know, use, use the tools um, to, to add confluence to your trades. Uh, you, you know, you see us have uh, the moving averages on our charts as well. I've been trying to get more used to kind of like using multiple different tools, um, you know, to get, uh, you know, to, to add confluence to my trades and, and come up with different trading ideas. Uh, that's why you'll see me in a, in a few different types of trades uh, that, you, you know, you normally wouldn't see me in. But, uh, yeah, obviously this week uh, has, been, has been tough. Uh, what app are you using? I'm not too sure if you're talking to me or not. Uh, it doesn't make pullback <laughs> today, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, Luca, you need to put your ego aside and stay with the friends. Um, stay with friends. I mean, we're right here right now. Uh, you know, we're with friends. Uh, you know, good memories, good times. Uh, you know, we're, no negativity here. I think it's fine. But uh, wait, what was know, that con? Luca, you need to put ego on the side and stay with trends. Oh, stay with trends. Oh, with oh my friends. god, I, like, I read it wrong. Stay with show, your friends, friends, guys. You know, for, you know, secrets don't make friends. Yeah, no, uh, whatever. You know, stay it's with your friends. Good, I, I, like, um, but uh, yeah, stay with the trends. Obviously, trends is your friend, but uh, you know, today if you didn't have the long early on, uh, then it, it was a tough trade. It was a tough trade to kind of get long. So. Uh, you know, it's uh, you, that's why you saw us kind of shorting the 3900 area. Maybe I should just we should have been hopping into the spy or futures because look at the look at the look at the market now, guys. It's pulling back yeah. uh, from the 3900 area. I think Apple. Uh, it was hanging paying. out around I'm there as well. Um, are you are you still short Apple there? Like I I covered that short. Uh, you know, I I, I was kind of over that trade uh, on Apple, but no, it, it, it does We're look like uh, that one is pulling back. Uh, off of this 128 uh, 40 high, right? So, you know, it, it is pulling back nicely here with the market, uh, but the market is now testing this consolidation area, right? So, are we going to continue to pull back further? Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe I'll check out some Microsoft to see how that's doing. And, you know, I know that I was like a good short uh, a little bit earlier, and that has pulled back off that 120 or that 223 area, right? So, you know, that one's been a good one if you reload that one. Um, but other than that, uh, I haven't really been uh, looking really actively for any trades. So if you guys, you know, have anything, uh, have any ideas, uh, shout it out and, uh, you know, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, guys, um, feel free to remind me not to short Tesla again because uh, I'm just like looking at this. I was like, is this the final stop out and now we go back down? Like, no, no. The trend is your friend. Um, there's definitely better names to short. I'm just kind of like I'm in this uh, uh, Apple short and I'm sort of 10 cents out of the money. I, my average is like around 128. I think if the short's going to be good, though, we could probably get to 127. So uh, this is... Uh, 
because the scalping has like not really worked for me and things are just kind of moving and then floating, I'm going to just like, if we get back below 128, I think I might just hold this for like a 127, like a move back to like VWAP. If this gets back to VWAP, if I can get a dollar of this, then I'll be, uh, I'll be pretty, uh, pretty happy with that one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on new stocks exactly, guys. Like, so let me know. Uh, let me know what you're looking at, what you're trading. I know we covered a few names. ATNF uh, giving you that pop back to the north side. If it's at 680 or seven, guys, let me know. If not, I don't really want to uh, get involved. Somebody saying MMV. That's a new one, so we could have a look here. Oh, MMV is is halted here. But is this one like? Uh, oh man, okay. MMV is halted to the north side. Is this a recent IPO? I think this might be an IPO. I. Uh, oh, this one is kind of. This one's. This is interesting. This is, uh, this already halted. Wow, okay, I might get long, I might, this is like, hmm, okay. Um, MMV, I don't know, Ian, if you're uh, looking at MMV. This one could be like, uh, if it's a recent IPO from yesterday, then blowing to the north side, a SPAC, yeah, sorry, I know it's not an IPO, like I know that, it's like, uh, like SPAC, that's kind of what I meant there. Um, Luca, can you cover Tesla? No, 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 I'm not going back to that one. I'm done. How do I remove this from my blotter? I am so done with this name. I, I'm over it, and that's it. I want a refund on those shares, I want man. a refund. Uh, I want to undo it, guys. Uh, how do I do this? Who do I speak to? If you can hear me right now. Uh, Who do I got to write an angry email to? Yeah. Uh, is it Elon himself to get those shares back? Uh, like, you know. Guys, what, what the... Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's all, all good, man, all good. Uh, please review Neil for all that followed your trade. Uh, sure, I can I can review Neil, guys. I honestly don't like when people are following my. I mean, you guys could do whatever you want. I I hate when people are following my trades. It just becomes an overcrowded trade. Everybody is like being wrong at the same time. If we're all right, everybody's trying to cover. So uh, just understand that if you are following like my trade or Sean's trade or whatever, like keep in mind that. There could be other people following that trade, and then it's an overcrowded trade. It becomes hard. If it's like a winning trade, it's going to be less good. If it's a losing trade, it's going to be worse. So I just feel like, uh, yeah, like I can't stop you guys from trading your own book. Do whatever you want to do. But uh, I'm not a fan of uh, people following my trades, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, maybe i got to find a way around that and be more sneaky with what I'm doing uh, and not really announce. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm getting in here. I'm getting out there. Like, I'm doing everyone a favor, and I'm, I'm kind of screwing myself. But it's all good. Whatever, man. All for fun. Um, so the Neo trade, I was playing off of 10. I didn't want to put a stop because I knew 10 would break. And then as we kind of just broke 10 and held, I was like, okay, hey, like this is like a float kind of day. So like see how like Neo, like it had the move and now it's just kind of like floating. It's not even doing anything. Like guys, there is literally no volume on this thing. So if you get in these names, like you're gonna get, you're, you're gonna get, no, I don't wanna say smoked. That shouldn't, that's, you know, that's not the right term. But uh, you know, if you get in these trades, you're gonna lose money because the bots are gonna kill you. They're just waiting for you to do something. Then they're gonna to react to it and then make you lose because nobody's trading this, man. There's just no volume, there's just no follow through. So yeah, understand when you should be like, you know, in with heavy size, understand when you should not even, not even be trading. Um, I obviously uh, love trading, so you know, I wanna kind of take my uh, stabs at it, but again, this is like not a, it's like I'm so small in the size that it's not even a paper cut, like I don't care. Like you should not have, like at least for me, and you know, you, normally we don't talk about size, but like, I don't think you should have like a thousand shares, two thousand shares here because this doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make any sense to have that. So uh, yeah, and you know, it's exactly digital warfare. This is digital warfare, and when all the humans leave, like, it's just it's Skynet, man. So uh, why why do you think that you're gonna win, man? Why do you think that you're gonna win? Um, that's kind of what I say. I love how the poll, the dynamic in the poll is shifting. Uh, yeah, sure, guys. Hindsight bias. Now, uh, 52 percent or so yeah, above one ten. It's easy to say above one ten now. It's easy to say now, guys. It's easy to switch your vote now. I voted uh, but... this when I was in the short below one ten. So you know, obviously, I did too. I I'm voted wrong. that as soon as that, that came in. I'm sticking with it, man. You gotta stick with your guns. Uh, you know, I'm saying below one ten. I think we kind of you know fade back. I want to short. It's that so being bad. said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that being said, uh, you know, I'm not shorting that one again. That's for sure. Um, you know, took enough L's. I, I am short uh, on Apple. Um, guys, uh, as well, basically giving it one last ditch effort uh, up against this 128.50 area. Uh, I was looking at the SPY too, uh, because I mentioned the Luca. I was like, okay, 
um, you know, we were talking about this 3900 area so much, or at least I was, uh, you know, kind of shorting off of that. Why don't I just short, instead of trying to play these beta names, why don't I just short the SPY or something? Uh, that would have been, uh, you know, obviously a direct uh, play against the market if I wanted to trade the market, right? So I am offering close to 386 to see if we get another, you know, a little bit of a pop and then, you know, fade the rest of the move. Uh, I, I'm liking these uh, these wicks above 3900, right? So um, I'm, I want to switch this to the 15 minute chart here. Uh, so it looks like we are, you know, finding some sort of resistance around this 3900 area. So going off of that one, uh, got to give this one uh, some decent risks, risks though, right? Uh, probably up to this 387 area, right? So we've got to risk uh, a fair amount uh, to high a day on this name. But uh, yeah, trying something different here on the SPY. Uh, if I get uh, if I get triggered into this short, and it does seem that well, I'm offering in the 90s, right? So you know that one's probably going to come to fruition, um, guys. I am still short NIO. Um, I'm basically risking up to this uh, the pre-market high there, 1020, right? So you know uh, I'm you know call it call it hopeful or whatever it is, but. Uh, yeah, I'm risking up to this 1020 area to see what happens with that one. I'm just kind of just holding this one and, and seeing, right? Uh, you know, I, like I said, I was trying different things. Uh, I'm seeing if this one's actually going to work or not. Um, Apple's like basically flat for me. Um, revenge trade Tesla. Uh, we're not going to revenge trade Tesla. You could say whatever oh, you I want, want to. in the chat. Uh, believe me, guys, I, I look at I the chart to, and I kind of want to. But, um, I, uh, yeah, but uh, you know, it, it is yeah, what it exactly. is. Uh, let, let's take a look to, at MMV um, because, do um, it. you know, we're, it's being halted here once again. Uh, so we want to talk about this, right, and how to kind of trade this. Obviously, it's up to 120%. Uh, a lot of volume coming through. Uh, on this name, right? So uh, it's tapping 1246 right now, guys. Uh, so that's yeah, gonna be a crazy. brutal loss uh, if you got long into that name. So this is how you basically trade halts. And I think Sean was, uh, you know, trading halt. He was trying to trade that uh, BBBY uh, almost halted yesterday as well. So essentially, you know, when you get into the halt play, uh, you would get long. Uh, trying to get long right before that halt when you see it halting on the offer, right? Uh, you know, obviously, or on the bid rather, um, you know, it can't take up that's that one penny be higher because that would put it to the halt yeah. price. So that's how it kind of works, right? So, you know, when you get into that long position on the halt, you're basically waiting for it to open and then hopefully it opens back up, right? You know, they tend to do that. They tend to open in the direction that they halted in uh, if the momentum is really kind of pushing it that direction. So that's exactly what happened here. Uh, you know, taking this first halt here, at one or 1229 it opened at 1284 1283 area right so you know obviously you're going to make a cool 50 cents very very quickly like that uh, but now guys it has halted against the upside 1408 is the whole price it's tapping uh 1580 now i'm seeing a tap oh i was reading the tav earlier so it's tapping 1580 right so this looks like it's going to be another winner potentially uh when it opens up uh it looked like it halted at 1224 though so it's probably a 10 minute halt on that name um, Brendan's saying WWE, Benchmark saying WWE worth 105, uh, I'm gonna think that's billion uh, on potential deal, um, right? So that, I think that one was halted earlier as well. Let's take a quick look at that one. Um, load, 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 load. Is it NY there? Uh, WWNY, yeah, so it's back. But it's not halted anymore. But uh, yeah, potential deal on this one, guys. It's up 20%, 21% on the day. Um, you guys know how we love uh, trading our uh, definitive deals, a definitive merger agreements and whatnot. So, you know, this one potentially uh, another one. Guys, I don't. This is probably the wrong idea, but I am I am shorting Tesla through the break of the 50 period. It's uh, it's my last attempt. It's not really a revenge. It is. I'm. I am. I want my money back. That's what I want here. But uh, guys, we bounced once. We bounced twice. If this is a break of the 50 period, like we could go back 110, 109. So that's basically my my bias on that. Uh, revenge trading would have been shorting uh, when it doesn't break trend, in my opinion. So. Yeah, I'm short again, guys. Let's go round two. Give me my money back. Maybe I get it. Maybe I don't. Uh, I think it's a good trade. I think it's a good trade. I'm not like super tilted uh, getting into the trade, and I'm sized. I'm sized accordingly as well. So we're gonna go with that one. I did add to the to the Apple short. It just felt like we were stalling there for a minute. Um, so I added to it, and now my uh, yeah, it's it's kind of getting closer to my average. I'm still out of the money on it. Where am I here? Like down like three cents. So it's like nothing. Uh, Nothing too too crazy there. But yeah, no, we're gonna see uh, if this one wants to actually fail the 50 period. I mean, I think Apple could easily, it depends what the market wants to do, but guys, look at this, look at this setup here. It's like we kind of go up, we get the 3900 test, 
we go back to the downside, we are flatlining. It is 12.30 in the afternoon on a Friday. Like not that much is gonna happen. Who is, are we buying this through 3,900? Are we selling off? Longs probably take their profits. So I don't know, man, but I just do feel like we can actually get a dip there. If we get the dip, I'm pretty good on this Apple position. And if we get to 128, 127.80, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be very, very happy with that. And then, you know, anything 160s and 20s, that'll be a gift on the rest. So I am, I am definitely waiting uh, for like 91s, like 91s, um, 81s for like the first target there. Break of the 50 period. I just hope we don't ride this back to the upside. So we're going to see what happens on that one. And uh, yeah, no, Tesla down up test back down i think i might be in a banger here i might be in a banger you know i i uh yeah give me my money guys if this gets back down to 110 i basically make my money back so uh <laughs> let's go to the downside we'll see what happens with this one uh hopefully you guys banked on the short all the way up this kind of pop on the volume gave me the feel that like this is what i was looking at this is what i was saying i was like is the short now good like this is a violent move up volume came out of nowhere instantly move back down, flatline, break of trend. So yeah, guys, it could go back up and I, I could lose it. I'm not, I'm not holding this one. If, if we go back up, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be done with it. Like one, you know, we break 112 for whatever reason, uh, like stop is gonna be in, I think, uh, like around that level. And uh, you know, like, yeah, I'm not gonna take like another fat L. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see with that. Let me just get the, uh, the stop out to make sure we're good there. Yeah, last time I didn't have the stop, so it was pretty, pretty done there. Uh, don't be a hero. Yeah, exactly. It's like you could be a hero the first time and you lose, and like someone's like, oh, he's gonna get margin called. Like, no, man, I'm, I'm good, man. Like, not even, not even close. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be like. It's like you could be dumb once. You could have bonehead trades once. Like, don't do it again and again and again. Uh, you're just gonna kill yourself, man. So yeah, no, we'll see where this one wants to go. But yeah, enough of this one. Apple working. Amazon uh, back above 85. I like it the first time, but again, this is like holding trend. Very, very strong. The dip buys are good. In this market, the way that the market is right now, I don't do well. Like me personally, I don't do well because it's not doing anything, right? So it's like very tough for day traders to like find areas to like size into. So you gotta be patient. Like it's very tough to buy the dip here because like it's like, I don't know. Like I'm just like, well, VWAP's down here. So I like the mean reversion. Are we gonna fail? I have no idea. I got two shorts on board now. So we're gonna see where these one wants to go. Um, but yeah, I have, uh, I have no idea, man. Uh, Luca, I had to remind you to not short Tesla. Yeah, thank you, Rami. But uh, you know you have to know when to break the rules. I think now it's the break of, this was dumb because I'm playing off the 110 level, I didn't respect it. So like guys, learn from my mistake, right? But now break of trend going to the downside like feels like this could be good, right? And we actually have like a long way to go. Like this could be at 108. And even though I, I wanna cover at 110 to make, to make my money back, I like, I, you know, I might even hold for 107. I might actually get out ahead on this name. That'd be, if I, if I walk out ahead on Tesla guys today, that's like, <laughs> I don't know what to say guys. I don't know what to say. Keep in mind yesterday, I was like, oh, I won 100% I won of my trades on Tesla yesterday. And I was telling Sharif, I was like, this is never gonna happen again. And everyone's like, don't say that. Like it could happen. Like, no guys, today I like made money. Then I lost, then I short, then I lost. Felt the so wrath. it's like today, it's like yesterday I was doing well on Tesla and today it like, it like, it hurt me bad. But now, you know, maybe I get the, uh, the big short round two. Let's go baby to the downside. <laughs> Hit that like button if you're enjoying the show. Uh, I need all the luck I can get. My first cover on this name is gonna be 110. I, I, it's I got to, 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 got to remind myself. So yeah, first cover on that is gonna be 110, but I might be able to walk out ahead if we can go 109, 108. And if we go to 105 for whatever reason, that'd be insane. If we do that, like I'm, I'm walking away with a pretty penny on this Friday. So uh, yeah, please free fall for everybody that wants to channel that to my, uh, to my favor. I'm rolling the dice here. Oh, now all of a sudden, uh, the, uh, the pull is more even. Now as we get closer to 110, maybe people are like, ah, you know, now it's closer to 110. Maybe we're gonna go back down. Uh, I got lots of time, man. What time is it? It's like 1240. How much time until the market closes? I got time on my side. We're good here. Uh, we're gonna see where that one goes, guys. Yeah, keep in mind, throw other names in the, in the chat here. I'm kind of uh, looking around. I'm like, I don't know if like, uh, I see really like a lot of other things that I wanna trade, but what was that other one? MMV, which uh, is probably open now. Uh, yeah, this was, I just wanna revisit this to see. Where did this open? So we got a 1550 open, move to the upside, move back down. The rule that I have with these names, like in these kind of halt trades is 
if it goes up and it halts, and then it goes up and it halts again, like I like it. If it goes up and then, you know, five minutes, it just dances around, spread opens up, I don't really know. So I think it's gonna potentially, yeah, no, that actually looks like destruction. Um, okay, I'm not gonna get involved in this one. If it, what I was thinking is if we actually burst it into another halt, I would look at it and be like, yeah, this thing could be like, uh, this thing could be amazing. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna maybe let that one go. Best of luck to anybody that is trading that one. Um, and somebody, and uh, I know WWE, you were talking about WWE. I just want to pull it up for myself to see. Um, yeah, pretty, I don't know, it's kind of like choppy. I guess like for whatever reason, there was like a buyer at like, at like 88. But uh, yeah, no, and uh, Pratt just saying uh, show his tweet. Um, let me just open this up here. Uh, Pratty Daddy on Twitter, on the ones and twos. I love looking through and seeing him over there. On the ones and twos. I don't know where, oh, there we go. Yeah, and uh, this is what he's saying. WWE, $80 breakout long or failed breakout short if that's set up instead. Expect 76 target, 82 short, 85 short if 82 breaks. I mean, you guys can read, right? So uh, go, to, go to Twitter and read this for yourself or read it right now, and I'll give you guys a second uh, to read that very, very quickly. Um, but yeah, leaving a solid range for scalpers. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of like, uh, I can't discredit this at all, but uh, I just, uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll find, maybe I'll find a way into this. Uh, guys, a couple things here. So, you know, NIO is coming back into my favor. Uh, coming back to this 10 level, I, I made sure to get out and, and cover some of my position, some of that risk, right, just to better my average. So, you know, taking a couple L's on some of these first ads, but I'm still holding a piece to see if, you know, 10 can start to break down uh, with the shorts kind of, you know, starting to work a little bit. The market is starting to fade a little bit here. Uh, I am short uh, the SPY. I'm still short Apple. I'm trying to bid out and get some of my uh, position out on that one. But, uh, I, you know, I don't want to be... Uh, I held this against me far enough, so when it comes back to my price or close enough to my price, let me take off some risk. Let me de-risk on that one and you know count my blessings, so to speak. Uh, so you know, taking some off of there on NIO, my price is a little bit better now. I'm in the money a little bit, right? So you know that one's uh, that one's working a little bit better now for me. Uh, Apple, uh, that one. <laughs> Wow, it didn't tick me there. Well, interesting. Um, yeah, I am bidding 06. Okay, yeah, so it's going to get me there. Come on. You're not going to get me there? Okay, so no, it just go got Apple. me there. Um, you know, so taking a, a small scalp there on Apple, I am sure it's in the 18 area, 19 area, right? So, you know, I want to see that one break down below 128, uh, and then I'm going to be more anxious to get uh, get some more out. Other than that, you know, obviously the SPY trade, uh, basically trading, uh, trading a market move here. Um, I am short to spy around like 385.50 area. Um, essentially, I want to risk this first piece to 386. I talked about waiting to that 386 area to get short, but that never came to fruition. So I want to get in short and participate. Uh, so now we are here uh, risking off of that area and I'll, I'll wait uh, to see kind of what happens here because the market is looking like it wants to fade down a little bit. Uh, this is a 10 minute chart. I was also looking at the 15 minute chart uh, as well. Um, but this one looks like it's, you know, it's moving more towards the downside. Just got to be patient. Just got to be patient. Obviously, uh, you know, midday, it's going to be low volume. Uh, the moves are going to be a bit slower, right? So, you know, be patient with it. Uh, if you're in good positions, uh, try to hold and just, uh, just kind of let them ride, ride, ride them out, right? But, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully now uh, some of these shorts can start, uh, can start paying me. <laughs> you know, I was trying it earlier. It didn't really work. Uh, but now here we are again, uh, you know, a little bit better positions. Uh, had to be patient and wait for that one. Uh, Meta puts printed today. Uh, I think, yeah, off the open, I'm assuming, because uh, obviously Meta made that nice move uh, towards that 129 area, right? But uh, now pulling back, it seems, uh, I want to open up that five minute chart. Uh, because this one just looks a little bit nicer. It's pulling back off of these pre-market consolidation areas, right? So, uh, you know, Meta potentially a good short off of there. Uh, I, these ones always kind of confuse me because obviously it had a nice down move, right? Off these pre-market consolidation areas around 129, makes the up move uh, and, you know, retesting that area. But now it's consolidating around 129, right? So I'm always like kind of hesitant to, to get short uh, again there, just because if it's, you know, if it was gonna work, uh, it should have worked like already, like you are getting some pullbacks around these areas, but you know, that being said, uh, you know, by any means, it's not anything to kind of write home about and, you know, kind of make your week, so to speak, uh, off of one trade kind of thing, right? So, you know, 129 is hanging out around there. 
uh, meta, but uh, yeah, that one's made a nice move. Obviously, you know, if you had those puts in the morning, uh, congratulations, that's a really good trade, uh, and you kind of nailed that one. Uh, come $1 pullback, uh, not too sure what you're talking about there. Um, we do have a super chat uh, once more. Uh, YOLO, YOLO went FOMO. I think that was a different one, a different person that had the super chat. But uh, regardless, thank you so much for the super chat. Microsoft coming close to VWAP. Um, so that has now made the full uh, reversion now to VWAP. Um, wow. You know, off of these 223.40 highs, all the way down to 222. So that one's been a pretty good short. Uh, you know, off of those highs. Um, I guess it. You know, trying to structure this trade, you had to really be patient with it, because it did make a high around 223.20. Uh, broke out and tested up to like the 40 area, right? Uh, and then obviously couldn't reclaim that area. So, you know, I guess shorting off of 223 oh, wasn't a bad idea. On uh, I hesitated cool. on that one. Uh, didn't really get that one. But uh, yeah, here we are. Now it's all the way down to VWAP. Uh, it's been a good one. Uh, are you long now, Microsoft, Luca? Uh, yeah, shout out to whoever said, uh, Yo who was it? Yolo and FOMO. Thank you for the super chat. Microsoft coming close to VWAP. Pulled it up right away. I was like, oh, that's a long. That's a free money long. So I took the long right in front of uh, 222. And giving me the uh, 30, 40 cents, now uh, 30 cents in the money on that one. So pretty, uh, so thank you for that one. That one, uh, that's just a banger. That was like, that was like instant. Like that's, that's what I like to see, man. That's what I like to see. Uh, yeah, Apple, very, very slow. My bids are stacked below, just a heads up below 128 uh, for the fill down there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out there. And uh, I added a little, little bit because I'm like, oh, maybe there's a pop uh, on Tesla. This is like not the same size as this. Like there's like nothing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's now back at my average. So uh, again, stop is in. If we break 112, like I'm out of that trade, I am not uh, going to be silly with it. It's, uh, but I think I'm still going to hold for the 112. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, Nike short had to say it. Yeah, Trader Gorno, I pulled up Nike right away because I was like looking in the chat. I was like, oh, where are you? Like uh, uh, Nike. I don't know if this is like a level. I'm trying to look at the daily. Like, is this even a level? I know you're just saying that, but I'm just wondering like, no, I guess this is a high. No, it's not a high. Sorry. Maybe 120, yeah, maybe actually. I'll pull up the daily for everybody to see this here, guys. It's um, kind of like maybe right here. I don't know. Maybe I'm like convincing myself something that's not there. It kind of bounced over here, then rejected double top. But it is, it is like strong, right? So it's like maybe the, well, it is above 120. I'm going to put on ice. I'm not going to touch Nike. Uh, those 118 levels uh, that we were trading, uh, those were great levels. But now it's kind of, uh, yeah, it just is what it is. I think, uh, yeah, so uh, Microsoft Long is working. I'm going to take like a little bit more out of this one as well. Um, <clears throat> just kind of scaling out, guys. Uh, looking really good for the pop there. You know, it kind of bounced over here, then finally failed. So it probably runs into short-term resistance at the 50 cent mark. That's kind of why I'm, uh, you know, that was my target. So I'm just kind of paying myself as it goes to the north side and, uh, and going with that one there. So... Uh, yeah, and this, and this Tesla one is just like, uh, come on, go down, Tesla. Gave my money back. MMV halted again. MMV halted again at, uh, oh, is this a down halt? I have no idea there. Um, t just looking at the chat here, uh, MEGL. I saw this in play uh, a little bit uh, in the morning. It was like one of the trending tickers there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't really look too much into it. I don't really trade these ones too much, but uh, obviously up 35% uh, today. Um, wow, tested 350 uh, on this thing. So, you know, great move on that one. Um, but got to, well, what just happened there? Uh, did I do that? Okay. Um, yeah, look at this consolidation breakout off this 270 area, right? So I'm not too sure, like, you know, I haven't really traded these ones. I know uh, Sharif is more into, like, small caps and whatnot and, and trading them, but uh, I tend to stay away from these names. But, yeah, what a breakout of the consolidation all the way up to 340, up, four, uh, up almost 35% on the day. Um, Tesla 115 is a 61.8% retracement of the recent low. Um, yeah, obviously Tesla's been getting beat down quite a bit. Um, who would have thought that you know 113 was the play? What's what's your uh, price there? 111.58, right? So yeah, I guess kind of shorting now. through. Um, uh, the, I, kinda wanna, I guess the break of that 50 period area, right? So, like that was but it's now it's like kind of reclaiming that area, right? So this is man, yeah, go for it. This is why. No, well, did you make a good point? And I just want to say this in real time. This is why. When you like lose on a symbol and it like frustrates you, if you short it again, like old Luca, old Luca would have covered some of this move. New Luca tilted from this move is like, no, no, I'm going for at least down over here. So yeah, guys, you know it's uh, it's uh, you're watching this re and you're watching this live, 
And um, it's, uh, it's an experience for myself, that's for sure. But yeah, no, learn from my mistakes. Uh, why not? Why not let me make the mistakes and then you guys learn from me and, uh, and save? Yeah, somebody's saying, I told you, man, cover 11036. Uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. If this Apple trade works out, I'll be, I'll, I'll be pretty, pretty happy about that one. It's just like very, very, very slow. Uh, where is BA? Was that like, was that the right move to punch into that? Sure. I guess, I guess it's like kind of slow. This is the thing, man. When I see these kind of patterns, very, very slow, not really doing anything. I, uh, I just don't even want to be in trades right now. I just want to kind of be like, uh, relaxed, uh, chilling, like it's Friday, keeping it stress free. Uh, YOLO and FOMO, thank you again for the super chat. Uh, Meta short above 129. Yeah, that's actually, I think I was short that before with that in mind. So let's pull up Meta again. I think I want to jump back into the short. It's, uh, yeah, we are below, but let me take like a little bit less size here. Hopefully I get that fill. Why every time I pull this up, it just runs away from where I want to short it. That's so frustrating. Okay, give me 94s. Okay, 93s, I'll take that. I'm going to scale into this. This is better above 129. I do, this is what I was seeing before. Like it's kind of like very, very slow, like slow. This is pre-market high, you know, it popped over here. I'm using the, the 130 level. Like, I don't think it's gonna explode to 130. Obviously, unless there's like some type of news and, and then yes, I will get my face ripped off uh, once again, but uh, it's all good, man. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting. If this can go higher above 129, then it feels like the money fills are like closer to like 06, 07. Uh, if I don't get the, uh, the full trade on board, then, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes it'd be like that, all good. Uh, MMV, another downside halt uh, at uh, 12.49. So I'm assuming it'll be a five minute halt to start. So yeah, just keep that on your radar. And uh, somebody's saying Street Sense, uh, pretty cool name there. Uh, love you guys, but where's Pratt? Pratt is on the ones and twos uh, back over there doing the do's, guys. Just to say, you know, the show, so much more goes into the show than like me sitting here and like saying ABC or like Sean and Neil. Like, like the show is like, a, it's a whole uh, production. It's a whole thing, right? So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the show. It's, uh, it's definitely fun to be a part of. I know a lot of you guys like the show, uh, whether you kind of laugh at me for my losing trades or, you know, in the winning trades, in the good, in the bad. Life is good. Life sucks sometimes. But uh, you just got to kind of, uh, uh, for myself, it's like keep a positive mindset. I mean, I'm having a great time, right? It, it, uh, until I really do get my face ripped off, then I'm like, ah, oh, darn it. But yeah, man, so much more uh, goes into the show than you guys think, right? We reinvest all the money, all the super chats back into the show to provide more entertainment value for all you guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, you are enjoying and all we say is just hit the like button if you are, right? I say it every time, if you are liking the show, hit the like button. We had the 5,000 uh, uh, like challenge for Neil to eat the chip. And I know everybody is wondering, you know, where is the chip? I'm wondering too, I'm like, where is this chip? Uh, but yeah, there's no like kind of delivery status on it. So hopefully it comes through and you guys will be the first to know when it comes in because I'm going to look over and Neil's going to have like a very, very kind of upset face there. I posted the little clip on my Instagram if you guys want to go follow it. Uh, my Instagram is the Italian trader. Uh, you can Google it. I think there's like some fakes out there. I don't know how to like uh, on a Italian trader Instagram. I'll maybe show it for you guys um, here very, very quickly. And uh, it's just the main one, right? This is, uh, this is my Instagram right here. Uh, if you guys want to follow, I only have 975 followers. So there's the fakes out there with like 5,000 followers. Like, guys, that's not me. I'm not, I'm not that well liked. So uh, yeah, it is 900, <laughs> 975 followers. Scalp Demon, memories over money, that's for sure. And uh, Spro Life, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe, you know, the Gattuso mean. And uh, right here, you can click this and it'll show you guys. I guess I got to log in, so that's not going to work. But it'll show you guys uh, the, the quick snippet there. I posted it yesterday. Uh, man, it was so funny. And, and like watching that back and seeing Neil's face, I was dying. I'm like, oh my God. But yeah, now Sean's doing it. Katrine's going to do it. Fahad said he's going to do it and not show a face at all. I don't believe it. I can't wait to see it, guys. Hopefully the chip comes in. If not, then obviously next week, uh, uh, you know, like it's, it's just a name. I mean, Amazon, right? Should I just be shorting Amazon because of that? Like Amazon, if you're listening to this, uh, hurry up with that chip because people, <laughs> the people demand the chip. And uh, so do I. I want to see it too there. So uh, I'm looking quickly at Apple just to update all my positions. I think I'm getting some fills here. This is like, this is the worst feeling in the world, man. I get the fill. Okay, sick. I get the part fill. Like, ah, oh, just fill me. Fill me on the way down. It's so frustrating. And this is a product of low volume environment, guys. So you're watching it. You're seeing me get part fills. Um, that is not good. That is not That's good. Size like way down. That's the worst. Yeah, right? size like, way down. You're just like sitting there on the book. You see your order and it's like, it's not filling you. Um, I did get my full fill there on Apple. I think I got like 93s or something like that. 
Um, so, you know, taking some profits there out on Apple. So, you know, Apple up on the day, uh, can't complain. Uh, I did add to, and I own, I actually wanted to specifically talk about this trade uh, and kind of like my process in it because, you know, you saw me getting short pretty early on on this name. Uh, and then, you know, I was holding it against me quite a bit, came back down to, you know, close enough to my price around this 10 level. I made sure to get a decent amount out uh, just to cover some risk. Ended up taking like a small loss on that. But what that does for me is it gives me options, right? So it gives me options. Next time it comes back up to this price, if it was, if it is going to be the high, uh, you know, it gives me options to kind of add to that one. Uh, and you know, kind of restructure the trade off of this high now. Uh, you know, 10.17 obviously off that 10.20 area, but uh, you know, now my price is a little bit better. 10.08, uh, still sitting out of the money on that one, but uh, you know, it is looking okay uh, because we're still looking. I'm still looking at these uh, pre-market consolidation areas, and it still hasn't really broken out uh, past there, right? So, you know, it just gives me options uh, that I cover my risk. I was a little bit more disciplined on that one. Uh, to uh, to cover some of my shares, uh, so now I can kind of get a better price and uh, you know trade that one a little bit better. Um, I am still short uh, the spy. That one's basically doing nothing. You know, I'm watching I'm watching the ES here, uh, and you know it's slowly trying to I guess trickle down off of this 3900 area. But uh, you know we'll see. Time will tell. Obviously, uh, we're up one and a half percent on the day. We've we've retraced the entire range essentially, uh, guys. You know the whole range uh, of the ES. Uh, maybe maybe I'll look it up uh maybe i'll do this on the daily uh just so we can see i hope uh, this works here but uh, basically the range uh for since december 19th has been 3920 uh 3800 right so you know if you guys weren't uh, aware of what i was talking about earlier uh that's exactly the range that uh you know the market has been trading in so you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If, if, it, if it's worked so many times already, uh, you know, why not once more again today, uh, so to speak, right? So, you know, some, so now it's kind of starting to pull back a little bit more uh, and my spy trade is uh, going a little bit more deeper in the money for me, right? So just being patient with that one, I wanna see uh, if I can hold it, uh, you know, and try to cover around this 3870 area, potentially that's just where these peaks were, right? So gonna try and hold that one. Uh, for a bigger move and uh, you know we'll kind of see where this market goes uh, Apple now 40 cents in the money spy 40 cents in the money uh, and I owe about uh, six cents out of the money on that one right so you know a couple things working for me here I was oh, looking yeah. at that meta back. let's go uh, as well um, I was trying to <laughs> offer out 129 it just never really came uh, but that one seems like it was a good short uh, eventually off of that 129 area we talked about that a lot I think some people had it uh, you know in the chat as well so you know good on you guys to have that one uh, MLEC halted again. Uh, let's take a quick look at that one. I'm going to assume that it is um, NQ. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, halted once more here. Wow, look at these names. Like, it just keeps halting. Uh, guys, volume Microsoft 108 bangers, man. K on the day, guys. Like, uh, that's Give not going to be money. something that's going to interest me. Give me that going to stay away from that one. Um, you know, there's a, there's already a lack of liquidity and lack of volume in the market. Uh, regardless, now you want me to trade something that's only doing 100K uh, on the day? Yeah, no thanks. Um, ATNF, I see that one being mentioned in the chat as well. Uh, that one's go, not really Microsoft. doing too much after, you know, oh, we talked about it last. Uh, still hanging around that six area. Uh, I think Luca's on to uh, onto something here. Uh, I reloaded this Microsoft. I was like, I'm getting super long right now because Microsoft is Microsoft and it's flat and it's at VWAP and it's showing that it wants to bounce. It worked the first time. I'm like, it's going to work the second time, I think. And for whatever reason, it is bouncing off 95, 95. And then you know the rules. It's like, it will not give you the sharp up move until it actually breaks the level, does the volume. I mean, obviously, large cap, Microsoft, middle of the day. I do understand it's not really exactly how I'm explaining it. But it does, it does the sharp up move after the little break, VWAP bounce. VWAP buyers are there or algos are doing something. Uh, these are bangers, man. So, you know, the first time was kind of light on it. And second time, like, I had a little bit more there. So pretty happy with that one. Uh, very, very nice, man. Very, very nice. I'm finally getting the fills down here on Apple. Pretty happy with these covers. Um, you know, these, this is, I was pretty, pretty good on that position. So, yeah, I'm actually, like, uh, uh, getting paid. My next target, if I can hold for that, is 127.60-ish. 
And the reason I say that is because this is where it was before. Then we had the up move. Now we're getting the move back down. I think maybe we stall at 61, like, like in this range. So let me draw the, the kind of line for everybody to see here. It's like this is the top of it. This is the bottom of it. So like I want to cover like some at the top area. And then if we get in, I'm like the middle and the bottom. Um, and then, I don't know, man, do we get to 126? Like, I, I probably won't even hold for that. So uh, this is looking pretty good. So uh, yeah, still have a decent sized position on for Apple. Hopefully that works for me. Tesla, I added some because now it's doing like, this is what I thought before. I'm like, hey, it's going to reject. Stops everybody out, up, down, sideways, down. Now not going back above 112. So I think, yeah, the 112 stop is good. And if Algos, if you're watching this, don't go and stop me out just because I said that. That's not fair. You're not allowed to listen to words. You're only allowed to react to order flow. Uh, you know, don't be, don't be cheating on this. Uh, so yeah, if this one starts to work, goes back through 111, breaks that 110, then uh, the banger in full effect. Break of trend. I should have waited for that to really like get like this is like a dumb ad. Like I added and then just boom to the upside. Like what am I doing? But now really, really good. Kind of adding to it, waiting for the move back down. Uh, cover first cover 110, second cover 109, and then going for like 108. I like the short way better on that one. Microsoft just is a banger. Like, let's go. I don't know if this is going to give another chance, but if we do get back to one, 122, or sorry, 222, I'm going to buy again, but I'm going to buy less because like this was good. Second time was great. Third time, I, I, I don't know. Like, it shouldn't get back there. This should now keep going to the north side. So, yeah, I'm just kind of selling it as it's like just like randomly. Uh, like kind of scaling myself out at random prices. I'm not really sitting on the book because I seem to just continue to get part fills. So I am punching in to, uh, uh, on these pops. But yeah, if we can get to like 60s and 80s, that'd be great. But keep in mind, this is the level that I identified before. Um, so this is why I'm kind of scaling out into this level. If we get back above, then we probably go, go to 223. Uh, so yeah, if we do get back above, maybe I'll try to hold for like 80s and 23 there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to hold the last piece there um, for the little bit of a win. I didn't get the reload on, on Meta, which my order is out there. So yeah, it's weird that I didn't get the, or no, I think I was at 06. Um, it's not really like it's, it's good. I'm in the money on it, but I don't know if like where we're going to go here. Maybe I should be covering 60s. I'm not going to cover now because we're back up. And I, stu I, I still do like the short if we pop above 29, just because it's just spending so much time here. So like this is kind of like the range that I have. Um, so I want to short here and then cover here. So yeah, I'm gonna put a bid out actually to cover that. If we do flush like 66s, I'll try to like cover that over there. And uh, yeah, just kind of nursing these positions. I want to keep adding to the Tesla short, but I probably won't. I probably shouldn't. Um, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, M, M Trader 69. Hi Ian and Luca. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, brother or sister. Not sure who you are, but uh, hopefully you're enjoying the show and uh, we appreciate the likes that come through. I'll say that every single time. And uh, man, I, I, I was, uh, you're late to the party, so I'll just give you a, a quick, uh, I don't know if you're watching, but yeah, not good on Tesla, now looking okay. Things are always good though, man. You gotta be positive, gotta enjoy the day. This is an example of revenge trading. Yeah, 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 maybe, yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, you know, so we'll, we'll see what happens there. And uh, yeah, uh, CB got games. If you're there, Pratty, uh, I'm not sure if he's sitting there right now. No, maybe he just went for like lunch or something. I'll let him know that, uh, I know I see the kind comments coming through, and uh, I'm always like telling them like, yeah, Pratt. like somebody was like Pratt over Luca. And I was like, yo, Pratt, look at this. Like, I'm like, it's always, we're always kind of back and forth. We're obviously good friends. So, you know, like always, uh, always a fun relationship there. Uh, 10,000 lots sitting at 128.97 on Meta, or sorry, 10,000 shares, I should say. Um, you know, not crazy size, but like uh, notable there in comparison to the rest of the book. I kind of like that short there. So uh, yeah, whoever is, uh, whoever's taking that short, uh, best of luck for, to you. It's probably, it's probably a robot that doesn't even uh, listen to anything. Um, Bobby B, how about Kala? We did talk about it before. Kala is like dead. That's the thing. Like you want to buy these things when they go up and you want to sell them. Like this is the nice move. Like the up move was sick. You could have shorted here if that's your thing and then you kind of fade it back down. But uh, you know, like even this, like holding trend, holding the 50 period, goes up, tests it, bounce, breaks it, like you should be out of the trade. And I was in this trade, and I don't even know why the fills are not coming up here, but I was in this trade, and then my out was like 49, like, because I remember there was like a buyer at like 49.90, and I was out at like 89, and then I was out, <clears throat> out the rest at like 48. So like, I had the win, I scaled out, and then I sold, I should have been out over here, like I should have, but like, I'm just like, I'm holding for the dream. Um, I want to make like, you know, I, I wanted to get a Ferrari, but uh, yeah, no, the most I have right now is a Ferrari jacket here. So gonna have to just <laughs> roll with the jacket for now, 
put the Ferrari on ice. And if some of these positions go, I mean, these are large caps, so yeah, they're not going to buy me a Ferrari today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, if there's anything else that is moving the way Cala moved or HKD yesterday, please let me know because I, uh, I, I still, you know, I would love to get that Ferrari sometime soon. <laughs> Uh, I want to address one question here. I think it was Kevin uh, who said it, uh, asking me to look at ATNF again. Um, 580 potential dip spot. Um, okay, so you know it had this big sell here, right here, uh, and that was at basically 101, right? It did hold up this 580 area. Could have been a quick scalp, uh, and you would have got like 20 cents. Obviously, 20 cents on a six dollar stock. That's amazing. It did kind of retrace the move though, and then break new lows, right? So, you know, I'm not looking to buy that one again uh, around this 580 area. Looking at the five minute chart, uh, there is demand areas, right? Like there's demand areas around like basically 10 cent increments, 550, 560, 570, right? Uh, but I haven't really seen that evidence around 580 just quite yet. And we're kind of like in this channel, right? So, you know, potentially, I guess, potential for another breakout to the upside, but you know, this can also break down, right? So, you know, gotta be careful with that one we are kind of testing the lower end of this channel now so you know gotta wait to see how it reacts around BWAP I think uh, and be patient with that one uh, for me I'm pretty loaded on my position so just probably gonna stay away from that one um, nobody wants to st steal my 07 Kia Rio uh, I always have a joke about that one like if you have like a really old car or something like that like uh, it's sometimes it's better off just being stolen just so you can claim some insurance and uh, you know get, uh, get get a new one and whatnot but uh, why check out Costco um, Costco let's take a quick look at Costco Costco is like one of those stocks that's, uh, you know, that's a, like, it's always been a value buy. It's been a great stock, obviously. Is it really up 7% today? Um, oh man, the, the, the charts are just kind of messed up here. Uh, yeah, 7% today on the day. Wow. Um, does Costco have a catalyst today? I'm, I'm not too sure. Let me actually just look it up. Uh, but as I was kind of trying to say, like Costco is a great value buy. Um, they also pay a dividend as well, right? So it's like whenever Costco kind of dips, uh, you got to expect that there's going to be some Let's dip go, buyers. Microsoft. Um, I'm just looking up here to see why it kind of jumped today or had this big move up. Um, okay, this is above 2% higher. Uh, I guess the release of December sales data, okay, so that was very, very positive, uh, up 7% year over year, right? So, you know, Costco continues to be a great company, uh, you know, a making a great fill? move today. Um, let's see if there was like kind of like a trade involved here, just looking at the, at the five minute. Um, what was this? Right at 9.30, wow, so that breakout. Uh, and it just ripped up uh, 20 dollars, uh, 20 points there for Costco, right? So huge move. Probably gonna stay away from it now because the move is done. But uh, yeah, if you guys caught that one, or if you're already long, if you're an investor in Costco, congratulations! It's been a good day for you guys. Guys, this Microsoft is an absolute bet. Who did? Who sent the super chat? Who was that? Um, I think uh, it was uh, Yolo. Yolo no, with, the, with the FOMO or something. Yeah, right? Yolo no FOMO. Or Yolo something no like that. FOMO. Like. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say to that. That what a banger, man! That was amazing. Scalped it out, scalped it out, good size. Now going to 223. The year is 2023. The price is 223, and I couldn't be happier on this one. Thank you so much for that call out. Absolutely, absolute banger there. Um, yeah, let me just let me just take some more out of this one. Um, yeah, okay, that's uh, I, I definitely can't complain. I'm holding the last piece for um, the the 223 test. If it doesn't happen and it goes back down, it's, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, okay, I got the meta fill on the rest of that position that I was sitting on. Why is it like skyrocketing here though? Maybe because somebody was shorting 10,000 shares and then it fills and then it like rips up. Um, a lot of the times what these bots try to do is if they see a big order and like liquidity is low and volume is low, they'll like decide how to fill the order, then they fill the order, then they like rip it against the order and try to hold it there to see, can I, like is this a day trade? Can I push this person off this size? Like if this is like a swing trade or if this is like a guy, somebody who's like even selling, then it's like it's irrelevant, right? But they are machine learning algorithms that try to figure this stuff out in real time. And so that is a product of like you see size on the book, it, it, it slowly fills, it fills, and then it just like goes against it. Um, you know, maybe people were front running the size and then put a stop above. That could be the reason for the pop. Maybe again, what I was saying, the algos are trying to like see can they push this like size can they push, like, and I think it was at 97s, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. And then 29s, you know, the stops are there. Um, that's kind of why I use this level, just because this is not something that I'm really, like, panicked about. I'm kind of happy that I actually got the fill on this one. So, yeah, my average is 103, or sorry, 129.03 on that one. I think it's going to be good. Um, so, yeah, pretty, pretty happy. 
Tesla is, uh, yeah, still not stopping me out. So, I mean, uh, pretty, pretty good on that one. And Apple, eh, you know, this one is, I, I took some out over here, so I'm pretty happy. I'm going to hold it, but I wanted to really see continuation of the down move. If we're just going to, like, sideways channel, then, like, whatever, it is what it is. It's not doing enough volume for me to, like, continue to justify, like, the heavy scalps the way that I, that I did other times. Um, you know, that 130 level was great because 130 was, like, a better level. Today, it's already been at 128. I don't like the level as much. So I'm just trying to be patient with what I have on it as opposed to continuously recycling and battling, like, because I just feel like these part fills are going to be a pain in my you-know-what. So, uh, yeah, might as well just kind of, like, uh, you know, know when to step away on that. Um, somebody, I know Ian was talking about LMT before. People in the chat are talking about it. People are saying, like, what is going on? Is the war over? Like, what is happening? Why is this going down? I mean, consider this, right? It's like we were... Yesterday, when you know Putin announced ceasefire for the holiday, uh, Orthodox holiday, that's why Sharif's off today. Um, we were at you know 476, right? We gapped up today, and then off the open, we just fell. But we didn't like this is a big move down. But again, we still are like in the kind of range that it's been in. So I'm gonna pull up the daily for everybody to see. Like, look at this, right? Like, it's it's like very choppy. This is the bottom of the range. This is the top of the range. So it's not really selling off. Like, I would say like a big move down would be like. To like 420 like reversing like that whole up move from like october right so yeah just keep that in mind maybe it's just like a kind of sell you know sell off because you know the uh, ceasefire for today and then all of a sudden it's like well who knows what happens next week like obviously it's a it's a whole sad situation there i'm not really concerned about the geopolitical but just more so like the technicals here i just i'm not gonna have a trade on it but i just do think that um it's not like it looks it looks crazy when you look at it like this but then it's like, it's like, oh, but it's just back at like the bottom area. Like 470 is like holding. Like it's not really selling off through 470. So only down 1.3%. Um, I'm not going to trade this. It's, uh, I, I, don't, I stay away from like LMT, Raytheon and stuff. Um, you know, the volume is just a little lower. The, uh, the spread is just kind of like higher there. So yeah, I don't really get, uh, I don't really get uh, too concerned with that one. Uh, I have no stop set in play on Apple right now. I just don't think we're actually going to run to 129, but we, if the short is good, like we should not make a high a day, right? We should not. But I'm going to be discretionary, no stop on that one, uh, just kind of chilling with my positions. Everything in the money now, so things are, uh, you know, started off a little bit, a little bit bad, but uh, here we are. Things are kind of uh, good here, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll just get, you know what, I'm going to get out of the rest of Microsoft here. If we do get back down to, to 222, I'm going to try it again because uh, it's working for me. So maybe that VWAP buyer is just in full effect all day. And then, and then if I can get that third time's a charm, then rip to the north side going into the close. I think I like that idea. So we'll see what happens there. Meta now back below 129 and, uh, and quick fail there. So let me just, uh, yeah, let me like cover some of this um, as it kind of works for me. Uh, best cover for myself will probably be uh, 128.66 if I can get that fill. Um, but yeah, man, you guys know me. I'll probably just continue to like scale out. I just feel like, you know, that feels like where like the bottom is uh, based on this area here. Like, look, if I draw that line 66, it's like it touched it, it touched it, it touched it, right? So it probably gets there again. And that seems to be like the 50 period, uh, give or take. I don't know why this is like down. Maybe it's like here, like give or take. So yeah, I'll pay myself as it works. But hopefully I get the final fill with uh, the majority of that at the 66 level. Uh, that would be great. And uh, Luca, what do you think of Amazon short now? I mean, where's the chip? Short this thing to the ground. Like, are we, uh, are we, do we have a status update? I kneel with a little smirk the over chip? there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you don't think it's going to come. Uh, no. you know, the, the, the delivery says no. like 10 p.m. So usually when it says something like that, it's, it's just probably no. just not going to arrive. Um, real quick, guys, yeah. on LMT, um, there was uh, news on it, right? So $75 billion defense cut, right? So that was about mm. an hour ago. So that's why you're having this big, huge down move on LMT. So just kind of beware. Uh, on that one there. Um, man, the market is making a little bit of a push up here, uh, and it does look like I'm going to get stopped out uh, on this SPY position. Uh, and I'm gonna have to reassess it and see on that one. Uh, I did just kind of stop out on Apple. Uh, I moved my stop up to my break even price uh, just because, okay, I was in this yeah, trade just, like, quite a long out. time. I was already short SPY, so I'm like, okay, I'm already in a couple beta plays here. Let me just cut off one. I had a few shares left there on Apple, so I was like, 
okay, I've taken some profits on it. Let me just move my stop to break even just to make sure that I don't lose on the last little piece there. So that's exactly what happened. Uh, good, good out because it went up all the way to 128.30, right? I'm probably done shorting that name for now. Um, wow, NIO just bounced right off my uh, bid uh, there at 1010. That's pretty frustrating. I saw basically a big offer kind of following it down all the way. Uh, it popped up at 1015, 1014, 1013, followed all the way down to 1011. Uh, and then I started bidding at 1010 to, to kind of, you know, uh, take some of that position off and uh, yeah, bounce right off, didn't feel me. Uh, on that one and now we're right back up at 10.13 again. So, you know, that one's been a tough trade for me um, on, on, on NIO there. The long off 9.50 uh, was, was sick, man. The long off 9.50 was sick. Uh, kind of obviously this is a sympathy play uh, with Tesla, right? Tesla made that huge move up. Uh, so, you know, you could have had that long uh, with NIO as well, retracing a lot of that move up. But uh, wow, here we are uh, trying to catch anymore. the top, I guess, uh, you know, top end of that range, shorting against the pre-market consolidation areas. Uh, so still structured trade, but uh, yeah, hasn't really been working that well for me. Um, another super chat here, uh, YOLO One FOMO. That was the guy, YOLO One FOMO. Yeah, I, saw, um, I, I punched in right away as soon as he sent two, that. Two, two bucks like, You're there. right on Short Microsoft. Netflix. Uh, yeah, now he's talking about Netflix. So I, let's I'm, take a I'm, quick sure, look I'm sure Netflix. You're sure I, Netflix, I literally dude? saw the super chat come through and I was like, you literally gave me a banger on Microsoft. I'm punching in Netflix right away. Like, yeah, I see that too. Like that little bit of a double top there. Uh, so hopefully this one works. I'm lighter on this position because I don't like trading the, uh, like the Netflix, like the $300, $400 stocks. I just don't like trading them. So uh, yeah, I am lighter on this position, but I am still in the position. And I think, uh, I think we're good. I mean, hopefully I'm good. Like we'll see where this one goes. Uh, I'm following you blindly on this one. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much for Microsoft. We'll see if this one wants to work as well. Meta now back up. So glad that I got the cover there, but still being patient. I am now in the mood to like, you know, if, if this, if, if we go like, you know, the market's moving up, right? The market is moving up. It kind of dipped and now going back to the upside. I want to get out of these shorts. I'm still in the money on Apple and it's not really going up. You know what? Yeah, no, I talked myself into this. Let me just uh, get some more out of Apple over here. Like I'm already like my average is like 35s now. So I am like in the money and I made the money down here. I just don't want this to rip my face off. So I'm going to, I lighten up on the position um, with that fill there, which is okay. But now, now if it does go up and I do take the L at let's say like 2860s for whatever reason, it's, uh, it, it'll be whatever. Like it'll be like a way smaller L. So I kind of like that. I just talked myself into that one. And uh, yeah, no, Tesla is slow to fail. But eventually, man, eventually this is going to fill me at 110 there. Just make sure like I got my bid out at 110 area. Um, that, is, that is the move, man. That is the move on that one. Pretty satisfied. Yeah, this market just needs to go down for the shorts to work, obviously. And I only have shorts on board. I'm not buying any, any dips like up here. That's the problem. Like it's so hard to justify. For anybody that's new to trading, it is so hard to justify. And let me remove the fills just for everybody to kind of see this clearly. You know, this is what I saw before. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, like this is like the level, it's up here, that's why I wanna short it. So then I was shorting it. It's so hard to buy the dip here because I think it's going to VWAP. I think we're gonna go back down. I did not think that we would just like float up and then like continue to go higher. So that's why I don't have any longs on board because I come on and I'm, I'm obviously a scalper. My scalps are not working today. And I'm just looking at this thing and I'm just like, well, I don't know, man. It's like, I'm not gonna buy the dip because I think we're gonna break and go back down. So. That's kind of why like it's like, you know, some days are going to be tough when it is like that. And I'm kind of playing the mean reversion because I don't necessarily believe that there's going to be the volume and the follow through, especially on a Friday. Um, so that's kind of the that's kind of the, the reason as to why it is the way that it is. Um, but, you know, I, I live with the results. It's all good, man. And I know Havana uh, Havana was saying, Luca, are you going to have some serious brag rights if Tesla continues? Yeah, got, like I, I was saying this before and, and, you know, not to, I hate to like tooting my own horn. That's not, I don't want to do that. But I'm just like, guys, if I like, if I make money on Tesla, like that's like that, I don't know what to say. That's insane. That'll be insane. So uh, yeah, man, pray for me on that one. Uh, 109.50 bottom. Yeah, maybe that's, uh, we'll see how, if it gets there. I think 110 for sure. And then, and then I'm just kind of questionable. I'm questionable after that one. Um, I was also seeing another comment in the chat here. What was, oh, in regards to the chip. Yeah, like if it doesn't, so, you know, if it doesn't come today and I wanted to short Amazon right away because it's like, I'm like, well, Amazon, you know what? You deserve this. Now I'm shorting you, but no, no, it's, uh, it's strong. Um, but yeah, if the chip doesn't come in today, then uh, all good, man. Tune in next week because that chip is coming and I'm holding Neil to his word. And it's funny, I was talking the, the other day. 
Yeah, like exactly. It's like we're like we're they're doing it. There's there's no question about it. Um, but you know, I was talking to Neil the other day, and he's like, you know, the challenge. You have to not drink water for like a minute. He's like, I can do it, no problem. I'm like, I'm like, you better have milk. He's like, I'm not getting no milk, none of that. I'm, I, it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny. I can't wait to see it. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I told all my friends and family. I was like, you guys gotta tune into this one. If you like. Yeah, they were, I, yeah, I was telling my fam, they're dying. They're like, is he sure? Like, does he know how hot this chip could be? And then I was like, uh, I was literally saying, and, and I was like saying how like Fahad is like, yeah, I'm going to eat this and like not make a face. Like, uh, there's no, I don't know, man. Sha Shaq did it. And he was like, I can eat this. It'll be fine. No problem. And then he was like, uh, yeah, he was uh, in a little bit of a pain yeah, there. If, if Shaq did it, uh, Neil can do it. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> no I one. definitely cannot. Somebody in the chat was like, yeah, Luca, you do it too. We'll be like, no, 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 I, I'm going to be, I'll die. I'll die. Uh, guys, MMMV is halting all over the place. So, you know, we talked about the halts earlier. Usually it's good to take like the first or second, maybe third halt. You're pushing it in, in either direction. Right, but uh, yeah, this one continues to halt all over the place, and they're just continually, uh, you know, going back down uh, to the downside. So just kind of be wary uh, of that one. Uh, pins, 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 and why? Let's take a quick look at pins um, to see how this one has, because uh, I see it being mentioned here in the chat. Um, okay, I guess all the charges is doing that. Let's look at the five minute actually. Um, so this one's kind of topping out now. It's up 2% on day around this 24 area. Is this an area of, okay, so we're basically in the middle of this zone here. So I'm not too sure why you're mentioning pins in the chat. Maybe, you know, there's a catalyst or something, you know, put it in uh, in the chat if you uh, if you do have that. But uh, I'm not really seeing any specific reason to, uh, to, to trade it here. Um, on, on that sense, the market, guys, is uh, is is diddling around this top here, 3,890, 3,900. Um, you know, I'm in the short, uh, basically on the spy. Uh, you know, on on the market, and it's not really doing anything. Uh, I added a little bit more to it there uh, as we were creeping back up. Excuse me, to this 3,895 area, but uh, yeah, it's not really doing too much. Just being patient with it. And just kind of seeing where it goes. Uh, I'm in that NIO short as well. Yeah, I've been talking about that one a lot. Uh, going short AMD. Let's take a quick look at AMD. Um, okay, so you're basically trying to pick a top here. Uh, are we close to any sort of resistance area? Maybe the 63 area. I, was that working the other day? I guess it's like the bottom of the range uh, yesterday. Uh, but I guess you got more so away for the 60. Wow, you got more so wait for like 65, right? So just kind of be careful with that when you're essentially trying to pick a top. AMD is breaking out here. It's testing new highs, right? So, you know, 6270 uh, here for AMD. Well, I guess it's testing this consolidation area, 63. Okay, so I didn't see that there. Um, I guess one of those zoom out, but uh, you got to give it, I guess, essentially to 6320, right? Uh, to, the, to the top side, right? But that's a potential Ooh. trade idea there. I don't mind that at all, uh, but I just want to be patient and wait for this one to come back up to 63 because it's probably gonna test it it's probably gonna test 63 uh, it's probably gonna run those stops uh, and then we'll see how it reacts around there to see if it rejects that uh, and then that would encourage me to uh, to try to take that short but uh, guys I've been trying to take some shorts and uh, they haven't they simply have not been working right so uh, you know I was looking at uh, Roblox as well that one looks like it it, it is one that uh, you know has been continuously working um, to the short side here, obviously had that big sell move off of this 3050 area, and now it's making lower highs around 30, right? So uh, I want to I, I wanna potentially get involved in this one as well, but I uh, got to wait till like 29.90, I think. I don't want to short here closer to VWAP, because where is it really going to go? Obviously, it's kind of bouncing around VWAP, right? So got to wait and be patient for this one. Uh, if it doesn't come back up to that, I'll just miss this trade. Uh, that's okay. Uh, but uh, another just a uh, potential uh, trade idea uh, that is uh, Roblox. I saw some people mentioning in the chat as well. Uh, what's going on, Stop Console Wars? Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, Shaq was not okay after eating that chip. He was, yeah, I, I think so too, man. I think so too. I, I watched the video. I'm like, oh, he was dying, man. He was dying after that. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty funny video there. And whoever was, uh, I know Ian was saying, like, uh, talking about AMD. Um, somebody's saying shorting AMD. I was like, say less, I want to jump into this, but yeah, no, it's kind of, it's like floating, guys. So like when things are floating like this, so it's one thing to short it here or to short it here because you're like, oh, maybe like the levels, but it's another thing when it shows you all afternoon that it's just floating 
Like it's it's not like you know like it's not even it's not even worth it. Honestly, my opinion there. Um, like hopefully you're just long into this like floating up move that's that's currently taking place. Uh, yeah, Tom Vigor, Tesla big dump. I hope so, man. I hope so. Uh, shorts, so, uh, Rage TV short. You you come with. Rage TV, keep bringing the quotes because I, I noticed that you have like some pretty funny ones. Shorts ain't it, folks. Um, and uh, some of yours rhyme too, which is which is why I was mentioning that. But uh, yeah, no pressure. Just uh, you know, be genuine. Continue to uh, uh, you know just be genuine. And uh, Janish saying, did I miss the hot chip challenge? No, no, you did not. Um, and if you did, you can always watch back the videos on YouTube. Uh, everything is uh, posted and there forever. I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, you can always go back and watch. You know, feel free to go watch uh, uh, yesterday and the day before, or when was it? Two days ago, actually, when we got like a thousand likes going into the end of the video. It was so funny, man. And Neil's reaction is the best. And, uh, you know, yeah, I watched that and uh, I was showing my brother too, and he was dying there. Um, yeah, guys, one, one love across the board. Nursing these positions, uh, Amazon, or sorry, Meta is like not doing anything right now. Like I should, I should not be probably in this position anymore because not really doing anything. Uh, so with that being said, let me just like punch out of like a little bit of it right over here, uh, in case it does like continue to go up. It's just it's things are not showing me what I want to see. So like I'm not really too sure. And uh, somebody was saying like Luca, you missed Netflix. So the thing is about Netflix, I'm not trading Netflix for like this 40 cents. I'm just not doing that. Like I'm trading Netflix. Like if I trade Netflix, I'm trading for at least a dollar. So like I would love to see it just like come to the 50 period. Like you know this is like it's tough because it's hard to get the fill. Like that's the spread. It doesn't always work the way that uh, kind of you imagine that it works. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty light on the position. I'm not really too worried about it. I'm gonna let it float around and see uh, if that one wants to work. But uh, yeah, no, I do understand that obviously Netflix is different than Microsoft. Like Microsoft was a banger to the upside, and it really gives you that move. Whereas Netflix, it's just kind of like a little bit slower. So it's just a product of what it is. Um, the thing is, is you gotta, you gotta understand that you gotta take what the market gives you, man. That's kind of how things work. Sometimes it gives you 30 cents, sometimes it gives you a dollar, sometimes it gives you lots of follow through, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so that's the, uh, that's kind of what I'll say on that one there. And uh, yeah, I'm seeing like some other comments come through. Uh, BA is at the high of the day. Uh, yeah, Trader Gorno, I know you were saying like, uh, yeah, just be careful on my calls because I'm not, I have had a rough week. Uh, it's all good, man. You know, as a, as a real trader, you're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have good weeks, bad weeks, good months, bad months. Um, then hopefully you become consistently profitable after, you know, learning and getting the reps in. And then, you know, you just kind of like a make a living for yourself. And then it becomes, you know, take what the market gives you. Just continue to trade your playbook, size accordingly. Uh, it's, it's painful, man. It's painful. If you see those guys on Instagram saying, you know, look at my cash and my Lambos. I make millions of dollars. Like, yeah, sure, bud. Nobody believes you. At least I don't. Um, and a lot of other traders who are real that I know that I follow, they're just like, no, man, that's so dumb. Like, don't, don't listen to these fools, man. Um, you know, not calling anybody in, in particular, but, you know, uh, karma has a funny way of, uh, of playing itself out, right? So uh, I'll say that much. Yeah, Apple is now going up. I did punch out some. So now if it does go up, it's not like too much pain. Uh, Netflix is really, really not, uh, maybe not working so much. Um, yeah, I think this just doesn't, I, it should have went down. I'm just gonna get out of the Netflix there before I turn it into like a bigger L. I'm like, hmm, should I add to this? No, 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 not doing that. Uh, Meta is, yeah, I kind of got out of that one too. So if it wants the free float, I mean, look at this guys, this is like terrible action. Like this is like, what is this, like a buyout? Like just kind of like up and down ranging over here? Like this is <laughs> terrible, man. So yeah, I'm pretty light on Meta. Uh, light on Apple over there, so if it wants to go up, it goes up, no problem. Tesla is the is the surprising one that like you know everything is going up. I hope this doesn't like break the 50 and like go stop me out. Maybe I should uh, like I, I'm definitely the heaviest on Tesla right now uh, for the short that I'm holding. Um, I still think it's good. I just think like it's it's like not if it failed the first time it would have been amazing. If it failed the second time it would have been good. Now it's kind of giving me the feel of like and let me just draw like a you know it's kind of like an arbitrary little bit of a channel here. But it's kind of like, you know, in this little range, like maybe it goes up, maybe it goes down, maybe it comes back down. There's just not the volume that it needs to actually make the move. So, you know, everybody thought short. Those shorts all got squeezed. We held the 50 period the whole way up. Now it's in free float mode. Like this could easily uh, go back up there. So, you know what? Let me just, uh, let me actually, like I'm in the money still, so I might as well just take some. This is like, you know, like the revenge trade in me is like, don't, don't do this. Like hold it all. But 
the the real trader in me is like, yeah, no, 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 you, you gotta you gotta take some off here. So I'll take the win on that, and then we'll see where the rest wants to go. If I take an L on the rest, now it'll be it'll just be a smaller L. I just feel like that's like the that's like the right thing to do. So I'm just gonna do it, even though I want to make all my money back. Um, there's always there's always next week, man. There's always next week. Uh, I will be here next week, so yeah. There's no need to uh, kind of rush in to try to destroy uh, and, and more pain there. So yeah, that is kind of the uh, uh, what I'm doing there. And I believe in Tesla, but today you are wrong, sir. Uh, yeah, no, it's a uh, right and wrong. It's arbitrary, man. Just uh, continue to trade your playbook. Check the puts for Friday, Luca. Tesla not closing under 110. Let's see where the poll is. So we had 2,000, almost 2,400 people that voted. This is neck and neck. I don't know if you guys can still see the poll, too. Let me just drag this down here. Um, if you want to show my screen very quickly, 52% think Tesla's going to close above 110, and 48% say below 110. We are now close to 110. So I said below, and I voted right away. This poll came up. I was short, and I was like, we're, we're closing below. Like, what do you mean? And then we blow to the north side, and then, yeah, sure, then everyone's like, yeah, above, above, for sure. Uh, it's easy in hindsight, but that's not how trading works, man. Um, I, I think now we're close enough to 110 that I do think I'm still going to be right on that. Uh, but it doesn't even matter. I'd just rather be right on my shorts. Um, future saying, Luca, what was your best trade? Uh, I don't know if you're asking, you, if you're still watching and you want to clarify, do you mean best trade ever or best trade today? My best trade today, like what is, uh, uh, that's a great question actually. I think Apple, Apple's atop top my board. Um, I mean that like, but that maybe I had the more, I had more size. That's why it's like a top of my board there. I think, I feel like Amazon, I had a good trade on, no, no, maybe not Amazon. Which, what was it here? Maybe, uh, no, Microsoft. Microsoft was my best trade on that one. I had more size on Apple, so it's atop my board there. But yeah, I, I want to say that Microsoft was like, that was like, I mean, look at this, man. Like long cover, long cover. Like that's amazing there. Um, I should have had more size. Like for myself, when I, when I look at these things and I look at like Apple, I'm just like, hey, Apple, I can do more size there because it's more liquid, less of a spread, less moving around. I can control that risk a little bit better. So it's just kind of more within my comfort zone. Uh, whereas like Microsoft, it's like, you know, maybe I say like, yeah, like big size is like for Apple, like 2,000, 3,000 shares. But like for Microsoft, it might be like less than that because I mean, you guys know, obviously if you're a trader, you know what I mean. Um, future, Luca, I mean the best trade ever. I, I want to say Tesla. Tesla was my best trade ever. Oh, when the... When yeah, the... Tesla was uh, what, through 250. That Tesla trade was a banger. I had good size. It went all the way down like $8. It was my best trade ever. I was sitting pretty. I think it was October 1st that that happened. Um, so yeah, not too long ago that that, that, was, my, that was my best trade ever. Um, it was, you know, it's, it, it was, I was just kind of sitting back like, okay, like, wow, like, wow. That's all I had to say there. Um, so yeah, man, the only thing I'll say is don't, you know, go back to the same well. Like if, like if you have your best trade ever on something, what do you want to do the next day? You want to go back to it and then you want to trade it again to like have your, your second best trade or another best trade ever. Like it doesn't work like that, man. Make sure, make sure you, uh, uh, you know, you trade, um, what's in play. I'll say that much. And, uh, Darwin thought, thought Luca killed DWAC too. Perhaps I'm wrong. Pratt, Pratt crushed it, man. Pratt killed DWAC trade. I, I, was, I was trading DWAC, but I didn't have, like, I didn't have, like, the crazy, uh, like, I had good trades on it, man. The DWAC days were, were insane, but, uh, yeah, I didn't have, I didn't have, like, uh, I, that wasn't my best trade ever. Uh, Pratt's, like, probably looking at me right now thinking, like, uh, yeah, he's going nuts over there. Um, yeah, guys, Tesla is uh, pushing back closer. Stop is in for 112, so it's kind of, like, automated for myself right now. Meta is not doing anything. I, I could hold this, but I'm just going to, like, take... It's like pretty small, so I'm just gonna take the L on this. Uh, just punch out of this one. And uh, Apple is now like, yeah, up, not doing anything. I feel like I should just get flat to like reevaluate where I stand. So I'm gonna get out of this one. Uh, that's essentially break even, like small loss on that. Uh, now just Tesla short, and we're gonna see where this one wants to go. Uh, um, I was in, I was in that meta trade too. I, I just covered it like pretty much right after. Uh, I didn't like it at all. It's like how many, how many shorts do I really want to lose on today? So let me just call it on that one. Uh, NIO is, is, is running away from me. Uh, I, I got a fill, guys. I actually got one at 10-10 uh, there. Wow. Um, so, you know, that was a good one. Um, but uh, now we're back out of the money again. So, you know, this is probably going to be a loss. Uh, basically risking against this, uh, guys, this uh, pre-market high area 10-20, right? So that one's probably going to get ticked out. Uh, but that's okay. 
Um, I wanted to talk about uh, the market a bit here because we are testing back up this 3900 area uh, once more, right? So it does look like there is some buying, some higher lows coming in, uh, being put into the market. Oh, I remember what I want to talk about. I want to address a couple of questions here in the chat. Some people asking, uh, what are some good books to read? Uh, guys, I've been reading this book recently. It's called Alpha Trader. Uh, it is a bit longer. I think it's like 500 plus pages, but uh, it's a great book. It basically it has a lot to do with like uh, psychology and mindset and whatnot. Um, and uh, it just kind of describes to uh, kind of breaks down what uh, an alpha trader or what a you know a great trader kind of looks like and what kind of characteristics and uh, they have and how they uh, execute and what how they apply to trading. Uh, so it, that's been a that's been a great book as well. Trading in the zone. That's another great book. Uh, as well. Uh, I've also read Trade the Trader. Uh, that one's a great one. It kind of talks about how, you know, in the market, you're, you're not trading against the stock market, you're trading against other people and you kind of have to outsmart everyone. You got to be on the right side all the time, right? Uh, there's some great books to be had and obviously you can always expand your learning, right? Uh, don't ever stop learning. Uh, so that's why, you know, I'm reading this book as well. Um, I've read uh, the the Mike Bellafor one as well. I think it's uh, One Good Trade. That one's, that one's decent, but it's more for like beginners and whatnot. Um, good to short Ford. Uh, let's take quickly Ford. Um, obviously, Ford is a, is a great company, So, but uh, it's up 2% today. Um, let, let me scroll back here on the chart. Let me actually look at this one here. Um, good time to short it. I mean, like, okay, we're, we're, it's the same setup everywhere, guys. Like, essentially just shorting against uh, potential tops, right? So I'm, I'm going to stay away from those. I've been trying to do that all day and it has not been working at all. Um, you know, if you are wanting to short this name, probably got to wait till like this 13 area, right? Uh, that's where, um, you know, that was the previous support that got broken down. So, you know, right now we're just kind of in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, that one is like a pretty big signal there not to short it since we are just kind of in the middle of nowhere and we're testing the highs currently, right? So, you know, if you do go, go short here, uh, the high is literally 49. So, I mean, sure, you could try it, uh, one penny risk, uh, but, uh, you know, chances of that, you know, working out for you uh, seem pretty slim um, on that one. Uh, any updates on the chip? Uh, the chip is still out for delivery. It doesn't look like we're going to have the chip today, guys, unfortunately. Uh, but we still, we'll, we'll still have it on, on Monday. We'll still do that and we'll go through that. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, I guess, you know, Neil's going to count his blessings for uh, another couple days there. Um, that chip is hot. Uh, guys, if you, you don't want to look it up, uh, that chip is very, very hot. But uh, I think that there's more people being recruited now for it. I think Sean's in on it as well now. Uh, I need to be work on being patient. I sold Apple at 138 uh, when I'm sure we hit 130 soon. Uh, are you talking about a potential, like, uh, were you, you said you were short Apple? Uh, let's take a quick look at that one. Um, it's N. There we go, there we go. Uh, so you're short Apple at 138, you said, and you thought it was gonna hit 130, or, or were you wrong? I'm not too sure there, but um, I guess just stick to your plan. That's all I gotta say about that one. Stick to your plan. Uh, make sure that uh, you know, you're following uh, you know, your, your process and your plan, right? Uh, you know, if you said that your target is gonna be um, you know, uh, like the 130 area, then wait for that and hold for that, right? Don't, uh, don't, don't kind of get emotional and scalp it out. Uh, uh, you know, early and whatnot, right? That just stick to your plan and stick to your process. Uh, write things down. Um, you know, that's that's a good way to kind of look at it. Uh, Market Wizards, yeah, that's another great book. I know uh, Greg and a lot of the guys around here uh, read that one as well. Uh, another great book, guys. But uh, yeah, back to the books. Uh, keep reading, guys. Keep keep trying to learn. You know, you can never stop learning. Uh, you can always be better. Uh, that's the beauty of the market. Uh, sometimes you learn it the hard way. Sometimes it comes easy. Uh, for now, I'm learning it the hard way. Um, you know, it's been an unsuccessful day uh, for me. I've uh, been trying to short Tesla early in the morning. That didn't work out. Um, you know, off of these one, 102 bottoms, that was a great long, obviously. I was trying to short basically yesterday's uh, support turn potential resistance, and it worked for a bit, right? Like, I had a couple good trades there, and it worked for a bit. Uh, added to it, and that was nice, but then, uh, you know, obviously, once it got back up there, uh, the rest is history, and it went all the way up to 113, right? So, you know, that one's still kind of, like, hovering around these prices, but uh, when it's consolidating higher like this, uh, you know, I'm going to be disinterested on that one. I'm probably not going to short it anymore, uh, and especially, like I said to you guys earlier, like, I basically hit my, my loss limit that I wanted to, uh, I was comfortable with on Tesla, 
right? Uh, you know, so I'm gonna stop trading it. Um, Bears versus Bulls calling out the merch, guys. So you know, if you guys get a chance, uh, you know, wear some of the merch. We're wearing it today. Uh, some hoodies and whatnot. Uh, this one's cool. It says uh, there's a little saying on the back there. I'd rather be trading. So you know, pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, some, uh, Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, some some cool uh, TTV uh, swag there, guys. Uh, I was looking at the channel here. Uh, man, we're only at 2.7 K likes. Let's boost it up to 3 K, man. Let's be, let's get this up to 3 K if we can. Um, and then you know, obviously, we had that huge day the other day. But let, let's let's get up to 3 K. Smash the like button. Hit join. Hit subscribe uh, as well. Uh, if you want to check out the merch as well, you can come here to the channel. Uh, and go through here uh, as it as it, as it loads, um, and then go through here. Where where is it? Store, uh, and then you can find everything that we're wearing here. Uh, this is the the shirt or the sweater that I have. They have a white one as well. I think Brankles has on that one. It's pretty nice. Um, wow, there's a lot of different. Uh, Fruit salad time. I remember when Sean used to say that a lot. That's kind of funny. Uh, we actually don't currently have the hat um, on here that Luke is wearing, so maybe that one's uh, on delay for now. But uh, guys, great, uh, great options there for some merch. Obviously, guys, we're, we're posting content all the time. We have the second channel as well now. Um, Pre-market videos, trade of the day all the time. Educational content over the weekend. A lot of shorts, guys. There's so much content to be had. Uh, don't miss us streaming every single day. Uh, from 8.30 to 4 live, right? Uh, showing you all our trades uh, and, you know, trying to help everyone learn and, you know, we're in this journey together, right? So, but uh, if not for you guys, we wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. Uh, and the only thing we ask is just hit that like button, guys. I, uh, that's funny, Sean. <laughs> I, I don't remember. I got to watch it back. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, man, multitasking is an interesting thing. It is an interesting thing. I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the hat is keeping my face on. Yeah, like my hair is like, uh, uh, um, yeah, guys, if you're, if, you know, I know I don't want to obviously repeat myself or repeat what Ian was saying. Uh, the sweater's super comfortable. Uh oh, huh? you're sitting closer. Uh, no, I thought it was like your face was too much on the screen. Oh, well, yeah, because the, the problem is that I look in, because I'm like, where are these levels that I'm looking at? Um, yeah, guys, if you are enjoying the show, we got 2,700 likes. Uh, hit the uh, hit the like button there, Rex. Oh, your face is way too zoomed in, bud. Yeah, no, I. Uh, it's. I don't know. I don't know what's uh, what's going on there, but uh, yeah, you know, I want to say um, Merry Christmas to everybody celebrating Orthodox holiday. That is why Sharif is not in today. He was telling me that he like he fasts for like a month and then he goes into Christmas, which I think is tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. And then they eat like a feast and everything. And he was telling me all these things. Um, and I was telling him, I'm like, ah, Sharif, like, I didn't know you weren't going to be in today. I was going to give you a panettone today uh, to celebrate your Christmas. And he's like, I'll take it, man. Bring that on Monday. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to come in. Just hanging out those panettones, eh? <laughs> I'm like Santa Claus coming in with a. If you guys are just tuning in for the first time, I was handing out panettones to everyone. Gave one to Sean, Neil, Brendo. Uh, like uh, and everybody else and I was on the subway so as you guys can imagine and for uh, maybe I should do this actually so for anybody that doesn't know panettone is, uh, is essentially like a sweet bread it's like a cake so I'm sure some of you guys know and hopefully some of you guys tried it there's different types of panettone the classic is like raisins in the panettone um, but then you can have like pandoro which is basically like the, the basic one and the plain one so anyways, it's a big, it's like a box, right? So it's like a pretty decent sized box. And so I had maybe like 10 of these and I put them in a bag and I double wrapped the garbage bag and I was like Santa Claus on the subway, like walking into work. And I'm like, I'm just laughing. Everyone's staring at me. I was like, come on, bag, don't break because then everyone's going to steal my panettones. Um, so yeah, I was just thinking like, you know, Sharif ob obviously celebrating um, the Orthodox holiday. I was like, well, I'll just give him the panettone on, on his holiday, you know, because I don't know if like the, uh, um, you know, just kind of be more relevant. That was kind of my thesis on that one. So, uh, yeah, when he comes back, he's all about those gains, obviously. So, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to get some panettone to feel the workout there. I have this right here, Rage TV, if you're watching this. Uh, you said, my mom once told me, if you see people running, you run with them, not against them. And uh, I don't know if you're referring to my fight of the trend uh, uh, for today and everything, but uh, yeah, maybe you're right. You know, who... Uh, who kind of sees a crowd running away and says like, ah, yes, let me run in, into the crowd. Um, so you're pretty, uh, probably right on that one. Uh, yeah, man, it's uh, kind of funny there. Um, long XOM from 996, Derek. Uh, what's going on, Derek? I don't know if I saw you earlier in the chat there, but I know you're always here, so uh, hopefully you're having a great day. Um, XOM, 
long 996. Let's have a quick look at XOM. It's been free floating. Uh, like it's been kind of like in the same range that it's been in. I'm for myself, and let me pull up the daily as I look at intraday. I'm waiting for like a 115 or like a hundred. So I really want like a long at a hundred or like a short through a hundred kind of thing if we're like really selling off on oil, or I want to like make a decision at like a at like a 115 level. It's kind of been in this range, and and every time I've been intraday trading XOM lately, I've I've been losing. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away from this, but. Yeah, maybe it's like like this was like the high from yesterday, that 110, and then it's like above, and then I, I actually like that like kind of like a, that bounce idea. And 996, I don't know if you scaled into that, but that's like a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting average there. Um, nice, nice call on that one. Congratulations. I have no idea where this thing's gonna go. I'm not gonna trade or anything, but uh, yeah, pretty good look there for anybody want, that wants to dabble. Um, I just feel like because of yesterday, the 110 was the high, and then like it kind of goes up. It, it tests it again. You know, test it again, maybe like bounce again. Like, I don't know, that's kind of my thoughts on that based on the technicals. Uh, future saying, Luca, have you ever been to Italy? Yes, I have been to Italy. I've been to the north, the south, uh, you know, um, in the middle, uh, just been all around. It's, uh, I, I love Italy, man. I love Italy. My parents are from uh, a place just outside of Napoli and uh, uh, body region. Uh, where the best food, like if you say you like Italian food, it's either from uh, you know, uh, the Napoli region or, or body. That's, uh, they make the best food. Uh, you know, everybody, if you're Italian and you're watching this, you probably uh, disagree with me, but I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong on that one. Um, yeah, somebody's saying Apple might test 130. Uh, let's have a look again here at Apple. Yeah, I'm glad that I stopped out of that. I'm pretty happy with like, I took the win and then I like scaled out, like let me just get like a little bit, like let me size down. And I'm like, this just doesn't feel right. Let me just get out. So now it's kind of going to the upside. I would have gotten stopped out way higher. So I did save myself money on that one. Uh, still kind of nursing this uh, Tesla short, which isn't stopping me out. But uh, yeah, it's just not doing anything. Uh, I'm not gonna like trade it or revenge trade it anymore. Everything's um, just grinding higher. Yeah, like, things uh, are just grinding I'm, I'm, now. I'm looking at uh, AMD. We talked about that 63. I, I think a couple people mentioned like potential short. Uh, on AMD, like I guess, like off of these pre-market consolidation areas, like where it was in the pre-market there, um, I guess the high like 63.25, sure. But like I'm watching. I said I wanted to wait, um, you know, on this one to see how it reacted to 63. Uh, and here we are now, uh, and it's not really showing me that it wants to go down here, right? Uh, it actually tested 63 a handful of times and, and bounced off of there, right? So now it's almost as if 63 is holding as support. I'm watching the market just grind up slowly here uh, and grind up uh, above 3,900. Let me actually uh, put a little bit more detail here uh, to the five minutes and we're, we're back at the highs. We actually made a new high on the market, right? So uh, every, like I said, everything's just kind of grinding up. Uh, I think, you know, shorts, uh, shorts have been getting run over quite a bit here. So I'm not trying to like get involved here on AMD to the short side, especially since it's holding up above 63, right? Uh, you know, Apple, we talked about Apple a little bit there. We were short that name. Uh, let's look at Meta to see how that one kind of played out. This is this is why like I covered this trade, right? So I mean, I got into this trade and I immediately didn't like it. Like as soon as I got into it, uh, there was buying on the tape and I was like, okay, this is a bad trade. Uh, let me just cover for a 10 cent loss. Uh, so that's exactly what I did there on Meta and it ripped all the way up to 129.50, right? So I guess I am doing some some things right here, you know, realizing that, you know, it was a, a poor trade. I had to stop out of that one very, very quickly. I didn't even let it run to my stop, right? I just, I just, uh, I just got out. SI is pumping. Uh, obviously, SI has uh, a handful of negative catalysts with it. Um, it is kind of getting that squeeze, right? So let me actually check now. Has it changed? Uh, so, you know, something that we always check is um, on here, flow checker. Oh, wow, it actually has changed because when I checked this yesterday, uh, a lot of them said it was 50% uh, short, uh, short float. So now it's around 20%, right? So uh, obviously a lot of people probably covered their shorts uh, the past couple days. Um, you know, around this 10, 11 uh, dollar area, especially since it was just out of 21. So, you know, 10 point move on a 20 cent stock or 20 dollar uh, stock, um, you know, it just got halved uh, in one day, right? So obviously gonna be a uh, good potential for uh, some short covering there. So that's probably what this is happening right now. Um, you know, getting a little bit of a squeeze to the upside. Uh, has it broken out the highs today though? Uh, no, it hasn't. He hasn't even tested the highs, right? So did give a little, a little bit of a squeeze uh, at the open there, but um, 
yeah, still below this 12 area, 1250. I think that was like the level uh, from yesterday. But uh, yeah, you know, getting a little bit of a squeeze. So be careful with that one, shorting that name. Uh, just know it does have some, still has some, uh, some short interest in it. Uh, go long, I mean, like, yeah, I kind of missed the move, guys. So, you know, going to wait on that one. Uh, probably not going to go long on that one. Tesla is so strong. Yeah, we've been talking about Tesla a lot uh, in that name. Uh, where is it at now? Uh, I think, uh, Luca, did you cover that Tesla no. trade that you had? No, I have my stop in. I'm yeah, it's, like, ba it's basically still like hovering. Trying. Yeah, it's just hovering around this 1150 area. It's I'm just like, kind of chilling. Like, I might, like, hold this for, like, the rest of the day. And, like, if if this is at, like, 108, like, if we start to really go, then, I, yeah, I just kind of want to see what happens. I already, like, lightened up on the position through the 50 period, so, like, I'm not really too, too concerned now. Um, so, yeah, if it does go down, I'm going to make less. I'd probably not make my money back on that, but uh, I'll still make some if it does go, so we'll see what happens. And I see you, Future. I don't know if you see my thing here. Have you ever eaten Lebanese food? And based on the fact that I'm Googling it, saying Lebanese food, uh, maybe that gives you the answer there. I love chicken shawarma. And I don't know if, like, I, like, so Middle Eastern cuisine, to me, is like chicken shawarma. And, you know, you go to the, the, I go to these places, and I see all the other stuff that they have. Um, but I tend to just gravitate towards, you know, chicken shawarma wraps. Um, and I don't, I don't think I go to like very, very genuine. I can't remember the name of the places that I've been to, but I want to say they're not like super, super authentic. And I, and I know that, uh, but yeah, man, chicken shawarma and, uh, um, you know, the olive oil and, uh, what, what's this, uh, hummus, hummus, olive oil, the breads, uh, the meats too. Like I am a, I am a huge fan. I'm making myself hungry. I'm starving right now. If you ever get a chance, uh, try uh, Af Afghan uh, food. Afghanistan food is actually yeah. very, very delicious. Um, like it's, it's, it's very all, similar. It's, it's very all similar. similar. It's, I yeah, it's, it's all, all kind of similar, similar. But uh, there's a couple places in Toronto in the GTA uh, to try like uh, just like the rice. Mm. Uh, it's just so good. I don't know. Like, like I just love for. I just love food, man. I, I love, love food, food, man. And and you know what? Like so like. Obviously, I work out a lot, and sometimes I'm, like, bulking, training extra hard, lifting very heavy. So, like, I don't like to eat Italian food. Like, I do, and I always eat Italian food. But, like, I really I like Middle Eastern cuisine when I'm, like, training hard because it's good protein. Um, yeah, like, I, so, again, I don't know, like, the, I don't personally know the difference between, like, like Afghan versus, like, Lebanese food. Um, but I, if it, you know, chicken shawarma and all that stuff, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's uh, very, very good, and I have my go-to spots, um, and I get great portions because I go in there, and I'm in there like every, I'm in there at least like twice a week, and they see me, they're like, ah, and I'm the guy who goes in, I'm like, hi, I'll I just like one pound of uh, chicken shawarma, please, <laughs> and uh, then yeah, make my own rice and get the sauce and everything else. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm starving, man, I'm starving. Back to uh, back to the market real quick, guys. I just want to give you an update. I, I did cover the the NIO position. Uh, I was like three cents out of the money. I was just like, you know what? I've had enough of this trade. <laughs> I've, I've had enough of uh, uh, of being caught on the wrong side today. So let me just cover that one for a three cent loss. Um, it, you know, good thing because it, it, it went back up, and you know, obviously it's it still hasn't broken out. Um, you know, the pre market uh, high around ten twenty. But uh, man, I, I've just had enough of this trade, and it looks the same as every other chart. Uh, the market's just kind of grinding up. Yeah, like we're we're, we're testing thirty nine hundred. It's you know, it's running into some sellers there, but. Uh, man, like it, it's just kind of grinding up. So I think, uh, you know, now I'm flat. Uh, I'm probably just going to wait uh, until the close and see if there's any opportunities there. Uh, crazy, man. Again, short Tesla. Yeah, we're st I think Lucas still short Tesla on that one. I haven't touched it again. Um, what else are you guys talking about in the chat? We're at 2.8K likes, guys. 200 more likes. And, uh, you know, we can get uh, back up to 3,000. That's always like a nice number to have. Uh, you know, evidence there, 2.8. Smash that like button, guys. I, I can't smash it any more times. Uh, wow, that's a little, cool little animation now that they got going on. Uh, YouTube's been doing some updates there. Gains in the market and the gym. Nice one, Luca. Um, yeah, I don't know about uh, gains in the market, at least for me today. Yeah, not me uh, today. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, that's how it goes Losses sometimes. Today, you but know. gains in the gym later. Yeah, yeah that, that's how it goes sometimes. You can... Uh, you know, you got to take losses and you got to take it on the chin and uh, that's just part of the game. Uh, AMD reclaiming 63. Yeah, I talked about this one a little bit earlier. How uh, someone mentioned, oh, short AMD against the pre-market highs. Uh, and now we're, we've reclaimed 63. Uh, it's basically holding as support. I'm watching the market hold 3,900 as support now. Guys, this is, uh, it's grinding up. I'm not going to jump in short here. Uh, now it's like kind of, you know, reclaiming new levels, right? So. 
uh, you know, gonna leave that one alone for now. Uh, why is charge point so low? Let's take a look at that one. CHPT, I believe. Uh, NQ, no, NY. Um, there we go. Uh, why is charge point so low? I want to look at the daily to see where it's at on the daily. It's basically testing these lows around 850. Uh, is that new 52 week lows? Uh, yes, it is. Let me check here to see if there's any sort of specific catalyst with it. So it's basically flat on the day. Like it's not like getting hammered or anything like that. But um, obviously, you know, being uh, very, very weak on uh, just overall uh, dips more than the market. That was like, that's, that's, that's nothing there. So yeah, I'm not really seeing too, too much here uh, on charge point, but uh, yeah, definitely getting hurt. Uh, testing these lows around this eight, 850 area essentially i think that's going to be like the make it or break it if you are long uh basically risking off of that area just because it, it hit this uh it ticked 850 back in may uh, and we tested 850 in december guys right so you know potential double bottom so you know last last uh line in the sand i guess for a potential long and then if you, if it breaks down there you got to reassess uh, i think you got to you got to kind of reevaluate that trade and and see where to go or, or kind of just leave charge point alone um, HKD gonna make some afternoon moves. Uh, let's take a quick look at HKD. Uh, it it kind of had that craziness a little bit yesterday and the day before, um, but uh, today uh, just kind of fading. Uh, no, that's not even the chart. Uh, HKD today uh, just kind of fading uh, back below this 22 area, right? So it hasn't really kind of shown that uh, that same sort of explosiveness there. Uh, just basically trading flat the whole day. What's the spread like? That's one thing I always like to check here. Uh, the spread is like 20 cents, 30 cents here on HKD. But when it starts going, it's like gonna be like a dollar spread, guys. So it's gonna be very, very difficult to trade. Um, this is not something that I generally promote or recommend. Um, BA is A++ setup for me, was trying to think of another A++ setup. I uh, never would have thought uh, before. Uh, let's take a quick look at BA. Did you trade BA, uh, Luca, there No, I, I, I know, no. No, yeah, I, I, I like to look at BA every once in a while. Like, obviously, it's more like a value stock, the one that you kind of just buy and hold. But every once in a while, there's, there's potential day trades on it. Uh, wow, man, and BA is just so strong. It really is that one that you kind of just hold and just, 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 just only buy, never sell, right? Like this one's, it tests, it's gonna test up 10, 215 for sure. Uh, look at these highs back at the beginning of the year, 220 area. It's definitely heading towards there, it's breaking out, right? So, you know, BA, definitely good for the long side uh, there today. Um, any potential trade ideas on it? I mean, like long off of this 204, basically off of pre-market lows, man. The, the, these, the, these are the things that make trading look so easy, but obviously it's not easy uh, when it comes down to you. Gotta have to, you know, kind of have a bid there and, and let it get run over, and that's kind of scary. But uh, some good potential long trades there on BA after the after this gap up here uh, the other day, right? So you know, another good trade there uh, on BA. Uh, I see somebody saying, Luca had the long on Netflix uh, and then got out 305.25, so $1.25 win. Uh, sometimes the scalp is not the play. I know, I know. It's, uh, it's tough. You got to like, if you're discretionary, you're going to beat yourself up because sometimes you're going to flip flop back and forth and you're going to be like, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. Um, that's why you want to kind of like narrow your focus. Like if you want to trade large caps, you trade large caps. If you want to trade small caps, you trade small caps. Like focus on what you're doing well and really hone in on one strategy and stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Um, I obviously deviate from the plan as well. Like I, I, you know, I mess myself up. I'm like, you know, I, I like not to say that I'm super emotional, but I'm like, you know, I'm the guy who like loses and goes, oh, what is this? And I win and I go, let's go. Um, it's just kind of fun for me, but you want to you want to be very robotic and kind of narrow in your focus on trading Stick to the same things stick to what works. That's how you make money and get better and better every single day um, And yeah, that is that's kind of like my only comments on that one over there uh, I know somebody was saying can you please have a look at Mara? So I'll look at that we do have only two to three minutes left to go on the show here uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. It's been a wild one for myself Taking the fat L on Tesla today was not the best thing I could have done for myself, but still uh, still not a bad week, can't complain. So um, yeah, there's that. Uh, Mara is definitely range bound. This is very obvious to me. It's showing you that like in front of four is the resistance and then the bottoming area is like around over here. If it gets back to four, you know, maybe worth a shot. I would not do a stop 401 because this market just hunts those stops like nothing. 
Uh, just be very wary of where you are routing your orders because of these algos, they are savage. They see all that order flow. Uh, but yeah, yesterday four was holding and now four is the resistance. So, I mean, it worked in the morning or pre-market. It worked at like 11. Like maybe it works the third time like or like third time's a charm type thing. Uh, I'm not really too sure. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have no trade on Mara. I'm not really too interested uh, in trading Mara. Um, yeah, I can, you know, uh, Apple, great trades on Apple today. Can't complain. Uh, amazing trades on Microsoft. Maybe I should have held some for like the uh, ridiculous up move that came. But I just said... 223 is the year that we're in, so let me cover around that area. That seemed seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Uh, shout out to Yolo uh, when FOMO um, for that Microsoft trade. That was like that was. I mean, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Like sending super chats and giving banger trade ideas. That's why I love you guys. That's why I love the chat. You guys are always coming in hot with uh, some great ideas, and I never hold it to anybody when uh, uh, when I lose on a trade. Like it's my my own fault because I'm taking. I'm the one who's he sitting here taking the trade, right? So. Uh, yeah, there's that. Digital warfare, absolutely. Uh, somebody is, it's a scalp, not a cap. Guys, uh, real quick, I just want to address yeah. one comment there. Trader Gorno, obviously an OG in the chat. Uh, he, uh, Trader Gorno said, new traders never wonder about hitting tops or bottoms. It's impossible to just distract yeah. you. And then some people were asking, oh, what do you mean? Uh, basically, it's like it's so hard to pick tops and bottoms. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's basically like, impossible. Uh, if you do get it and it starts working, like it's basically luck, right? So, you know, just kind of be wary of that. Play off support and resistance. Like Sean Neal talk about it all the time, guys. You know, support and resistance. Um, that's what you kind of want to play off of. You're not just kind of picking a random top. That's what I was talking about. Uh, um, what was that name there? Uh, Ford that was just breaking out to new highs, right? Uh, BA, like if it's just kind of uh, going up to new highs, like don't try and short it. Like it's just breaking out, right? So uh, don't try and pick tops, guys. That's uh, that's basically what Trader Gordon was, was saying. Uh, guys, we're just about wrapped up here on the midday show. Uh, if you guys haven't already, smash that like button. We're at 2.9. Let's get up to 3K, man. We're only 100 likes away. Uh, pump it up, guys. Let's get it up there. we got a few seconds left. Uh, as always, guys, it's been a pleasure on the show. Uh, everyone, enjoy your weekend. Obviously, we're going to send it over the closing show. Uh, it's going to be Neil, Sean, and Brendan. Uh, they're going to wrap it up for you. Uh, it's going to be a great close today. Uh, so don't forget to uh, smash that like button for that, uh, for that show. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Uh, and uh, good luck the rest of the day, and uh, have a great weekend. Ciao, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back. Two o'clock, couple hours left on a Friday afternoon. That's shaping up to be a very nice one. Finally, we even have a chance to get positive on the week for individual indexes. I don't want to jinx anything, so I'll leave it at that for now. But here we go. This is how things are looking at this point. 1.87 for the S&P 500, the Dow. Uh, 1.74, two and a quarter for the NASDAQ leading the way after it initially uh, was leading the way to the downside. Just seeing Biogen halted pending news. That's interesting. We'll